We are at Indian Hollow Campground. Right over there is Indian Lake. We've got all kinds of stuff coming up today. We've got RV walkthroughs, we've got magic, we've got fun, we've got tips and tricks, we've got giveaways. David Durnell. Oh yeah, giveaways, but most importantly, we've got David Durnell. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're glad you're here. The show starts very, very soon. Hey, we're gonna head over that way. You wanna go with me, Dave? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Stop playing around, Duncan. <laughs> Stop playing around. RV show. I'm David. This is David. You'll get to know us as we go on if you're new. If you're not new, welcome back. If you are new, you're going to have a good time today because we're going to walk time. through a bunch of RVs. We've got uh, tips and tricks, yep. all kinds of RV tips and tricks. And then uh, we're going to have a band. They will play and they are awesome. We'll Music's do some amazing. Magic. The music is unreal. Uh, we'll laugh at something. I'm not sure, but Once we'll laugh twice. throughout the day. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have a good time. And giveaways. We'll do giveaways. giveaways. Yep. We're going to yeah. do one of those real quick. So you should get registered. If you haven't yet, you can do that at virtualrvshow.com because some of our winners are people who have been registered. And uh, you can also check out a schedule there at Virtual RV Show to kind of see what RVs we're going to be walking through today. It's, uh, it's subject to change because, yeah. you know, it's a live show. Uh, but other than that, call we your are, friends. We, are, uh, we call should call your family. Our yeah. Yeah. So our sponsors, uh, Blue Ox. Equal, uh, Blue Ox, Equalizer, Equalizer. Uh, Dish Outdoor, yep. and RV Wholesalers are the uh, sponsors. A big thank you to those guys, too. They've been yeah. with us, too. It, well, all year. Happy. Yeah. yeah, this is our 13th awesome. episode of this. It's going Absolutely. well. Again, thanks to you for tuning in. We've got a lot to do today. I say we get into it, but first, let's talk about where we are. We are at Indian Hollow, which is right across from Indian Lake over there, and then over that way is actual RV Wholesalers. So we'll be traveling back and forth between RV wholesalers and um, uh, here. In the Hollow. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's do a giveaway. We're going to give away it. the National Parks Pass, which is four passes for adults to any national park in the country for a year. You get it free, and your kids get it free. So yeah, how cool is that? That's an awesome one. Yeah. How do we pick the winner? How do we pick the winner? Oh, Tim said it's in the water. Oh, yeah, there it is. You see it? It's in the right water. there. Yeah, it's right down there. You see it? Right, right no, there. No. So, Dave, I, I was wrong. Here it is. I had it in my back pocket. My bad. Craig Jordan! Hey, Craig! Hey, it's Walton Fish! <laughs> Need help? Uh, you had help in. I didn't know if you needed help out. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's freezing. Oh, welcome to Ohio and May. <laughs> I'm gonna pay you back, David Durnell. I'm gonna pay you back. <laughs> Let's get to our first RV. Let's do it. Uh, you know, I still love you, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like that wasn't an accident. Really? Yeah, I promise. Oh, hey, dude, you're what? I don't want you sitting next to me. How about you go in the back seat? Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. All right. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's... Kelly, what's going on? You realize how... How tough it is to drive and change, dr change out of wet clothes into dry clothes. Man, you're soaked. I'm, yeah, look at this. Look. Whoa, whoa. You're I'm like a dog. Uh, like a dog. dog does. So Dave pushes pool. me in the water. Kelly just insults me. 
I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get Dave back. He just pushed me into the water. Man. Yeah, it was awesome. My, well, these, even these dry clothes are a little wet because I didn't dry off completely. So you were driving and changing? Yeah, yeah, but just a golf cart, so it was, it was kind of <laughs> safe. No, you weren't going too yeah. fast. No, no, uh-uh. Gotcha. Ran over two people, that's it. But one of them was Dave, so. <laughs> that was payback. Yes, I feel better about it. Uh, all right, so we start off with Kelly. Every time we start off with Kelly, because we got to set the bar high, right? I guess. And that's why Kelly's here, because he knows all about this stuff. As does everybody, but man, you know how to start things off, so we're going to jump into this Redwood. Awesome, yep. Let's First one of the day. Um, this is going to be a Redwood. This is the 4001 LK. This is a full body paint unit. So you can see the whole unit's painted just like a car or truck that you would see out there. The whole unit after it's built, fiberglass is put on. Those aren't decals. That's, yeah, that's actually crazy. automotive it's actually paint painted. with yeah. clear coat. So it goes to a paint booth after it's done. This is going to be very, very high end. People are going to use these coaches when they're going to Hey, go to Florida or go to Arizona for three or four months out of the year in the winter. Okay. Or if they're doing a travel full time for like a, a traveling nurse or if you're going to travel for work. I mean, this is really, really nice. Right. Um, has a huge storage compartment you can see in here. I mean, this is this thing's loaded. Central vac. I mean, everything's labeled out for you. Finished off, passed through, slam latch, insulated storage drawers. I love um, the walls that have the, uh, you can get the hooks. Yeah, a little, like, like stuff. you put in your garage, right? Right. Um, storage underneath has a tie down on the floor, so I mean, you can put something there that's heavy that you want to strap down. Auto leveling, six point auto leveling, so you hit a button, it levels everything for you. Power awning, LED light strip, outside speakers, frameless windows. I mean, this coach by Crossroads has it all. I mean, and it's, it's huge. Yeah, I mean, this, this coach right here, just to kind of give you some of the specs on it, I know people always kind of want to know that. It's going to be 42 feet, 10 inches, and that's going to be tip to tip, so front to back, 42 feet, 10 inches, 8 feet wide. This one has four slides. It's going to weigh just over 15,000 pounds, so um, I mean, when you're pulling this, I mean, it's well built. I mean, that's why it weighs a little bit more. Obviously, right. it's, it's huge, but um, I mean, you can see how much higher it sits up off the ground. It has the drop frame, though, too, so you can see that. Yep. That's what gives you that bigger basement storage, so okay. really, really nice. has the solid steps. Now, these are aluminum, so they're super light. I mean, I'm lifting yeah, that with one finger. Crazy. I mean, it's almost like a zero-gravity step. Uh -huh. And then the legs are adjustable, too. So a lot of times, if you're on a stone path or whatever, um, you can get up in here. has a spot here as well. I know a lot of times people obviously have their, their pet. Mm -hmm. You can That is actually tied into the framing, so it's not going to pull loose versus people tying around the jack. It okay. the jack from the uh -huh. dog pulling, what have you. But this is just a sweet... I mean, if you look into this... I still have water behind my ears. Luckily, it didn't get water in your ears. Yeah, in, the, in this thing. It's expensive. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right. Dave would have to buy a new one if, if he got this all wet. <laughs> he's the one who pushed me in. So look at this. I mean, it has solid surface countertops, stainless steel refrigerator. I mean, this thing is beautiful. It has the uh, vent over top of the stove. Yeah. Four burner cooktop, residential oven. I mean, every, this is just like, I mean, this is something you could spend three or four months in. I right. Mean, it feels like a high-end hotel or... A uh, nice condo. I mean, it's super, super nice. Has a theater seat with heat, massage, the whole nine yards. Right in front of the entertainment center, fireplace, which we'll put out some BTUs as well. So if you got a cool morning, mm -hmm. you don't want to fire up the furnace, you can turn on the, that will run off of the electricity. And so back we, here, I need, just yeah. to come back to this real quick, I yeah. feel like I'm in the kitchen. Right. There's somewhere you feel like you're in the kitchen section. Right. But I feel like I'm in the kitchen here. Well, and this is nice, too, because it's kind of separated off with this yeah. kind of this little yeah. bar here. Um, yes, it's cool. I like that it's separated like that. I know well, even like you in your have... house, you have a kind of like an island sometimes. Right, and right. And this kind of gives you the feel like, hey, I'm going to the kitchen. This yep. is where you're at. Yeah. Um, yep. Sorry, I completely cut you no, off. No, you're good. And, and with the double... French door, big old pull out freezer on the bottom. So, I mean, this is going to be just like the one you would have in your house. So it's not something you're trying to... If not nicer. Right. <laughs> cram it into a six cubic foot refrigerator. Yeah. I mean, this is something that I mean, you can spend plenty of time in. So very, very nice. Um, comes with the TV sound bar. Again, all tenon glass has the pull down blackout shades here. I mean, lighter cabinets. I mean, this looks very, very residential. Super homey feel. Um, this one here, I mean, most most of the time dealerships are going to sell this for around 150, 130. Uh -huh. We got it on sale today with the sale we got going on for just over 96 grand. Wow. Um, and and we do have to mention that. Yep. Uh, that's that even that price is subject to change depending on when you call. 
Yep. Um, because I know that manufacturers are raising some prices. Something yep. you guys are doing is the price protection, though. We can talk about that right now. As yeah, so that. so one of the things, and this is huge right now, just because obviously, I mean, if you've been kind of looking for RVs, I mean, there's not a ton of them out there. I mean, right. the supply and demand is kind of out of whack a little bit. Now, one thing that we're doing as a dealership is we're price protecting every customer. So from the time you put down your deposit, okay, mm -hmm. your price is locked in. Right. And, and I know that no other dealership's doing that mm -hmm. just because they're getting hit with so many price increases from the manufacturer. We're not going to raise our customer's price. That's awesome. We'll put that in writing. And I, I know I've had other customers say to me, hey, this is what so-and-so's terms condition says that price may be adjusted. So you mean you put down a deposit, you don't even know what the price is going right, to be. Right, right. Because how do, you even, how do you even know it could be $500, but it could be $5,000. Right. So you don't, and that's, I mean, that's a huge thing right now just because, I mean, it's different when you're buying something that's in stock. And yeah, that's the yeah. price. It's here. Let's pick it up. Absolutely. But if not, I mean, it might be a couple months down the road before you get it. You go to sign and it's 10000 more? Yeah. You don't want yep. that. Yep. <clears throat> but as of today, this is a little over 96000 Yep. As of today. Now, again, if this one sells and, I mean, there's been a price increase since we've got it in stock, mm -hmm. that is subject to change. Okay. So, But once you do a deposit, you're locked in. You're set. Whether okay. that's an ordered unit or a stock unit, whatever. And again, like this this Redwood, if you don't like this layout, we can order you. They have several different floor plans, so um, we can get you set up. This one is a bath and a half, so you can see that there. Again, solid surface in the bathroom as well. I dig that sink, too. Yep. It's added touch. Classy. All right, and we can go up in here to the, the master. And this has a bath. has a window on both sides of the bed here. It's going to have a hard pocket door right there. So as you're coming through, this is all separated off. So this will be separated by hard pocket door. That's a hard pocket door. TV at the foot of the bed, super nice. AC is all ducted throughout the ceiling on this coach. Heat's ducted through the floor. So again, very residential. Once you see this bathroom, has a seat in the bathroom. His and her sinks. Again, all solid surface. It's all formed up, just like you would see in a, a very, very nice home as well. Uh, we have somebody asking a very good question that I've never even noticed. Yeah. Frank wants to know why they never put locks on the bathroom doors. Locks on the bathroom doors? I don't know that answer, Frank. <laughs> That's a good question. It's a very good question. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. No. Maybe you just need to trust who you're with, <laughs> which <laughs> I, I wouldn't necessarily, I get you, Frank. I get it, because I could see my wife not paying attention and come in while I'm working on business. Especially and, with kids. Oh, exactly. It's like a family exactly. reunion in there. Exactly. Uh, this unit is also prepped for washer and dryer, so you can see that. And this is a huge closet. I mean, you have a walk-in closet and a, yeah. and a camper. That's crazy. And another nice thing I always mention is, is like in a full profile coach, which is what this is, has a flat roof line all the way to the front. I'm 6'3", and I still have plenty of room all the way in the very front. Yeah. So, I mean, you're not worrying about ducking and doorways, things like that. I mean, you have plenty of head clearance, all LED lighting throughout. Very, very nice. And and just so you kind of know, I mean, I know 96000 sounds like a lot, and it is. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you can get into this for just over 600 bucks a month. Wow. So, I mean, very reasonable, especially, I mean, there's there's added benefits as well with the financing. And it's kind of set up just like a mortgage. You can write the mm -hmm. interest off. So there's definitely some, some benefits there. And as far as, I mean, this is the Crossroads manufacturer. I mean, Redwood's the, probably the nicest if there's anything as a full-time unit, this is probably the closest yeah. thing you're gonna find. Um, awesome. But yeah, I mean, this is just an excellent unit. Plenty of slides, plenty of room, keeps it all spaced out. Um, very light interiors. And they do different colored cabinets throughout the coach, so it may, gives it more of that residential feel as well. Well, there's three of us, or two, a half, two and a half of us in the bathroom, and I don't feel no. crunched in. Not that I would normally have two and a half people in the bathroom with me, but it's a good-sized bathroom back sure. here. No, for sure, closet. and in the yeah. closet. Yeah. Um, and then again, if and we're going to show a bunch of units today. Um, so if you're like, well, I'm not really in the market for a hundred thousand dollar fifth wheel, that's fine. You're going to see. We're going to show you stuff from low teens up to motorhomes. Yeah. So I mean, anything that you and if you have a question, hey, I really like that redwood, but I don't really care for that layout. Again, call us. I have my whole team on standby. You want to give I mean, them your number now? Yep, it's uh, toll free is eight seven seven eight seven seven four four nine four. Um, and you can call in, um, ask for a sales rep. If you have financing questions, ask for one of the financing members. Um, they'll be able to answer any questions you have. And then also, too, I mean, if you're calling from 
somewhere other than Ohio. We have a nationwide service network which you get for free when you purchase from us. So I know a lot of times, especially this time of year, dealerships are trying to tell people lies and stuff to get them to spend more money, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you I'm not going to work on your unit unless you buy it from me to get you to spend MSRP. Right. Well, with our nationwide service network, we can get you taken care of anywhere you live, camp or travel. And that's free to you when you and purchase we'll be, from we'll us. We'll be definitely talking about that yep. later in the show. And uh, Also, we have Barb is asking about a uh, couple of trailers, yep. uh, couples trailers. We will have plenty of those. Yep. I think Kevin also asked if there's a schedule, and there is. If you go to virtualrvshow.com, you can click on schedule there or virtualrvshow.com slash schedule. Um, you can look to see what our schedule is. Uh, we have a motorhome coming up. Somebody's asking about a motorhome. We got that coming up very soon. Uh, so yeah, and we, we want you guys to chat. As a matter of fact, or if, or if we're done here, I'm going to go talk to Dave about the idea of chatting today. Awesome. That All sounds right, good. Let's go check in with Dave. Guys, if you're out there watching right now and you have questions, you need to chat us up. You see where it is on the page there. Uh, send in your questions. We'll do our best to answer live. If we don't answer like live, like I answer you, your questions, we will have people on the chat ready to answer your questions for you. Uh, if you have questions that we don't get to for some reason, the main reason because there's just so many coming in, we might miss you. Do not hesitate to either call RVWs, RVWs uh, phone line, or email them. And they will be more than happy to answer your question. See what, Dave, what, are you, what are you what doing? Are you going on here? I'm making some, a communication device. Does your mother ever just watch you uh, during a day and cry? She weeps daily. Take that. Okay. Check out. Yeah. Hold that. Up. Hold that up to your. Hey, David. Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I could yeah. without the can. Hey. Is this is this David? <laughs> You're an idiot. I, I heard that loud and clear. That, <laughs> Not only, not only do you get to talk, but this it makes you hungry because you still smell the green beans you yeah. left in this can. They don't smell so hot. Yeah, you got hold. I can't hear you. Oh, you're holding I'm sorry. Right. They don't, they don't smell so hot. Could you hear me now? What? No, I was holding up my mouth. Yeah, what? they don't smell so hot. No, no, yeah. they don't. Have you ever seen that cartoon where the one guy keeps saying you're an idiot? Hold on, I got, I got call waiting. <laughs> I got call waiting. Hello. Hey, dude, uh, we need you to move on to the next segment. Can you keep uh, move on? <laughs> keep it moving. Yeah, okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta let Dave know I'm going. <laughs> hey, I gotta go walk through an RV. Uh, okay, thank right, you. So goodbye. You, you hang up first. All right, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> So, chat us up. We want to hear from you. We want to answer your questions uh, all day long. We're here all day, all day long. Let us know what you want us to ask. We will either answer in the chat or do our, or do our best to answer live. And if we can't get to you or we miss it somehow because so many chats coming in, feel free to call. You mentioned that yeah, a couple minutes sure. ago. Cool. Yep. Make sure you call. Um, so, this is the next one. This is kind of going to be the opposite of the Redwood. This is going to be, a, obviously, a pull-behind travel trailer. This is a Vibe 26BH. Okay, this is by Forest River, so you're going to get the Forest River backing as far as the warranty and all that stuff's concerned. Um, excellent partner for us. This is going to be a double over double bunk. Um, so this is more if you have a couple kids uh -huh. um, versus the last unit was more of a couple's coach, as they like to call them. Um, so we'll go ahead and check this out here in just a little bit. But this is going to be a fiberglass exterior, which you can see, which means aluminum framing, foam block insulation. Um, this is kind of kind of give you all the bells and whistles. It has the wide track stance, so it goes over potholes, things like that. Double entry, which is really nice. Um, a lot of times, if you have people over at your campground, you don't want them walking all the way through the coach to use the restroom. This is going to give you that added benefit, so you can just go right in here. People can use the restroom, what have you. Yeah. So double entry, power jacks on all, all the way around, power awning, LED light strip, outside speakers. Also, it's going to have an outside mini fridge with a little sink here. You can hook up the spray port. If you need to spray the dog off or if someone gets thrown in the pond. I just say spray the dog off oh, and then sorry. point to me. Sorry, sorry, I forgot. Sore subject. <laughs> um, 
But added benefits there, I mean, you don't have people going in and out all the time. It gives you right. that ease of camping. The thing I really like, too, is, is both doors are under the main awning. Big old awning. Yep, so yeah. it's super, super nice. You're going to have a big pass-through storage here. If you want to take a look in there, finished off, and you can see the aluminum structure there, which is nice oh, yeah. because if that does get a little bit of moisture, water, it's not a rod or right. anything like wood would. So. Yeah. Very, very nice There's there. a very good chance you're going to put wet stuff in there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let's go in here and check it out. Again, aluminum solid surface steps. Nice little bit of storage here in the front. You're going to have a huge, so you got storage right there inside mm -hmm. the door. Three shelves in there. And then you're going to have a big super slide over here. So the whole slide out, huge U-shaped dinette. This sofa will make into a bed. That U-shaped dinette will make into a bed. And then the double over double bunk. Those are big. Right. Big so I mean, even if beds. you had some adult friends over and they wanted to bunk up, you yeah. can do that. I mean, it's not the real skinny twin right. size. I mean, it's going to give you a nice uh, big bunk area. And again, this will fold down. So how this kind of works is this whole tabletop here lifts up. There's some rails that sit right here. And then those cushions are removable. And this is going to be almost six feet wide. Mm -hmm. So that's going to give you plenty of room there as well. And actually, those are super comfortable because all the cushions are flush um, with the bottom. So, I mean, it's pretty comfortable. It's you don't have bars or anything like it's that, right? Um, so very, very nice there. You're going to see it has the Everchill 12-volt refrigerator. Okay. Very, very nice. And it has a little latch. So when you're traveling, it's not going to come off. Glass cooktop cover, so it gives you added sink or storage on the countertop here. So very, very nice. Again, yeah. Furion equipment. Yep. We had a chance a couple couple episodes ago to visit Furion, and they are awesome, doing amazing things. Yep. And then you're gonna have a fireplace in this unit, and I mean, again, this unit's just over twenty five thousand. Wow. I think it's like twenty six, twenty seven and change with the sale price today. I mean, you're getting fireplace, fiberglass exterior, aluminum framing, TVs. I mean, the whole nine yards. I mean, this is giving you double over dump, double bunk, super slide. I mean, a lot of aluminum sided trailers, which are going to be heavier with wood mm -hmm. framing and things like that, are going to be more than this. So, this is a, the vibe is a great price point. And again, they have other floor plans. So, if you're wanting a, a rear kitchen or you're wanting a rear entertainment or you're wanting the two slide bunk model, they make all those. So, again, if you don't see exactly what you want today, we have access to it. Hundreds of floor plans. So and you can do that online too. Yeah, for at sure. uh, RVWholesalers.com, you can build your own and get a quote on what you just built in like seconds. Yep. So yeah, you yeah. just punch your information and shoot you a price right back. Um, and then real quick, I'll kind of touch base uh, for any of our Ohio customers watching. Um, when you purchase from us in Ohio, you get free access to our Buckeye Service Guarantee, mm -hmm. which is going to get you free delivery in Ohio. Yeah. Discount on parts, um, many other things as far as like a free loaner. If you have an issue and your slide out, you got a trip planned for tomorrow, you got to run the slide out out to pack it up and it won't go out. We'll give you a loaner, mm -hmm. um, some added benefits, and those are free to you when you purchase from us. So, okay. just like the RV uh, wholesalers network that I was mentioning earlier, full walk around queen bed here. Um, you're going to have lights up above, LED lighting, you're going to have outlets and USB on both sides of the bed. So very, very nice. And there's a cubby behind that side. Right. So a CPAP machine, I know a lot of people ask that as yeah, well. Right. Closet in here, hanging bar going across the top. Also, they're gonna give you a little thing here for cubbies, for shoes or shirts, what have you. That's cool. Every little piece of storage you'll find in an RV is important, right? Yeah. Because I mean, you're not, you don't have your whole wardrobe or your whole closet and dressers from home so right. every little piece of storage helps which is very nice i mean you've seen there here, here. <laughs> and the, yeah i mean Deep it's storage there very very nice all the stuff you need for the kitchen can go right in there and then you have extras over here um we have both mike and hank are asking where their rvs are they ordered them in february do you have an update on people who um ordered in yeah february? that's a good question so any of our customers out there that have purchased um feel free to email schedule at rvwholesalers.com. And then as we get updates from the manufacturer, we always try to pass those on as well. Obviously right now there's been some supply issues yeah. from manufacturers and um, insulation. And I mean, there's been shortages, right? With right. COVID and things like that. So obviously, I mean, we want to get everyone's unit as quick to them as we can. Right. Um, but if you have any questions as far as if you're where your unit is, or if it's, do we have any update 
we always try to pass those on as quick as we can. But if you email the schedule at RV Wholesalers, they should be able to get you an update if we have them. So awesome. um, we'll definitely get you updated there as we can get it. Here's the uh, bathroom. The yep. And that, like I mentioned earlier, does give you the second entry there. Um, Which so would be very nice to just be able to get to the bathroom. If you're outside all day, hot, sweaty, gross, getting yeah. dirty. Uh, somebody wants, wants you in the shower. Wants to see you in the shower. Easy. Uh, <laughs> now. All right. This so. is, and this is not a porcelain toilet. Not this one. Now, this is the nice thing. So you can see here, obviously, it has a skylight. But even without the skylight, I'm still going to have still enough room. Mm -hmm. But the skylight is really nice, obviously, for head clearance. But brightens up the bathroom, right? Yeah. So even when this is closed, it's still going to be bright. And there's plenty of room to move around. These are all detachable, so you can... I mean, obviously, it's not your house. I mean, it's going to be a little bit tighter, right. but it's still not going to be there's something to do what you got to do. Right, yeah. exactly. So, um, and again, I'm 6'3", so I mean, there's mm -hmm. still plenty of room in here for me. And a toilet uh, paper holder. I hear those are very, very... Uh, you might not be able to get toilet those. paper, <laughs> right, right. but there's a holder. Yeah. No bow day. You might have to <laughs> install one. <laughs> All right. You going back out that way? Yep. I'm going to go All out right. here. So, and again... Make sure if you guys have any questions today, let us know. I mean, you're going to see a ton of RVs. Um, we're going to do some giveaways, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I know David always likes music. to give away some stuff. Yep, some music. Awesome band. Yeah, Trailer um, Swift is amazing. So definitely make sure if you guys have any questions, chat in, call us, email us, whatever you want to do. And a lot of times, too, if people want to know, hey, what's my payment going to be? Mm -hmm. do, fill out a credit app. We can kind of give you an idea on what your payments are going to be, all that good stuff before you put any money down. Um, we can order you one. We can um, find something in stock for you of what we have. So definitely love to hear from you guys. Appreciate you watching the show today. Awesome. Awesome. We have people, Tim's talking to me. Kelly, I think he said, is, thinks the vibe is gorgeous. Not this Kelly, another Kelly thinks the vibe is Oh, I didn't even gorgeous. tell you what the payment is. Oh, just, no, you didn't. just over 200 bucks a month. You That's can crazy. get into this unit for just You can have this bucks. gorgeous vibe RV for just a little over $200. Uh, listen, it's time to learn. And you're going to learn, not only are we going to teach you some stuff, but you're going to learn from a lesson I learned. You'll see what I mean. Check this out. Oh, hey, look at this. Camping $5 per night. That's, that's a pretty good deal. Assuming this is where I. Hey, how you doing? I'm interested in the camping for five dollars. You night. are all right. Hey, yeah, that's five dollars. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I don't know hey, if I can just. No, are you going to need electric hookup? Yeah, and I know how to do that. I can hook it yeah, up. Yeah, that's that's going to be that's going to be ten dollars. On top of the five? Yeah, yeah. I mean, electricity oh, bills. I got to okay. supply electricity to the whole place. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, thank I, you, thank I, you. Get, I just figured you should probably put. 15 there. Yeah, yeah, but it's, hey, are, right. are you tent camping or you, you got an RV? No, my RV is what I'm going to hook the... Yeah, see, so you now it's $5 for you and it's $100 for your RV. So you got $100? I do, yeah. I, I have. Yeah, I yeah, normally, I'm glad I, I normally don't have cash on me. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but right. also, uh, it's a two-night minimum. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, Thank hey, you. Uh, I appreciate also, it. One, one last thing. Yeah. You going to hook up the sewer? Yeah, I probably should. Oh, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be a fee. How much is that? How much you got? I think I got twenty left. Yeah, that's, yeah I got a twenty. That's about it. That's. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, you enjoy your stay. Thanks. Enjoy your stay. Appreciate it. That was. What just happened? So, uh, hidden fees. I learned there. That said $5. It said $5 <laughs> to stay there. I gave him my $5 and it ended up costing me over 200 Hidden fees aren't very fair. I guess, I, I mean, he could charge me whatever he wants as long as he was up front. Sure. And a lot of RV dealers are doing that same no, thing. No, and that's, I mean, that's a big thing, too. It's not even just with the price protection that we kind of touched on briefly, mm -hmm. which will kind of hit it a little bit more. Um, it's more of the the unit itself, right? Not even changing the unit price, but, hey, when you get here, well, you wanted it PDI'd, so there's another thousand bucks. Right, or, which is a, a, a pre-delivery inspection. Pre-delivery inspection, or hey, we wanted to. There's a destination charge on here. Well, I picked it up. Well, that's another thousand bucks. Well, I had to get here from Indiana to get to right. my dealership, and those aren't because I mean, and 
normal things are going to be documentation fee, title fee, mm -hmm. um, destination charge. I mean, those right. are normal things, but it should all be itemized on the bill of sale when you go to when sign. You sign. So unit subtotal, you should have your documentation fee, which is going to be a couple hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Title fee is going to be 50 bucks. And then the, the, the destination charge is a little bit different depending on what part of the country you're in, yeah. right? I mean, it's going to take cost more to get it from Indiana to Florida than it is from Indiana to my dealership, right? right? right. So when you say maybe two bucks a mile, if you were to yeah, from, I mean, from Elkhart, Indiana yeah. to wherever, right around there, two to two fifty and a. Yeah, I would yeah. say right in that range, and yeah. and and those are normal things, right? It's mm -hmm. it's the and and not I'm not even saying like the PDI isn't normal. Right. They're just telling me up front, right? Yeah, yeah. I, it, it's it's not that the the fee is necessarily bad. I mean, it is to charge somebody to do a PDI, but to hide it from you and then spring it on you later. That's the bad part. Well, and the part of the problem is, is these customers travel a lot of times two, three, four hours, three, four days sometimes. Mm -hmm. And they think they have this price in mind that they signed off on initially. Well, then when they get there, well, you didn't want it PDI'd? Yeah, right. No, I mean, it is what it is. Do you want to drive back home three or four hours or three or four days? No, you're just going to end up biting the bullet. <laughs> right. So I always just tell people, just get everything itemized in, in writing. Put on there, hey, nothing's going to change, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then you kind of know. Now, the one more recently here with, obviously, with COVID, with tons and tons of people jumping into the mm -hmm. RV industry, I mean, obviously, the supply and the demand's kind of a little out of whack, right? Right. So now all the distributors are raising their prices to the manufacturer. They're raising the prices to us. Price protection, right? Mm -hmm. So if you put a deposit on that vibe today and it's 27,000, your price is 27,000 on the it. unit. So when it comes in and if I ordered one, let's say it wasn't in stock and I hit two more price increases from the manufacturer, your mm -hmm. price is still 27,000 okay. on the unit. Okay. Here, when yep. you buy from RV Holes. Right, we yeah. have a price protection guarantee, so we're not gonna raise your price no matter what the factory does. Now, other dealerships, and I'm not just making this up, I have in writing from other customers mm -hmm. that brought me the paperwork from other dealerships that says, hey, your price is gonna raise, it's subject to a price increase if we get hit. That's and I'm telling awful. you, we've been getting hit with price increases left and right, so that that is just, Scary. Yeah. Because I mean, you'd think that you'd have signed for a $27,000 trailer and it could be 30000 it could right. be 32000 well, And for folks at home that want to kind of like compare this to something, think about like, remember when we used to go to concerts? Yeah. Uh, which will happen again, fingers crossed, I'm hoping. Uh, actually, I was just at a concert last week and it felt great to be yeah. at a concert. I bet. But you buy these tickets or you see uh, so and so is coming to town and you see they're $20 a ticket, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna get one for my wife and I, and then our, our two friends, it's 80 bucks. And then you, you hit buy now, and it comes up like $130, and you got entertainment tax, and the ticket master fee, and all these different fees that you're like, no, you, you said 20 bucks, that should have been 80 bucks, and now we're at 130, 140 bucks. Well, it's maddening. Well, this is, the, the, with the price protection, to me, that's more along that same lines. You paid 20 bucks for a ticket, and let's just say it was 20 bucks. Uh -huh. Then you actually got to the concert and handed the ticket, and then they want 20 more. <laughs> yes, yeah. Or they want 40 more. You gotta, You're you already gotta, there. You got a door fee. Uh, right. Uh, the door, uh, what's it called? When Yeah, when you have to uh, pay to get pay into the place. Pay the door or whatever. Yeah, 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 I forget what it's called. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's what it's a more like because... I mean, you're, you're already there. Mm -hmm. You already bought your ticket, and you went to hand it to them to walk in, right. your admission, and they want another 40 from you? Yeah, that's... I mean, that's where, well, they got the, the band charges more to enter. Yeah, yeah. They well, spent a little more gas on what they thought, so now you have to... You know what I mean? So that's where this price protection is just absolutely huge because, I mean, some of these units are taking three, four months to come in. Yeah. Some of them you're getting in 10 to 12 weeks, some of them are 14 weeks, but some of them are taking even longer, and... You thought you had this price the whole time, uh -huh. and then, boom. We just had somebody. Uh, Tim, tell me that name again. Gregory Parnell said he wish he wishes he would have known about hidden fees before he bought his trailer from. And I won't say the name. I'll say Camping W. Oh, okay. but that might be too much. No. Sea World, not C. The letter C World. Not where the dolphin is. Right, right. Got you. What's that, Tim? Tim, still talk to me. Wendy saved about 13 grand coming here as opposed to going to that camping, that big camping place. Sea World. Camping World. Sea World, yeah. Yes. yeah. Um, no, and I mean, it's just, it, it's kind of disturbing because what's, what's kind of heartbreaking is, is people come to pick up their camper and the kids are picking out their bunk beds and then they come mm -hmm. to sign 
And then they realize it's another five thousand dollars right. on top of it. I mean, how does that make you feel? Yeah. You just drove four hours and you gotta tell the kids, hey, we're either gonna pay the extra five thousand mm -hmm. or we're gonna pack up and drive home with nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And you uh, can you imagine? What's well, this a tough pill to swallow? What do you do? Yeah. Yeah, mm. that's that's rough. Uh, we have people asking if we're gonna have any used RVs today. No, we don't we don't show any used RVs on here. Um, and we talk we'll talk about this later also, but the difference between buying used, I know this totally changes the subject, but sure. somebody's asking. So uh, between buying used and buying new right now, uh, you can get new RVs because they're so popular. You can get new RVs for about the same price you're getting used RVs. And sometimes even a little bit less, I've yeah. seen in cases, just because, I mean, it's just like anything, right? I mean, if the supply's there, I mean, if I have something used, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like car lots, right? I mean, if you look out there with the supply and the demand, I mean, right. it's... Yeah, so I mean, a lot of times you can get into a brand new unit, you don't have to worry about, hey, is it leak, is it this, is it that? Mm -hmm. It's brand new, right? Okay. It comes with the manufacturer's warranty. And yeah. Anthony, we are in Lakeview, Ohio, uh, just in the northwest corner, kind of, of Ohio. Uh, Indian Hollow is the name of the campground we've been hanging out at, not the one, well, it is where we shot the, the thing just now, but they won't, they won't do that hidden pricing to you if you have a chance to get over there. Um, there was something else I was going to mention. Uh, do, 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 do and I don't remember what it was. Whatever it was, I'm sure we'll hit at some point today. Uh, but do me a favor, get hold of your friends, any friends that you think may be interested in RVs or are looking into buying an RV. Maybe it's just friends who want to see some good music. We got music coming up from a band called Trailer Swift. They are amazing. They actually headed out to some RV parks and did some music for us, so I can't wait to get into that. Anything else on hidden fees? No, I just would watch just watch for them. Yeah, just watch and Well, and I don't know if we actually mentioned get the price. I mean, maybe we didn't mention that. Itemize. Get the price. Yep. Itemize and get it have them sign something that says the price you're you're putting the money down on is the price you're walking out the door with. Right? Yeah, cuz I mean, it's just like the whole destination charge. I mean, we have one. Yeah. It's 360 bucks. But it's there. But it's on the bill of sale yeah. that you signed. Right. I mean, it's not we have a documentation fee. It's 250 yeah. bucks. But it's on the bill of sale that everyone signed. So, yeah. I mean, it's not like I'm going to spring that on you once you get here or I'm going to put a surcharge on you when you get here or a yeah. price increase or whatever. I mean, it's it's done. That's that's And that's that's what it's all about. I mean, it's make sure it's in writing. Uh, and we're turning this, kind of turning this into a big learn uh, time to learn because we have more people asking other questions. Uh, TJ wants to know about quality control right now with with RVs being behind. Are these companies putting together stuff really quick just to get them out the door? And we're not uh, seeing that, right? No, I mean, the, the quality's still been there. And I mean, I always tell people it's a house on wheels, right? So, I mean, yeah. you're going to have some issues. I mean, it's we're not seeing any more than we w normally have. Right. I mean, because, I mean, if you, but a lot of times people are first time buyers, obviously, mm -hmm. jumping in right now with COVID and all that, staying in hotels, they'd rather get a camper, stay in their own bed. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you're not used to you thinking, hey, I'm buying a new camper, it shouldn't yeah. have any issues. Right. Well, if you hook your house to a semi and pull it down the road for an well, hour or two at 60 miles, you're going <laughs> to yeah. have issues with it. Stuff's going to break. So, I mean, that part of it is still going to be there. Tim and I went to Elkhart. Tim is the producer of the show. Tim and I went to Elkhart to shoot some stuff, and we were pulling an RV. And we were on a road, a freeway that was a bumpy freeway. And I'm not kidding you. The whole time, we're, and then we couldn't talk. We were, shy, we were talking to each other like this, <laughs> trying not to, laughing about it. But just imagine everything in that. RV yeah, rattling right. around and bumping up and down on that road. So, yeah, it makes sense that a screw may come loose or something like that. Uh, well, that's just a lot of times, too. I mean, people will some because we do deliveries as well. So, mm -hmm. I mean, if you can't come here and you need it delivered to California or whatever, we'll do that. I mean, every unit is clean. It's PDI before it leaves here. And I uh, sometimes people will say, well, my unit is filthy on the inside. Yeah. Well, it just traveled 2,000 miles or whatever. Right. I mean, stuff vibrates in jars. I mean, there's from production when they're built, right? Mm -hmm. And that stuff just shakes through the vents and things like that. So you're going to see some settlement there. Even the first few times you camp, you're going to notice that hey, it's dusty in here or yeah. whatever from that the stuff settling. Stuff settling. Yep. Okay. And we also noticed while we were up there at the manufacturers that a lot of these companies are now like building like runs of floor plans as opposed to doing like one floor plan and then they do another yeah, specific and that, floor plan. Yeah, and that's a great point because that, that's one of the things you can do to kind of keep the quality up because normally in a normal year they might build just kind of all over as they get them, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if I can build 20 of the same floor plan, yeah. well, the, the quality goes up because right. you're putting the same thing in the same spot yeah. 20 times in a row versus all this time this one over here 
So that that is a great point, and that's one of the things that they've been trying to do is, I mean, obviously there's so many units out there that need built. So if they can build, <coughs> say, 20 or 30 or 50 or 100 of the same model right. in a row, that helps the quality go up. Yep. Yep. Good point. Yeah, it makes uh, it makes it makes sense that they would yeah, do it that sure. way. So, all right. Well, we'll answer a bunch of your questions all day today. I'm going to throw it to one of our sponsors. Uh, let's 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 check in with Dish. Season is in high gear, and many of you are setting off on camping adventures and road trips. Now you can stay connected with the shows you love with Dish Outdoors. Watch live HD TV anywhere your adventure takes you without Wi Fi. Best of all, it's easy to use. All you need is a portable satellite antenna like the Dish Tailgater Pro and a receiver from Dish Outdoors. Setup only takes a few minutes, and with pay as you go programming, you only only pay for the months you use. Hi, I'm Debbie Dunning, and whether I'm filming on location or just camping with my kids, all I need is the Dish Tailgater Pro and the Waller Receiver. You just plug it in and you have your favorite shows within minutes. It's that easy and no tools required. Before you head out on your next road trip, be sure to get Dish Outdoors and watch all your favorite RFD TV and Cowboy Channel shows wherever your travels take you. Hey folks, this is Eric over here at RV Wholesalers and today we're going to walk through the 2021 FR3 30DS. A lot of great new features on this. Go ahead and take a look at it with me. One of the biggest features in the new 2021 FR3 is that they're coming with the new 7.3 liter V8. They got rid of the 6.8 liter, liter V10. This is definitely one of the biggest upgrades that you're going to find in today's gas powered motorhomes. Has an outside entertainment center right here. Big TV, speakers, has a weatherproof door on struts so you can make sure that this thing is going to stay out of the weather. It's underneath the massive awning and uh, you can definitely entertain with this one out here. Moving back, you have a lot of underneath storage here. You have your battery compartment, hydraulic compartment. Everything is real tidy in here. And then towards the back here, you have two huge storage uh, cavities right here, one up front, one in the back. But the one in the back is very impressive. It's pass-through. So you have low points on each side with drains. So if any water ever got in there, you could you could drain it out. Uh, but all your suitcases, luggage, anything like that that's, re that's really big in size, you're going to be able to fit it in here very well. Huge upgraded feature for the 20... 21 model is the new exterior graphics. They're kind of getting away from those kind of swirly graphics on there. It's all a little more directional, very aggressive looking, and it's actually been showing very popular so far with our customers. Let's go ahead and head inside. So inside of the 30DS, you have this uh, uh, bunk that's actually motorized. You can stow it up, you can keep it down, but one of the cool selling features about the FR3 is with the overhead bunk, you can still drive with it down. One of the other cool features about this bunk is that you can lock it out with a key. So next to the bunk switch, there's a actual key that you can lock the mechanism. That way that, you know, one of the kids doesn't get curious and uh, mess around with the bunk when, when you want it to stay down or stay up. Uh, things like that. I know that while you're transporting too, sometimes people actually like to use this as a safe area because you can actually lock it. Underneath you have a nice Sony uh, touchscreen entertainment system with backup camera. Nice cockpit area with nice plush comfortable seats. Cruise control features, nice other steering wheel functions. You have all of your jack uh, functions right there in the cockpit, easy to get to, no fuss, no muss, super easy. Over here we have the nice theater seating option. Now in this you can actually get a couple of different variations. Just this one in particular has the theater seats. Of course they recline, you have your cup holders, and you even have a, a cavity right here that has two USB chargers. 
over here right next to it, you have your dinette. You make it into a bed. It's actually a very large bed. When you drop the table down, you set the insert down, sleep another kid or two, or maybe one adult, however you want to do it. It even has cup holders built into the tabletop. Over here in the kitchen space, you have a nice, tidy organization. This is actually one of my favorites, personally. When you come to a Class A, things just kind of get really closed in together and you lose out a lot of space in a Class A. But here's where the 30DS actually kind of shines through. You got a decent amount of counter space with a countertop extension. And they put this nice teak wood cutting board as a section that you can cover the sink. And you also have a, a dish drying rack that rolls up and you can put it out of the way. Now, up here you have your TV. It swivels out, kind of moves around. You can put it wherever you'd like. A lot of drawer space. And then you come back to your three burner uh, cooktop and stove. Huge Magic, Fe Magic Chef uh, microwave. A lot of features here in the kitchen space. Moving back here, we have this huge four-door gas electric refrigerator. I believe this is actually uh, one of the standard features in the in the FR3 that you can get. A lot of space, the doors open uh, French door style, the freezer doors also open up French style. You can run gas electric, a lot of space. It's a very, very large gas electric refrigerator. Moving back here, FR3 has done something that really kind of overcomes one big issue, even though it's so small that people have in a Class A motorhome, and that's with their pocket doors. The pocket doors, they just move all over the place, or you get a cheap strap that goes around the door uh, and usually tears off the side of the wall in about two weeks, and, and it's just a nightmare hearing that door constantly bang back and forth. What they did, they actually put a safety lock mechanism that, you know, unless you push down on it then it actually closes and when you go here click it's locked into place it's not going to move anywhere moving back here behind your pocket door you have your nice large stand-up shower skylight above you have a really tall shower head to where that's going to actually uh, really accommodate for uh, those on the taller side got a nice glass door uh, feature over here with a locking mechanism so that doesn't bang around either now coming into the bathroom, a couple of key features that you see in here is your nice porcelain toilet. Next to your countertop that has a stainless steel sink that has a waterfall faucet. Huge mirror, storage space over the toilet, and your exhaust fan right above. Nice lighting in there, everything is nice and copacetic. Now I wanted to stop here real quick and show you the, the panel. There's a lot going on here on the control panel. First, I'd like to start at the bottom. You have your generator hour counter, and that's all built in. Of course, as you'll see, these generators, they do run before they get in here uh, for a half an hour just to make sure they run diagnostics and everything just to make sure everything's running and good to go. Now, just to the right of it, you have your room slide out. This one's going to be for the back. And of course, there's warning lights that if something wasn't working right, it's going to be telling you where the fault is. And of course, you have your in and out buttons. This one up here is going to be for the main slide up in the living area, in and out. And as well, it's going to have your warning lights up here too. Over here, you have, uh, if, if by chance it's really cold outside, you need your generator, um, you know, and you don't have a plug-in, there's your power switch. Um... You know, here's your uh, uh, heated pads, everything like that, uh, water pump, water heater, everything is right there and tidy. And of course, you get your nice uh, um, gas measurement, uh, battery power, uh, and then of course, you can check your uh, where your tanks are at, if they're full or not. Now back here in the bedroom space of the 30DS, there's a, a lot of space, which uh, most of you might know, is that you don't get in, in a Class A motorhome. They did this with a bedroom slide. You have your king bed, a lot of space, very comfortable. You have your nice features like your, uh, like your bedside tables, windows on the sides of the slide with night roller shades, looking over your TV right up front here at the foot of the bed. A lot of cabinet space for uh, hanging your clothes, drawers, things like that. 
and then moving forward here in the bedroom you actually get this nice closet here that holds a combo washing machine and before we leave the bedroom i wanted to point out that with the air conditioner separate back here that air conditioner has a built-in heat pump you have your thermostat everything set up right here temperature up and down uh, you can set it up for um, uh, daytime nighttime uh, AC, uh, use the heat pump. Heat pumps are really good for knocking that cold edge off. And of course you have your temperature display right here above your light switch. Thank you guys again so much for looking at the FR330DS with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us here at RV Wholesalers. My name's Eric. You can reach me at 877-877-4494, extension 145. I'll be glad to talk to you. It's time for some more Trailer Swift. I need to get hold of Paul. Paul, are you there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, McCree. Hey, man, how you doing? Oh, we're doing great, man. We're just out here having a good time. That's good. I hear you got some music for me. But first, it sounds to me like you are at Henry Horton State Park. That's what I, is that what I'm hearing in the background? Yeah, it yeah, sounds like Henry. That's so weird. Awesome. All right, man. Let's have it.
So notice there's no P in the pool. No, seriously, the sign back there. There's no P in the word pool. David Drunell would like to keep it that way. Also, notice there's no P in price protection. It's because nobody's doing it. Well, almost nobody. Here's the deal. Right now, a lot of manufacturers are having to raise their prices because the prices of supplies are being raised. It's getting more expensive to build RVs. If you buy an RV, especially ordered RV, by the time you get it a month or two later, there's a good chance you're going to pay more for that RV than what you intended because the price will rise in those two months. That doesn't happen at RVW. At RV wholesalers, the price you sign on the dotted line is the price you pay when it's delivered two months later. So, just another way RV wholesalers is the dealership to go with for your next RV. Oh, sorry, I'm out of breath. It's so hard for me to get to the pool and back here that quickly. And you know, I just did because I've got the same shirt on. That's proof. I had to put my shoes back on, roll my pants back down. Anyways, listen, this is what we got coming up. We've got the Hyperlite XLR. We've got a Micro Mini and we've got a Rockwood Roo. Those are coming up. We've got more time to learn. So if you're in the market to buy an RV, which Obviously you are, if you're watching, you're in the market and that's awesome, you're in the right place. We're gonna teach you a whole bunch more. We've got giveaways coming up, all kinds of fun stuff. So do not turn us off. If you're thinking I, I've got a specific amount of time and I need to see the RV that I need to see, if you go to uh, virtualrvshow.com forward slash schedule, you can find the schedule and see exactly what we've got coming up over the next seven hours or so. So do that and uh, we'll be here showing them off. He got camping swirled by hidden fees. I did. Join our live webinar to find five tips and ways not to get camping swirled. He's not moving. Duncan. Okay. Oh! Duncan got camping swirled. Did you see that? Did you see what happened? No, I was it. swirling. He was, he got swirled, camping swirled by hidden fees. That's what we call it. <laughs> How you doing, man? Doing good. Yeah? Yep, yeah. doing excellent. Thank All you. Right. Well, we got a lot of people asking a lot of questions that we can get to those eventually. But let's talk about this Hyperlite because there are people out there, we know this, you know this, that want their new RV and they're looking to us today to get them into their new RV. This could be yours. If this is the one you want, I would say jump on as quick as possible, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, this this model is a it's a 3212 XLR Hyperlite. Um, it is not currently in stock. We've got a bunch of them on order. Okay. okay? Um, so, I mean, then I, let's go start at the front because okay. I, I, that's the best thing I think about the Hyperlite series is they've got the big front end. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you've got a monster window up front. Um, this will be your front bedroom, so you'll be able to see out the bedroom. We'll see a little bit of that when we come in. Um, so this it looks cool. It's aggressive. Uh, the trailer is what's nice about the, this is like their highest end in a in a travel trailer toy hauler, okay. right? And then they make fifth wheels as well, but uh -huh. um, they're they're eight eight and a half wide, <laughs> so they're a wide body. Right. Gives you more room. Um, let's go, as we come through, well, let's just show, I want to go to the back a little bit, show some of this stuff okay. on the outside. It's still um, it's Power locked. jacks, that's just storage up there, power awning, LED lights. They do a tire pressure monitoring system on the unit. Okay. Um, so basically it'll tell you if you're rapidly losing air, slowly losing air, or if things are getting too hot where you maybe have a break and that's hung up and, and you know, and everything. Mm -hmm. So okay. a lot of people don't think about that when you're running down the road. How do you know if you got a flat back right. here until it's too late? Yeah. You blow, blow. You know, I've seen a lot of customers that it, it's blown this whole thing out, and sometimes it's came up in and told them out. So, Jeez. plus, you know, safety wise. So right, right. They, they, do, they do that standard. Um, they do use uh, the CRE 3000 more ride upgraded suspension. Okay. All right. So, that's a better suspension. Uh, we're getting a little bit of rain here in Ohio today. So, that's one thing I want to point out in the back back here. Almost every manufacturer out there that, um, you know, brand has on a toy hauler are starting to have patios. Well, yeah. one thing that XLR does is they have a waterproof patio. Okay. So it's all made of a composite material, so you never have to worry about, like today, if it rains, 
did I put my, did I have that up before it rained? Because right. on all these other ones, they, they're, they're not waterproof, so it's getting inside the grooves and it's warping those ramp doors. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's one big plus that they're doing on, on the uh, Hyperlite series, they're doing all water, weatherproof uh, doors. That's great, that's a good idea. Yeah, and, th and this is nice. I mean, this is a good, good area to sit back, hang out. I they love do these, have a... I've mentioned on every episode how much I love these patios. Yeah, and they, they, they use a, it's like a more compact um, type of railing that goes mm -hmm. around too, so it doesn't intrude to your garage. It is a 12 foot, six inch uh, garage um, space wise. Okay. Um, okay. Should we get in there and take a look? Yeah, let's go inside and take a look. You wanna do the garage first? Sure. Come in, Absolutely. Coming back through here. Yeah, this is a nice one because you got your, that's oh, not even a half bath, it's a whole bath. Yeah, yep, that's, you. that's your that's your main bath for the whole okay. area, right? So you've got your, you know, shower, toilet, it's got this, you know, nice vanity above, your sink and everything. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, one thing that's cool, they, like they do all like a barn door type of look on their doors. Yeah, it's sharp right? looking. Yeah, it looks sharp. This is a tough deck, right? And all your, all your tie downs are all to the floor. You notice how you've got four black pegs down below. Uh -huh. So XLR comes with two uh, smaller tables, okay. right? So like when you're using this area um, to sit and hang out, you can still get through to go to the deck. A lot of all the manufacturers I know of all just have one table. So right. now you got to move that table every time to try to get through. With this, you can put up one table and still slide through. And the table easy. you're talking about is cutting. It's like this, and not like uh, it's not like a table cut this way. It's a table cut long ways. So yeah, that's they, how you can get past because it's, right. yeah. There's two of them. So, so if, you wanna, if you're just going to use it for sitting around there, great. you got two, two big areas. If it's just one, now you can still get in and out. Yeah. So it's pretty smart that they thought about that idea. And I like that we have this down. I think most of the time we have this up and we just tell folks that it comes down. Yep. So it's got a bed up top. These sofas come together. So you got basically mm -hmm. two double beds back here. Mm -hmm. um, nice, nice little area right here for put all your supplies and everything else as yeah. well. Awesome. Great. Let's go up to the living room. Check that Let's out. Check it out. Yeah, this is all this right. Is nice. Yeah. So as you come in, you got you know you've got your I like to call it this is like an there's sofa, large sofa, right? So uh -huh. it, it'll recline. You just pull pull this. And you they got all do, all three you just all hang out. Yeah. Yeah, they do use the nicer Thomas Paine furniture. Uh -huh. So it is a nicer furniture like your house. Comes with TV, sound bar, fireplace. I mean, the kitchen. Yeah. Kitchen's got a lot the of. Kitchen kind of looks cool. As well. I dig the kitchen. Yeah, I, I actually I like the dark just, colors and the 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 like brick uh, design. Yeah, I just actually sold a customer um, this model, and he is li he lives in um, Marysville, Ohio. He's getting ready to move out to Montana. Okay. Right. So he's going to be actually using this to stay in full time while he's out there, right. and you know finds a place and everything like that. So I thought it was really cool. That's awesome. You know, and, and he's right. I mean, it's just like a house. Man. Yeah. It's awesome. This is very. I like the the accent lighting underneath the underneath the uh, kitchen area. Yeah, and then they go that cool little blue lights on on your stove. Yep. Uh, glass top to give you more counter space, and then that just folds over twice. You know, and then you've got three burner gas range there too. Awesome. I did recognize they did put a max air fan up top um, in the ceiling here. Mm -hmm. um, there's a switch for that, so it allows you to pull air in and out through the trailer. Mm -hmm. um, is that a remote? Does that come off the wall? No, it just fixes. Okay. I've fixed seen some right that here. do. I couldn't tell if that one did or not. Yeah, so since that's okay. up so high, you can close and raise that and turn that all on right from one switch. Good. Um, well, I want to show you something cool over here, too. You've got... All these hyperlights come standard with a uh, central back. So you just push that and push that up. So once you've got your, your regular plug-in hooked up, like we're just on 12 volt right now. So you just push that up. You can sweep all your dirt in there and push it back down and it goes to a canister on your okay. outside. Awesome. And uh, like there's not a lot of room on this side. You'll see there's not a lot of room because you've got, I'm assuming is that storage underneath there? Well, this has an option where you can put an onboard generator. Okay. So there's not a ton of walk space on that side of the mm -hmm. bed, but come to this side gauge, and then you'll see how much more room you got there. Yeah. And then show them the cool window. Uh, you know, I was I was showing, this is what I was talking about, and then it has a cool blind that'll come down too, to, to separate that off, and then. Yeah. 
So a lot of people like that to where they look out, you know, when they're sleeping at, or laying here in bed at night, they can actually see the stars and stuff mm -hmm. like that, you know, depending where you're at. So it's Great. pretty pretty cool little layout. And this ain't hard from to get what I remember, in you can't see in from out there, right? Correct. It's all yeah. it's all a uh, tinted yeah. safety glass window. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is nice and and uh, for anybody who would look at that bedroom and be like, well, I, there's it's not a lot of space in there. That's that's true, but you've got a stinking garage built onto this thing. So you you gotta you gotta get the space you can get, and the, you've got a bedroom and a nice garage. So you're still getting everything you need. It's just the bedroom maybe a little smaller, a little less walk around room, but uh, this feels this feels roomy for having a, a garage on the back of the thing. Yeah, 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 it's got a separate garage, and um, you know, like a little information on it. I mean, the, the trailer comes in. It's about it's about eighty six hundred pounds. Okay. okay. Um, I said that earlier the garage is 12 foot 6 inches, it's eight eight and a half foot wide, um, it's got one single slide that slides out here uh, with the sale today, it's coming in, you know, between 41, 42,000 depending on, you know, options. Wow. Um, we've got quite a few of these on order right now as well and uh, total length from hitch to bumper is 36 one. So, Call it living space about 33 one. You take about three foot off of there. So. And so you say you have them on order. Does that mean you have them on order for somebody, or you've got some coming in that are, will be when they get here available for people to buy on the spot? Yeah. So so in inventory wise, so we've got them on order for inventory, um, and then we still have we can order somebody you know exact options they want to. That's one yeah. thing that's nice about us is our flexibility with with the customers. Like most dealers just want to push you to what they have, right? right. We have the flexibility of uh, being able to order you a unit. Um, you know, the demand's so high this year that it's been hard to keep a lot of stock, in, you know, as far as inventory on the ground. We've got a lot of trailers that are coming in every day that have been sold um, that, you know, so, you know, we can get pictures and colors of different stuff that's coming in and show different models. But as far as keeping units on the ground, they, you know, I, we appreciate everybody. They just keep, you know, we, we can't keep up with all of it. Right. So we're ordering them out. We've got thousands on order right now, and you know it's just a matter of just getting your name on one because this thing's not slowing down. Yeah. You know, I mean the market is not slowing down, and you know it's going to take probably the manufacturers another couple years just to be able to meet all the dealer or restock all the dealers too. So, right, right. Um, I, that's why I tell everybody. And one thing we're doing is we're price protecting. No other dealer out there right now is price protecting because the amount of um, price increases the manufacturers are having because of COVID and shortages and mm -hmm. fluctuation. Our owners, you know, said that that's not how we do business, right? Mm -hmm. We when we commit to a price, you know, we're not going to ask the customer for more money, and they're not going to ask us to take off more money. That's just that's that's fair business. Yeah, so yeah. that's one thing we're doing. That's why I tell everybody lock in, even if it's on order or it's not in stock, lock in. Because you're price protected, and now you're ahead of the That's game. Very important. So now, not only are you uh, jumping in and buying today if it's not in stock, so that you have it within a couple, three months, you're also buying today to lock in that price. So now there's two reasons to yeah. buy today. Because if you hold off, because a lot of people may, I don't know, to me it makes sense. It doesn't make sense, but it's something I feel like I would do. Like, I'm not going to order one. I'll just wait till they come in. Well, what's the difference between ordering one for them to make for you or waiting until they come in? You're getting the one you want, and you still have to wait. So you, you, you jump in today, get the price protection, get the RV you want, and have it within a few months. That's exactly right. And, and the only thing that's going to happen if you wait until one comes in is you're going to pay a lot more money. Yeah, right. Because that's they're not going down on yeah. price. The demand's too high. I mean, they just keep going up, up, up. So I just did the same thing with my truck. I just took possession of my new truck that I ordered. Uh, my wife and I, we couldn't find anything out there. I mm -hmm. sat her down. I said, well, let's order it how we want it. We'll get exactly what we want. Um, and we'll pay for uh, the pricing's a lot lower because everybody that's got stock is price gouging. Yeah. Right? Because they know they've got something in stock. Everybody wants it now. So let's, you know, now you're going to pay five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 more instead of just waiting a couple of months for something that you're going to have eight years, 10 years, 12 right. years. And then you figure out the interest that you're going to pay and the difference in that money. I mean, it may be a fifteen, twenty thousand dollars swing. Well, somebody said they for three they, months of waiting. Yeah, somebody said earlier they they wish they would have known about us before uh, they bought from another place because they paid thirteen thousand more than they would have paid here. That's and exactly this is, right. This is a perfect example. And would you get a twenty twenty two? Yeah, pretty much everything that's on order right now uh -huh. are going to be twenty twenty twos as well. Okay. So you're locking in at twenty one pricing for a twenty two model because we're price protecting too. So. 
there's so many advantages of it. Um, it just, I think a lot, you just gotta wrap your head, hey, yeah, I'm gonna miss a few months of camping, but financially and for a lifetime, I mean, it's, it makes yeah. perfect sense yeah. to do it. So uh, Joanne wants to know what would be the monthly payment for this vehicle if it's uh, you know, 42,000? I mean, rough estimate would probably be right around, I would say 300 bucks or so, Wow. you know, give or take. And it just depends on credit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it could be a little bit higher, it could be a little bit lower, but just shooting ballpark payment, I would say right, right around in there, you know, 250, 300 right. bucks a month. So let me ask what may be a stupid question. If somebody were to buy today and it's not in, they have to wait on it, do they start making payments today if they buy or would they start making payments when it come, comes in? Is the $1,000 deposit, is that what holds, uh, how's that work if somebody's thinking about buying today? Yeah, that's a great question. I get that question all the time. So what we do is um, we do a $1,000 deposit. That locks you on your price. That goes towards your down money. Uh, we get the approval. We'll get the approval approved. But you won't actually start making a payment and sign your final bank contracts until the day that you pick up okay. or the week of it. If you're going to have it delivered, we would send out bank contracts ahead of time for you to sign and return because we have to have all bank contracts back to the dealership before the trailer goes out. Okay. So you, it's basically, And then it's typically going to be 30 days after that. So, no, you're not making payments on okay. something that you don't already have. That will be once you actually take possession, you just got your deposit locked in cool. and price protected. So, awesome. Great question. So uh, consider that. There's Again, there's so many of you out there you're watching because you want your next RV. Today is the day to do it, to avoid the price increase, to get uh, yours ordered so you get it as quickly as possible if it's not in stock. Uh, it's just, there's, if, again, if you're in the market, I want to push you to do something you're not ready to do. But if you're in the market and ready to buy an RV, today is the day to do it right here. The number is below. Get hold of people. Call them. Go to RVWholesalers.com and uh, create your own, build your own, get a, get a price uh, quote on that and get yourself into the RV of your dreams right here today. Uh, thanks for watching through. We'll be doing, doing more, but uh, I'm going to throw it to a sponsor real quick. Thank All you. Right. The Virtual RV Show would like to thank our sponsors. Dish Outdoors, TV as flexible as your travel plans. Blue Ox, control trailer sway with a Blue Ox weight distribution hitch. Equalizer, the best protection for your journey. And RV Wholesalers, your home for the nation's premier RV service. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Hey everybody, we're about to do a giveaway. To win this, you need to be registered. So get to virtualrvshow.com, get registered, it's absolutely free, and you can win something. Also, while you're there, make sure you check out the schedule to find out what's coming up next. Hey y'all, Duncan and David here with RV Wholesalers. We got a question here with Hey RVW. I've been hearing a lot lately, forums, internet searches, while I'm trying to look into buying a new RV, that a lot of dealers aren't holding true to their pricing structure. They're price gouging and they're not protecting their prices. Tell me about what's happening in the industry right now. It's uh, it's something new. We've never we've seen price gouging, of course. Okay, yeah. But this is something new. The dealers have literally gone in and changed their contracts. Okay. Okay. And they're putting a little loophole in there that says that any factory price increase that they get, they can pass along to the customer. Right. Most of them, uh, I've seen four different contracts so far. The 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 print was so small. Yeah. You know, you, you had to have readers <laughs> if you're an old guy like me, uh, to read what it said. But what they're doing then is is you you buy an RV. Yeah. Uh, you have it on order, okay? Because everything's ordered right now, almost exclusively. There's just no RVs out there. Factory sends along a price increase, which is happening, okay? We're getting tons of price increases from the factories right now because of all the, you know, all the stuff we see on TV, right? We're out right. of PVC pipe, we're out of fiberglass insulation, gas shortages, you know, all yeah. this, Manufacturers all this madness. Yeah, harder to pull off. Exactly. Yeah. So they, they send a $700 price increase to the dealer. What the dealers are doing then is they're using that loophole and you get an email from them that says, do you want to pay the extra $700 or do you want to forfeit your uh, deposit mm. and have your unit canceled? So those are your choices, right? Yeah. Do I give up 1000 or do I pay 700 The problem is the average customer is going to face at least five of these. Wow. We had from one factory in 42 days, we had a 16% price increase. There's a 6%, a 4%, and a 6%. Yeah. So some of them are pretty massive too, you yeah. know I mean? Depending on the, on the unit you bought. Yeah. 
So for the, the consumer, you're not like for, for for me on the outside, you don't know a lot of these details. What is what is RV wholesalers doing to price protect? Uh, we, we are price protecting. The the contract's a contract. We're honoring the contract like we always have. Uh, we've called out the industry numerous times. Call them out again right now. If you're an RV dealer, why aren't you price protecting? Mm -hmm. You entered a contract with a customer. You should honor yeah. it. You know, it's a way for us to show people that our industry is an honorable industry. Yeah. You know, and what we're doing is is challenging customers. We we can't sell. 500,000 RVs, right? I wish we could. So you, people are going to have to buy from other dealers as well. Mm -hmm. When you sit down to sign your contract, make them put in writing for you that you won't pay any price increases, that your price won't change. And if they refuse to do that, you need to get up and walk out. Absolutely. And price gouging, be very careful. We get people occasionally say, well, I found the same one at a local dealer. The other day a guy was telling me that it was, it was actually a boost. Oh, like really? this unit, a little smaller XLR one. XLR boost. Yeah, it was sixteen thousand dollars more. Wow. Which is why it was sitting at the dealer's lot. Right. But there's people that are paying, you know, five to fifteen to twenty thousand dollars more for an RV so they can get it right now. Right. And, and the dealers are just price gouging. Hey, thanks for watching, RV wholesalers. If you like this content, you want to learn some more. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you can always see what we've got coming. We'll see you in the next one. You guys hanging out here at the campground wish you were here actually i wish you would like us on facebook we are a little under 260,000 likes we'd like to get to 300,000 come on what are you waiting for <laughs>
So, uh, yeah, or like you can keep new... the spare friend in the pass through, like we kept I kept you. True. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of like the inside of what Airstream's doing a little bit. Okay. With this flat lined. Uh huh. Like everything is real modernized, and these nice pull handles are just. It is sharp looking. It's kind of it's kind of that new uh, modern vibe that mm -hmm. they're going for. It's pretty cool. Right. So uh, you got a good size. It looks like a queen size bed up front here. I was just laying on it before we started shooting. Very comfortable. Then you get your little dinette. This side faces the TV back here. I'm trying. I'm kind of hitting everything at once. Uh, you got your kitchen right here. The cool thing is, you don't even if you. Hey, I I need another Pepsi. Right there. Boom, right there. Boom, shakalaka. It, it's locked right now, but open that up, grab yourself. Oh, there it is. Grab yourself. Don't even have to get up. Don't even have to stop watching the TV. Oh, that's cool, though. For How a small awesome. space, look at that storage built in. Look at those drawers in the bottom of the, in yeah. the fridge there. It's a good size refrigerator for something this uh, this size. You got three burner. I believe it's probably a three burner. Yep. Three burner stove top. Building backsplash. Let's take a look at. Oh, there's no oven. So you got yourself a convection oven up here. Convection ovens are great. You can crisp food up in a convection oven. These things are awesome. So storage down here underneath. Oh, that's not storage. That's probably a control panel of some sort. Was here. There you go. There's the storage. They pack it all in there. It's nice yeah. too. Even though it's small package, mm -hmm. you still have lots of storage and good tech. Like I, I saw this control panel over here. We swing around still have Bluetooth availability here. It's inside and outside. Speakers in the ceiling, speakers on the outside on the, for, on the, on the wall. And your, your TV mount is, for a bigger size TV, for such a, such a small package, you mm -hmm. know? Right. Also, you have this really nice wireless charging. Let's I will tell you this, again, you're buying a micro mini. This is going to be a small thing. So this is a small little bathroom. Again, if it's just you and a spouse, maybe a kid with you, this is going to be enough to get away and just have fun outdoors. Yeah, this, this is your Explorer package. Exactly. This is so much better than just a tent. You're not going to have something like this in a tent. So if you're looking at this thinking, man, that's kind of a tight little space. Yeah, it is, but again, it's a small vehicle. So you got your shower right here. Uh, again, though, I am six foot tall. I got room here because of the skylight. Uh, the, the, the shower curtain. <laughs> it's a tight little squeeze. But you'll be fine, trust me. Toilet, sink, a little uh, medicine cabinet up here. I kind of like these smaller little things. They're, 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 it's fun. Yeah, it's got that, you know? that fun size feel, and you can pull it with something smaller. Right. You got everything you need in here. Mm -hmm. Whether it's smaller or not, you got everything you need. More storage underneath here. This would be fun just to take and get away for a weekend. Yeah. yeah. Go hiking. Pop it in the spot you're leaving your, your vehicle and your trailer and get out in the, on the mountain, get out, and then come back and have a nice place to stay yep. with beautiful amenities even in a small package. Yep, that's right. All right, so the uh, Winnebago Micro Mini, all the information down below. Get hold of us. Uh, get hold of us? I think that doesn't make that, any sense. Get that, hold of us. Yes, exactly. <laughs> if you want one of these because uh, I have a feeling these things are going to go pretty quick. Yeah, once again, we'll, we, we just want you to, you know, you can look into... Any of our options with the sales reps, you give them a call, let them know if you have questions about where this could fit, well, if it fits in your budget, you can see some of those prices down below as well. Yeah, absolutely. Hey everybody, we're about to do a giveaway. To win this, you need to be registered. So get to virtualrvshow.com, get registered. It's absolutely free, and you can win something. Also, while you're there, make sure you check out the schedule to find out what's coming up next. I told you it's time for a giveaway, so we're going to do a giveaway right now. Whoa, should I be sitting down or I'm on the wrong camera? I'm going to sit down. All right, I'll sit down. I've been working hard all day today. Uh, we're going to do a text to win. I am going to give away. Should I be in this one? Yeah, I'm in this one. All right, so I'm going to do a, which, which camera? <laughs> I've forgotten. We were, this camera, right? 
Little one, yes. All right, so uh, this is live TV. I knew everything, but every once in a while I pretend to screw up so you know that it's absolutely live. Because if it wasn't live, we just edit out everything I just screwed up, so it's live. We're going to give something away. It's called the uh, Passport America. There's a nice breeze going through here. I'm making sure stuff's not falling on me over here. Uh, Passport America. This is a 50% uh, off RV parks, over 1,500 RV parks across the country. So 50% off your chance to stay at an RV park near you. So we'll do the seventh person to text the word WIN to 833-717-0327. I'll tell you again, that number is 833, oh, it's right there, 833-717-0327. The seventh person, text the word WIN, get that, gets that Passport America. It's probably coming in right now. Um, we also have coming up more music from Trailer Swift. If you had a chance to see earlier, they are actually not all individually separated now. They got together and they're doing some music live together for us. It's kind of nice to see people close to each other rocking out like that. Like real concerts are coming back. I'm a big concert guy and uh, it's nice to see them coming back. So do we have our, do we have our seventh, seventh texter yet? Seventh person to text word WIN to 833-717-0327 wins that Passport America. Thank you to the folks at Passport America for supplying those to us so that we could give those to the folks watching today. If you are watching real quick, we would love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We want to make sure you know exactly what you're doing when you're buying an RV or after you own an RV. Um, we, do, we do webinars two webinars, usually two webinars a week, Tuesdays and Wednesday, or Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it's just more tips and tricks and, and good things you need to know to, uh, to safely and smartly buy an RV. While we're waiting on this, I'm gonna talk about this big prize coming up here. This is a Jackery <laughs> portable power station. So you can power things outdoor. This is pretty cool. We've got a solar panel that will come with it that you charge this with the solar panels. So you can take whatever you need out. To, if you're rocking 1980 style with a boom box, you know what I'm talking about. You plug it into this thing out in the middle of nowhere because you got your solar panel, solar panel running this, which is running your boom box or whatever you want to plug in. So that's coming up a little later. Uh, I want to show you something real quick before I announce our winner. I found this. I don't know if there's, there may be no way you see this. I had no idea this was a thing. You know how they get the new quarters? There's actually a National Parks quarter. I had no idea, and, it, and there's, there's no way that's gonna, that's, you're not gonna see that, right? You can't see it? A little bit closer? It's got a, a, like a bat on it, but I, I was looking at it the other day, playing with quarters, and it actually says National Parks on top. I think that's awesome. Anyways, we have our seventh person to text word win, Torin Perkins. Congratulations, you just won the Passport America, the 50% off at RV parks, 1,500 RV parks across the country. Congratulations, enjoy that. Uh, let's get to what's next. A little different, maybe maybe not different. If you you've seen past uh, RV shows, virtual RV shows, the folks around here and me included uh, are very much into our faith. Um, it's a big part of our life. We don't try to hide it. I know Dave and Mike Dernell, the guys that own this place. It is a huge part of what they do around here at RV Wholesalers. So. I want to talk to you about something real quick. I'm not going to try to push anything on you necessarily. I just want you to. I just wanted to tell you something, and it's it's about a quote that I saw not long ago on Twitter. It's a quote that absolutely rocked my world. I mean, I'll tell. I'll t let me just tell you the quote, and then I'll tell you how it wrecked me. The quote is this. And maybe you've heard it. Maybe you haven't. But it's powerful. The quote was, "At some point in your childhood." You and your friends went outside to play for the very last time and nobody knew it. I'm going to say that again just because it's, man. At some point in your childhood, you and your friends went outside to play for the very last time and nobody knew it. And when I first heard that, I started thinking about like, 
my neighborhood buddies I grew up with, Chuck and, and uh, Brett and Trevor and Jerry and Jay and Dave and Brian. And remember playing baseball in the backyard and thinking, when was the last time? I don't think I can remember the last time we played outside. And that's, that's kind of crazy that it just it went by that quickly. And then I started making it like, like personal. Like my son is 21 now, but I started thinking about like back when he would ask me to wrestle and, and sometimes I would say no because I just, I just wasn't in the mood to wrestle. And so I started thinking like at some point, Sebastian, my son, asked me to wrestle with him for the very last time and I, I can't remember if I said yes or no. And I was on my way home from a, a gig. I do some comedy and magic for a living. And I was on my way home by myself and I was maybe 15 minutes from the house and I started thinking about that. Like, when was the last time Sebastian asked me to wrestle? It'd be weird now, he's 21 and he whooped me. But like, what, was he 12 years old and the last time he asked me, I can, see, I got <laughs> I can stop talking about it, it's gonna mess me up. But did I say yes or no? Did I miss that last chance to wrestle with Sebastian? Sorry, guys. Uh, it's weird to do this on an RV show. But uh, what I learned was that life just goes by way too fast. Life goes by way too fast. And no matter what you believe out there, there's a verse in the Bible that talks about life just being a mist. Just a mist. And in other words, it just goes by. It's a vapor. It goes by so fast. And I realized that I need to take that quote and keep it from devastating me. I needed to turn it into something uh, stronger for me. And I've, I've specifically spent more time uh, with people I love and hanging out with friends and, and just enjoying this life that God has given me. But if life is a mist, I believe that what comes after is an endless ocean. So you live this life on earth, it's over at some point, and then what comes after goes on and on, like compare a mist, like spraying a water bottle and the endless, just an endless ocean. So my question for you is where are you at in your life, in your, in your faith? Do you have faith? Do you not have faith? Do you believe in God? Do you not believe in God? Because I believe 100% that there's a loving God that loves you, that sent his son to die on a cross for you so that you could spend eternity with him. After this life here on earth, you spend eternity with him. And when you, when, I believe when you give your life to Christ, it's not just that fire insurance that you're avoiding hell. I believe also that it's, it's about your life here on earth and making it better. Uh, if I were to be honest with you, I would tell you right now, and I will be, I guess I will be honest with you. Um, this is also fresh. I lost a, a friend last night, completely unexpected. We're live, it's May, what is it, May 26th. It's live right now um, uh, at 1.35 Eastern. So I am absolutely live last night we lost a golf buddy of ours, a close friend, unexpectedly gone like that. And it's awful. And I'm gonna miss my buddy, but at the same time, I know that he had given his life to Christ, so I know he's doing a lot better right now than I am. And you can have that peace right now by starting that relationship with Christ. You don't have to know everything about what the Bible says. You don't have to be a Bible scholar. You don't have to get your life right. Maybe you have issues in your life, stuff that you're embarrassed of, stuff that you know is wrong, that you're thinking, I gotta get rid of that before I go to God because I can't go to him the way I am now. No, that's not true. He wants you just the way you are. He wants that relationship with you. He created you. He loves you. He wants that. So if you're out there right now and you're thinking, I, 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 want, I want this. I want this relationship with Christ. Then do me a favor. I'm gonna pray a prayer right now that is just basically talking to God and saying, hey, I need you in my life. It's just understanding that we were born into sin, we've all fallen, we've all done stupid stuff, but God, a loving God, sent his son to forgive us for all of that stuff and we just need to tell him that, hey, we get it, we need you. So I'm gonna pray this prayer and if, if you're out there and you're like, I need, I need that, which I hope, if, if you don't have him, I hope you do because man, what a life, what a life he gives. He came to give life more abundantly. So I'm gonna pray the prayer, you can repeat after me, and then we'll get onto another RV. I know it's, it's weird to just throw this in the middle of an RV show, but this is how much it means to everybody here at RV Wholesalers. So uh, again, just repeat after me. Father, God, I come to you right now, uh, maybe not understanding everything, but understanding that I need you. I've sinned, we've all sinned. I pray, God, that you forgive me of those sins. I invite you right now to live in my heart, to guide me, to make me a better person, uh, and just to lead me in the path that you have for me. Uh, I surrender my life to you. I give it all to you. Help me understand what's going on over the next rest of my life so I know what I'm doing. But God, 
I surrender my life to you today. Thank you for all you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. If you want to know more, there's a link right there on the screen. That's how important it is. RV Wholesalers has a special spot on their website where you can learn more. Uh, and if you, if you have any questions, please get hold of them. We would love to talk to you. Guys, we do this because uh, we absolutely love you. We don't even know you personally, but we love you, and we want you to know what's great in our lives. We would love for it to be great in your lives. So thanks for listening to me, guys. We'll get some more RVs. Hey guys, just watching myself on the RVW YouTube channel. You need to subscribe because we've got all kinds of really good information on there. Walkthroughs, uh, webinars, virtual RV shows. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll be happy you did. I'm gonna, I'm gonna complain. I appreciate that they feed us here, but they bring <laughs> like the food in and I'm working right up until like 10 minutes before I go live and then I eat uh -huh. as fast as I can. And, and then, then like, it sits in your stomach. Yeah, like, like an hour oh, later, crap. I'm like, oh my gosh. I, I feel need like to crap right now. Yeah, I need to just take a nap. <laughs> a nap? <laughs> yeah, I'm old though. I need to take at least three naps a day. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> this would be a nice vehicle to sleep in, though. Take a nap in because of, <laughs> I, I really want to. Maybe someday just come out here, open these up in the parking lot, and just let the, like the wind blowing through right now. Uh -huh. It would feel good to sleep in one of those. I would sleep for days. Maybe that's what the rest of the show should be. You just check in with me every once in a while to see how sleeping. well I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> see if you turn over or yeah. something like that. Yeah. I told my wife, she's trying to do something along those lines. Uh, we just had a litter of pups, right? And so she's trying to do, like, some live stream or something on her phone to where people that purchase uh -huh. these dogs can, you know, watch their dog as it's sleeping and stuff, I guess. So I, I right. That's crazy. That's my wife for you, though. That's crazy. <laughs> going my, going my, crazy on it. My wife, I know she's not watching. She's out running around right now. My wife just got a sleep guard. <laughs> We're just talking about her wives. So she puts it in at night, and I don't know what it's for exactly. It's for something. But she can't say her essays. <laughs> so the first night she put it in was just a couple weeks ago. And she said something. And I started laughing. And I'm like, I'm laughing, but it's, it's kind of adorable. So we go to sleep. And I wake up in the morning. And she's, I roll over. And she's laying there. And she said something that reminded me that she had this thing in. And I said, hon, tell me, tell me where we're going on vacation in a couple. We're going to Surfside Beach in a couple weeks. <laughs> so I just wanted to hear her say, we're going to Surfside Beach. <laughs> but she wouldn't. She just turns over. She goes, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I don't know. It's funny for me. It makes me laugh every time we it talk about it. It's so. funnier. Uh, and then that's why your phone's ringing right now. Yeah, exactly. It is yeah. buzzing. She's, she better not be watching. She's, I think she's driving somewhere. Yeah, it's not her. We're oh, good. Oh, that's good. Uh, so let's talk about the outdoor kitchen first since we're right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is going to be the 2021 Rockwood Rue 235S. Um, I think that we like got something going down on the bottom of the screen or something like that. But if mm -hmm. not, we will soon. Um, this is going to be your outdoor kitchen. Uh, cool little setup to it, uh, 3.2 cubic foot refrigerator on the outside. Uh, got a little bit of storage up here, some counter space. Other cool thing, too, is this counter space is not that pressed laminated wood. Okay, right. This is going to be outside, so uh, it's actual you know, metal uh, formed into the countertop, so that way you don't have to worry about any kind of like delamination or anything crazy like that. Uh, on that, two burner cooktop, and then also out here you will still get the griddle that hangs on the side of the camper as well as the little table that hangs out here too. Uh -huh. So you're basically got two cooking platforms, one griddle, one two burner stove that's out great. there. great. So that's kind of a cool little setup. Yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting about the griddle because we never have it setting up here. So oh, you yeah, we the, never have it out here. Yeah. So, you know, it, it kind of slips your mind. But LP Quick Disconnect is up underneath here. Um, and, again, it just sits right out here on the outside. Uh, standard down on the Rockwood Roo is the outside TV bracket. So that's another cool feature. Uh, on the outside, obviously two outside speakers, power awning, LED light strip underneath, all the good gizmos and gadgets there on that side. Um, in the 235, we've got tents on both sides, so two queen-size beds going out on both sides of this uh, camper. 
solid surface steps, Dexter Torsion Flex axles with the TPS monitoring system. We and just had somebody tires. asking about two, the two axles and mm -hmm. how that compares to one axle. Yeah, so two axles compared to one axle, um, honestly, it's going to, when we're talking about the differences, obviously two axles is going to be a little bit heavier camper, okay, so you got to watch out for um, your weight in terms mm -hmm. of your uh, towing restrictions that a lot of people have on their campers. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are very nervous and scared of single axles, rightfully so. Uh, if one can, if one of the wheels busts off or blows or something like that, really you're rolling on one wheel at that point. Okay. Um, versus when these guys happen, uh, one wheel blows off, you still have the other one that you're still rolling fine on to where you can get off safely. Um, I do still see people leaning towards like single uh, over dual axle just because of the weight thing though. Okay. okay. Um, anymore nowadays, people are changing out these tires. Thankfully, Rockwood's putting Goodyear tires on here, so you don't have to change them out quite as quick. Mm -hmm. um, but nonetheless, people will go ahead and change the uh, tires, get some more, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Beefier, sturdier, Beefier, better. sturdier, longer lasting yeah. tires here at this time. I'm so. assuming you would also definitely recommend the tire gauge for a single axle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the TPM, uh, TPMS monitoring system, the tire pressure monitoring system, um, I think that that's really a good idea. Um, you can put them on aftermarket. Uh, now, Rockwood comes standard with them, but there are people okay. that you can put them on aftermarket for, such as like Wildwood, who doesn't offer that, uh, or like the Salem, you know, the Jayco's, people like that who don't offer that. You can actually buy that monitoring system, put it on there, okay. um, and then basically it just screws on to the end on those guys. So they have two different types of sensors, one inside the tire and then one outside on the valve stem. So okay. uh, two different options in terms of that. Um, when you do go single and double axle, um, regardless of which direction you go, always recommend going with that uh, blue ox or the equalizer hitch, um, whichever way um, you guys decide to go is fine. They both have equal um, capacities to them. So okay. um, both of them are very good, good quality hitches, but those are the anti-sway and weight distribution hitches. Definitely you're gonna be more important though on those single, single axles over dual axle because Without it, it's a little bit more squirrely uh, mm -hmm. in the back with just single axles. So okay. definitely would recommend the weight distribution and sway control hitch, especially on single, but okay. still would recommend it on dual axles as well. Awesome. All right. Awesome. We have somebody asking, DJ is asking, what, TJ. Oh, he wants to know what brand of tires we have on our units. I guess it varies, right? Yeah, so it's going to vary between the lines. Um, we aren't putting these tires on here at the dealership. It's strictly coming from the manufacturer. Rockwood's putting Goodyear tires on their campers. Other people are putting uh, off-brand tires or the uh, tires that uh, come from China and places like that okay. um, that are whatever the manufacturer says. And those would be the folks it. that are probably putting on the better, longer-lasting tires. Yes, those would be the folks that would be doing something along those lines okay. because, in all honesty, I mean, they, they call them China bombs for a reason, you know, because they, get, they will, you know, basically give out on you. Yeah. Um, that, okay. That's a given. Um, but at the same time, I still tell everybody you got at least two years of good solid traveling like every weekend traveling before you're going to run into an issue mm -hmm. again an estimation obviously i can't predict what kind of road hazard you run over or anything like that but just standard driving conditions going every weekend you got about two years of camping with the tires that come on even if they are the china bombs right yeah. okay after that though i'd go ahead and switch them out get some you know good years on there or something along those lines kind of like rockwood's doing standard gotcha. so that's what i recommend at least on my side all right Cool. Um, let you guys kind of step in there, check everything else out. Um, as you're going up, you see the solid surface steps going in. Another great feature that Rockwood's doing standard with their campers. And again, this living area is very roomy. I did not expect this much room when I walked in. Yeah, well, and the cool thing too about this unit, um, I mean, you're really only talking about, I think it's, I think this thing's like 27 foot long and then extends out both ways another four foot. Uh -huh. So you got a 27 foot camper that extends out to 20, 30, 35, 35 foot. We're both doing the math in our head. Yeah, so like a 35 foot camper, um, which is nice. You know, it kind of helps alleviate some of that weight. Um, like you said, you do have the tent on the outside. Uh -huh. Everybody's got their own opinion on the tent um, in terms of the canvases and things like that. So it's it's the matter of, you know, people's opinion and how they uh, view yeah. tent camping. I think it seems like a great idea. This has this thing in it. Is this a heated mattress? Yes, it is. Yep. See, that's so. crazy. It's going to have a heated mattress on it in case uh, you are going to be using a little bit. Uh, if it does get a little cooler at night, mattress will heat up for you, kind of help with the insulation. Those windows are zip-up canvases, so you can either have a lot of breeze coming through or a little breeze coming through, whichever way you decide to go okay. uh, on, on that side. A little storage above. A little storage above. You also have a little um, curtain uh, directly in front of you or to your left. Oh, there. yeah. Um, a little curtain there, so that okay. kind of slides and gives you a little bit more privacy on that side. Awesome. 
Now, storage behind the TV, um, that opens up to a Sheesh. ton of storage back there behind the TV, so that way you have kind of more of like a hidden storage option uh, mm -hmm. for valuables and things along that line. Um, you also have the uh, trifold sofa here on this particular unit. Uh, that's going to fold out into a queen size bed. Your dinette is also going to go in down into a bed. So realistically, you're looking at sleeping anywhere between seven and eight people in this camper. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. So that's kind of a nice setup, especially on a you know smaller camper such as like twenty seven foot camper. And I do really, I mean, this feels at twenty seven feet. This feels enormous. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it's actually twenty four foot ten inches. So okay. I was I was close, but okay. Plus the eight feet, so Plus you're at thirty two feet. feet. Yeah. After you put the beds down. Exactly. So see, I did that math much faster. I didn't. Yeah. So I was gonna let you do it. <laughs> I, na I nailed it. <laughs> But um, air conditioner is still standard on this guy. You also got a max air ventilation fan up top here uh, that you can or cannot go with. It's an option. Um, so make sure, again, I always talk in all my videos, make sure your options are correct. Make sure you're doing your due diligence, double checking your options, because obviously that's very important when we're talking about campers mm -hmm. and things like that. So you, I know we have the prices at the bottom. Do you know what it is? Just so my I. My paper knows I mean, what it is. Your paper does? Yeah, my paper does. Uh, 28, 134, uh, and payments at roughly 220 a month. See, guys, listen, I don't know if this one is in stock or not. It doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter, but if this is something you're looking into, get, jump on now at yeah. that price. Well, again, we, we're, we're talking about price protection all day long. We yeah, don't have to absolutely. talk about it right now because we've talked yeah. about it, but basically the price isn't going to go up after you sign on the after dotted line. After you sign on the dotted line, and until that point happens, I know June 1st, you know, I don't know if I'm supposed to let people know or not, but June 1st, we're supposed to have a huge price increase come up from the manufacturer for us. We have not heard that yet today. Yeah, well, I'll be the first then, I guess, to drop that bomb on everybody. But, okay. Uh, that's June 1st. Forest Rivers got a huge price increase up to 6%. So, wow. I mean, you people can do the math on their own of how much increase that's going to be. Yeah, we, so. couldn't, we couldn't add... Eight to twenty-seven. No, so you, you can do happen. the math on your that's own. That's not going to happen. But six percent of yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, and especially when you get into some of these bigger fifth wheels and things like that, you really see that like a lot of money coming through um, on some of these bigger guys, mm -hmm. and and that's just Forest River. Not to mention every other brand out there is going to be increasing their prices too because yeah. they're getting the price increase to them. And okay. then you got dealerships that are passing that along to their customer and it makes it almost impossible to sign when you have no idea what you're signing on. Right. In right. Reality. So. Okay. You know, it's definitely something that we are very, we try to be as open as possible with on those because, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to price protect you. But after June 1st, that's going to take into effect and yeah. that's going to be the price. You're not going to sell the thing for any less than what you paid for. Exactly. It. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, not on purpose, at least. Right, right. Let's take a look in here and see what. Uh, see if you can stand in the shower. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've, well, I have stood in one shower so far, but it was more like just getting out of the way. Oops, I'm knocking stuff. Oh, there's the, the plug. Why would you have a plug in the shower? In case you wanted to get your feet wet. Yeah, if you want to give your feet a bath. <laughs> Just, <laughs> uh, plenty of room in here. I'm six foot. And uh, and when I close this, there's still plenty of room. Open it before you guys lock and see you locking it and me never getting out. And if I'm going to be stuck in this RV, I want to be in one of the beds. So, yeah, there you go. You can have this for a little over two twenty, or right around two twenty a month. Yep, two twenty a month, roughly on the price point on this guy. Um, and like I said, you know, this one doesn't happen to be in stock currently. Um, but again, we're doing what we can to make sure we get these campers the quickest from the manufacturer, uh -huh. and they know we're price protecting too. You know, so we're one of the biggest Rockwood dealers in the nation. Okay. Since we are price protecting, they want to get us the campers as quick as possible because obviously, if we start losing too much money on every single camper, mm -hmm. we're going out of business. Yeah. So. At the end of the day, you know, we're going to stick to what we know. We're the only dealership in the nation now doing that. We're going to stay with it, and we're going to rock and roll and see where we go. If you're considering buying this Rockwood Rue, think of it this way. You can get it today at the price listed today, or you can hold off thinking maybe I'll wait till the next RV show and maybe buy then. But there's a good chance by then, and this is going to be a little more. Just well, there's not a good chance. There's a 100% okay. chance because June that? 1st, there's going to be a, at least a 6% For price everybody. Price. For, That's for, for everybody. Okay. Forest River, period. Okay. So gotcha. all brands Forest River are going to have that. Obviously, Rockwood being one of them. Um, and most of our inventory and the things that we carry is Rock or is uh, Forest River. So okay. 
you're going to see that kind of come across the board. So you need to talk to whoever else it is that helps make decisions Absolutely. at the house. Absolutely. And jump in as quickly as possible. Again, obviously it's what these folks do for a living. They sell RVs, but they really want to get you in the RV of your dreams. And they do that by offering you the best prices, not doing hidden fees, giving you the best service possible. RV wholesalers is the way to go. So please talk to those in your family that help you make decisions and get yourself Absolutely. in an RV today. Mm -hmm. Good? All right, I'm going to go hang out in the pool again. Oh, wait a minute. We want Somebody wants to know how what? How the tank closes? Oh, the tent. Let me see how the tent closes. Oh, cool, cool. So actually, the tent starts by inside, so we got to go right, inside that's before. That's right. I've done this once. <laughs> it's, really not, it's really not difficult. So are you showing or am I showing? Why don't you? Why don't I help you show? Because okay, I think perfect. I remember it's yeah. So your first kind of first is going to come over here. Okay. So as this guy goes in here, guys, you got three different settings. Okay, depending on how tight you want these sides over here, uh, and how windy it is. Okay. But basically, we're going to start by pushing it in like that. It comes off, and then this part's going to fold down. Okay. So as this part folds down, it actually comes off completely. We're going to lay this guy back up in here. Now, what I always recommend doing next is pulling this out a little bit, all right? So once we pull that out to where the seam's actually at the seam of the coach too, because this whole thing's going to fold up in here, so we got to make sure that that's all set up that way. Now, if you look in here, you're going to see that the top outer shell is actually laying down on the bed right now, okay? So now when we go outside, you're not going to see that actual hard-look canvas to it. It's actually going to be kind of all meshed down oh yeah yep so basically now on the outside you have no outer shell um, it's kind of collapsed on itself and then it's real simple where we're pushing it up all right now this can be done by one person or two people since we have two you want to tuck in this canvas tent that's on the outside we're going to tuck it in all right if i were going to the other side i'd walk myself over it do the same thing on the other side, but walk yourself back. Your canvas in on your side. Yep. I think. Double check uh, as you Maybe go a up. little more. Oh, yeah, definitely a little more. Newbie over here. Okay. All right. So as the canvas goes up, are you on on your side? Huh? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Just, just push it in. Well, the mattress is... I think it's hitting on either your side or my side. Is it hanging over a little? Oh. So the mattress is hanging off, so that means we gotta go back inside. We didn't pull the mattress far enough in. I was thinking when we that. Came in. I was thinking but nonetheless, when we pull the mattress, we pull the mattress in as far as it goes. Okay. Uh, Place. All right, so I'm gonna there's go a little grappler up there. You show that. We're gonna show them that we can do this. That pulls into place. We may not be able to add eight to twenty seven, but we can close well, up we can this. Put the, we can put the tents back together. Yeah. Fair enough. I see what's going on. It didn't want to come forward because the Velcro caught. Okay, now give it a shot. Now you're good? Yeah. I don't know, did you pull her in farther? I think so, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Live we're telling, television. We're telling people it's easy to do and we're over here struggling with it. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's essentially how it goes um, to pull everything back in. It's not supposed to be that hard, okay? Yeah, but yeah. nonetheless, you, you'll smart. get it figured out. You do it a couple times, you get it figured out. I've done it once, and somebody and walked I've done through it, it twice, so that's helpful. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got somebody already mouthing. There Brian just said, "Wow, so easy." Yeah, super it really easy. is. I'm sure it is. We're just doing something. <laughs> 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 we can keep trying and see if we can stay here all day long. Yeah. That'd be fun. Well, and that's why. That's why when we do these, when you come to pick up your your RV, they do walkthroughs. It's not a hidden fee. You're not going to pay for that. I here. don't do the walkthroughs. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't do the walkthroughs. So no. we'll have somebody walk <laughs> through the RV with you, so that you a professional. We'll call them professionals. Dave doesn't do the walkthrough either. In case they don't even let me around worried. here except on, <laughs> on shoot days. So, <laughs> yeah, if you want this, uh, you need to jump in today because you got to lock in at this price. So easy. And uh, you got to get it ordered if it's not readily available. So, uh, now I'm heading back to the pool. Okay. okay. I'm going to the pool.
Listen, we know you guys are busy today. We know you have schedules to keep. We know you got things to do. We appreciate you watching. If you want to know exactly when the RV is coming up that you want, go to virtualrvshow.com, click the link for schedule, and you'll see exactly when the RV that you want is coming up so that you don't waste time sitting around watching idiots like me floating around in the pool. question earlier from uh, Susie she, she was wondering what happens if I break down in my RV mm -hmm. when I'm somewhere across the country not near my hometown like I don't know anybody around there no right. I don't have a, my garage my, my well, and you're mechanic. not taking the RV to the grocery store down the road yeah. you're taking it across country so that's when it's gonna that's yeah. when things are gonna it's happen. not gonna break down in your driveway it's gonna break down when you're somewhere else right what happens that's a very good question so uh, the answer is simple the nationwide service guarantee that RV wholesalers has for you has 2,900, over 2,900 vetted um, uh, shops that will take care of your RV no matter where you are in the 50 states. We've got you taken care of. Uh, there's a concierge number that you pull out your phone and call. We'll call one for this this here. Sure. We'll Try pretend there was uh, leaking or something. And uh, Simple as this. You just pull yep. out your phone. Dial. Dial the number. And let them know, hey, I am here, and I need your help. You may need to give them a little more information than that. But uh, people will show up. Uh, uh, goodbye. <laughs> if you, you really, think, goodbye, I, that's yeah, if you really think I was talking to somebody, you're crazy. But whoa, look what just happened. Wow, that was quick. That was quick. That may have been because he that's was fast. sitting at the top of the hill up here waiting for us. But you get the idea. No matter where you are in the country, RV Wholesalers has you taken care of. They know that they don't want you, or they know that you don't want your vacation ruined. So the best way to do that is make sure you're taken care of no matter where you are in the country. Look at this Come guy. Come on, I'll show you He's the leak. Get out. How you doing? Good He's to meet you. He's going to fix the RV. How you doing? Hey, dude. Let, 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 me, show you, let me show you inside. Something. We'll show you the leak. All right, you done in there? Actually, yeah. Excellent. It's easy fix. Anytime. Here, here's my card. Thank you. If you Thank you very much. If you have any problems, let me know. Thanks. And just like that. Fix it right it. up. That's it. That's the nationwide service network. Over 2,900 service centers and mobile repair specialists across the country to take care of you, to give you peace of mind so that when you're out with your RV, no matter where you are in the country, you're close to somebody who can get you taken care of and get you back on the road. Your vacation isn't going to be ruined. That's for you from the folks at RV Wholesalers. Peace of mind. Check it out. Go to rvwholesalers.com. Get more information or just stick around here. We'll talk more about it later today.
together uh -uh 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 All I really want is more than this moment right now Taylor Swift, everybody, makes me angry every time I watch them because they're so much cooler than I am. Those guys are awesome. Fun to hang out with, too. We had a chance to, uh, around Christmas time, get to hang out with uh, those guys. So, uh, coming up, we've got a Puma bunkhouse. If you're interested in Puma bunkhouses, we got that coming up. We've got a Triumph Super Class C. And we've got, don't tell me, Tim, I remember, I'll remember it. Hold on. We've got, yeah, tell me. Columbus River Ranch, that's right, I love this thing. And it's right there, I can see it outside there. This thing is awesome. So all of that is coming up, plus more tips and tricks, more music, uh, we're gonna have some fun. So uh, stick around as long as you possibly can, guys. this guy in so I'm glad to show it to everybody and it will go quick just because it's a Puma and a Buck house. Everybody in the nation's looking for them, right? <laughs> Should we uh, start yeah. out here in the back? Let's start out here in the back because this is a pretty cool uh, feature that's coming with this floor plan is the big outside kitchen. So we get the nice bigger size that's outdoor size. refrigerator or we as we like to call it dad's medicine cabinet. Uh -huh. We got the microwave the sink that goes into the gray tank, so you don't have to take it out, dump it, right. or anything like that. It goes straight to the tank. Yeah. Uh, Plug-ins back here, perfect for maybe an air fryer or a coffee maker or whatnot. And a big griddle yeah. to cook your bacon and eggs out here. The Puma we stayed in had the outdoor kitchen, mm -hmm. and we loved it. Now, ours had the like the stovetop one with a pan. Right. Uh, but, man... It's so nice. Yeah, yeah. And so it's it, so nice to cook outside. And this, because everybody's starting to lean toward these now. Yeah. And people just love it because you don't have to have the camera smell like bacon right, or right. like that. All smells yeah. good out here. Yeah. And then um, some more cabinetry as well. So you can put a whole bunch more stuff out here. Oh. Then what about there's some storage on the inside? Actually, having the outdoor kitchen makes me want to put an outdoor kitchen in my house. <laughs> it's, it's just so nice, nice to cook right? outside. Yeah. Big, big old patio. That's, yep. Ah, that's my dream. Yeah, <laughs> make it happen someday. Um, also, you can put a TV out here so it is prepped for it, Dave. Yep. And so the TV that will come in the inside, you can actually take it off, mm -hmm. place it out here. Okay. It just plugs all in right here as well. So it makes it pretty easy on the slide, too. Right. So this is a slide. You do have outside speakers as well. So you can still listen to the radio and things. And I, we don't have the awning out, but I see an awning yeah, over there here. There is an okay. awning. It's all power. You do have an LED light strip under it. Okay. And so you don't have to hang those dinky lights no more. Right. It comes with cool. it. Sweet. More ride steps. Uh, this guy does have the power jacks on it, so front and back. So two switches. Uh, one's up front for the front two jacks, and then you have one just like this in the back okay. uh, for the back two jacks. So power, you don't have to do that cranking or get the DeWalt drill out. Just okay. hold the button, goes up and down. Awesome. Same with the tongue. So you do have a power tongue jack as well, standard. Okay. Um, more ride steps. Uh, so lightweight. Uh, you lift them up just a little bit ago. Uh -huh. Super lightweight. Super and I'm easy. a wuss. <laughs> I, have, I have no muscle tone at all, and I lift Me them up there, no problem. And it's my main way almost three-year-old can do it. Yeah. And then you just fold it up right inside. 
Um, as we open the door, we do see this COVID clean sticker. This is super cool, guys. So this is something that we offer uh, for free. We'll actually take a cleaner through the whole entire unit once it's uh, pre does a pre delivery inspection, also known as PDI. Um, we'll take it through, uh, through that process. We'll do the cleaner inside. We'll put this seal over the door so nobody can get into it until the customer unlocks it, opens the door themselves. Awesome. So they Great. know it's clean and taken care of. All right. We're going inside. Let's go inside. Yeah. <laughs> See, this makes me want to get back out to camera again. <laughs> and it's back season now. It's yeah. going to be 60 Saturday. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. I'm surprised all of us Ohioans are wearing shorts and I know. tank tops, you know? I know. We're ready, man. <laughs> we are ready. And so as we come in here, we do have the kitchen island with the big, deep farmer sink in it. Uh, nice little stainless steel black uh, faucet too. Uh, so this lets you come around and you can spray. Yep. Just make sure everything is cleaned. This goes right back in. Uh, we do have a nice little rack here for your coats, uh, jackets, raincoats, whatnot, hats, keys, all right here for you. Yep. Accent lights on a three burner stove. You do have the oven as well. Uh, storage all the way around. So Puma now does the white cabinetry. But as we can, we'll see here shortly that the island is like the accent brown color. Really, oh, yeah. really kind of makes the white pop a little uh -huh. bit. I really like that feature. Kind of make it more homey. Well, you've got you've got different colors. I mean, you've got all the colors that are here. Exactly. Are like in this, so right. everything matches. Even though matches. this is a different color than this, it still it fits. It exactly. looks good. Then right behind you, David, we do have an 11 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. So all electric. So it's. Heck of a lot bigger than your eight cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. So this is all 12 volt. Um, a lot of people get worried about that. So the cool, like especially if you're driving down the road, the cool thing is it's going to come with an inverter. Okay. So if you're plugged into your tow vehicle, your fridge is going to run. Nice, nice. We do have a pantry right here as well. So more dry goods storage. And then this is actually actually hiding something else in the bunkhouse, which moms are going to love. Okay. So we'll show that here in a second. As we come around. We do have the standard fold-out bed, so this is a regular jackknife. Now you can upgrade to a tri-fold if you want, or you can get theater seating. Okay. A lot of people go theater seating just because it's just a little bit more popular. Mm -hmm. uh, you do have a dinette. You do have the option to get table and chairs too. So if you do get the dinette, you do get tons of storage under the seats, and this will actually go to a bed. Yeah. Great. Which is a big, pretty you big know, what's, what's cool is you, you said you can you have the option. You can go to rvwholesalers.com yeah. and like design this Puma. Exactly. You want. And there's a wonderful video on there featuring you. Yeah, it is a wonderful video. Just, the host how, is incredible. <laughs> to show you how easy it is. Yeah, it's Again, so simple. I can lift that. I have no muscle definition. I can get around on the, uh, on the uh, what do you call the it? Internet. Uh, so the internet. Yeah, the internet. <laughs> the interwebs. I can get around on that at least to, uh, to customize my... Exactly. And if you guys don't want to do that, you guys can always call us and we can do it all for you. We'll go through the list of everything you want and select all the options and get your pricing that way too. Awesome. We do have a nice entertainment center right in front of the seating area so you don't have to break your neck to watch TV. A lot of people don't like that. Right. So you do have a nice little setup here. Your electric fireplace. So this will actually produce heat. Take the chill out yeah. um, instead of using your propane for your furnace. Yep. You do have a little nook under here for shoes. If you have pets, I know people put their Water dishes, dog food dishes, uh, your toys, everything goes, can go right under there. Kind of just get out of the way. And a nice little shelf here for maybe a uh, CD player or DVD player or whatnot. Now, this is Bluetooth as well. And you can hit a magical button and the sound goes outside. And it's, it's great. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's so nice to sit out there and listen. Then if we come inside here, so we do have a set of bunks. So we got a set of bunk over here and over here. This will actually lift up. Just how easy this is. So if you snatch it in over there, now you have a seating area. This will also fold out into a bed. Okay. What's pretty cool about this floor plan is this: the closet. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a you decent don't, size closet. You don't really see it, but in this floor wow. plan, you do have it. A lot of moms want this mm -hmm. because they don't want their duffel bags so all over the place yeah. or whatnot. You know, right there. Perfect. Hang on, that's, close that's a great closet, too. Yes, it's nice and deep, so you can yeah. put yeah. stuff on a shelf. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, with this floor plan, you do have a, a second AC goes inside the bunk. Okay. Just kind of have the floor plan set up. Uh, they move the main AC a little closer to the main, uh, have everything ducted into the main, um, and then the second AC go back here just for better airflow. Cool. 
a nice little thing there. You know, something we rarely talk about is the emergency yes. exit, if you need to use it. And I just thought of this, and maybe it's common sense, but mm -hmm. it seems like something you would want yep. to teach your kids exactly. how to do it in case something went bad. So, super easy, okay? So this window, will, so first off, what you guys want to do is pull this tab, mm -hmm. the screen pops out, okay. okay? And then this will go all the way out. Oh, I'm not going to let go of it, okay. but the window will go all the way out so you can just jump out. Okay. Now, if I'm going to keep this window open, there's a little lip right there. Oh, it feels good right now. You feel that breeze coming nice, in. Nice, a little nice. airflow, and it feels great. Yeah. Yeah. Just something to think about that yep. hopefully you'll never need it. And you probably and it's will a safety never feature, need it, so if you have bunkhouses like this, it's going to have it. Yeah. Uh, most of the time, you're going to have one in the master as well. Okay. So just in case you can't get out to your exit points. Okay. Then we'll just walk out this way, David. We're going to swing around and go all the way up to the master. So I'm going to let you on, open the back door. Because it's such a, such a big deal. <laughs> it's a long walk from there to the there is. Room. And so as we come in here, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna you have your bathroom. We got to do your thing. Get, get in the side so people know how. Again, I am six foot. I've got a, plenty of room above me. So Even if you're a little bit tall, taller, you uh -huh. do have the skylight to give a more head space. Right. And it's roomy. A lot of people worry about shoulder space. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about that. You don't yeah, feel claustrophobic. Fine. Look at this. Look at this. Plenty of room. Great, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Nice little cabinetry as well in there. Yep. Nice little unclosed. It's pretty deep, too. Oh, place to hang a uh, hand towel. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. And then... And a uh, toilet roll dispenser, which I know you don't see in a lot of these. You don't see a lot. Now, a lot of times, they, they tend to come with it, but they allow the the uh, customer set up... Oh, decide where to put it. Decide where to put it. That's, that's pretty smart. Now, as we come in here, uh, as I said, in bunkhouse, you do have one in the master as well. Mm -hmm. the same aspect. Just okay. pump it all the way out. And then um, your master bed. You do have storage under here as well to put extra hanging clothes, hanging closets. You can access both sides of the bed, you know, as you can see. Mm -hmm. You're on one, I'm on the other. If you have a CPAP, plug ins on both ends, nice little shelves to put it. Phones. Yeah. What? Everything. Alarm clocks, if you don't use your cell phone. I know some people still use alarm clocks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> but this is a again the 32 bhks so wonderful wonderful floor plan um, it is available we just got it in but i'm telling you guys it's a puma it's a bunkhouse it will not last long what uh do we know what the, the price is on yeah this? so or should I mean, they call they should just call okay. because we got some options on this like the electric power package it can be different you can change some things around uh 36 foot around 8600 pounds okay. so one f-150 can haul this Great. All right. Well, thank you, yeah. sir. Thanks for hanging. All right, that was that was, that was pretty good. That was that was, that good. was pretty yeah, good. I like that one. So people are nervous about buying an RV right now with it being backed up. And manufacturers thinking that because everything's backed up, manufacturers are trying or manufacturers are trying to work through quickly and 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 ignoring quality. Is that you think that's the case right now, or you know, I, I think it can be in some factories. You know, no. I, I think is the. The, the biggest thing that I try to get across to our customers is, like, if you're really worried, you're wondering, okay, which, which RV should I pick? Which one can I trust, which one's, right? Which one's safe? Exactly. Then go to our website, right? Even if you're not buying from us, if we carry it, you know it's safe. If we carry it, you know they're going to back it up. And the truth is, David, most of the factories can only produce so many a day. Mm -hmm. They're still on that number. Yeah. Right? Well, you know, that's the they, thing. That's why they're behind, because they're not they're skimping not, out on quality. Right. And, and they're not, you know, you can't just go build a new factory, yeah. right? Uh, this is interesting. They never run second shift. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. So all, the, all they run is first shift. Okay. So they have the same, you know, skilled craftsmen that were building them last year when it was kind of dead at the beginning of the year, uh -huh. right, are still building them now. You know, we have one factory, a motorhome factory, puts out five a day. They're still putting out five a day. Okay. So for our products, no, we aren't. We really aren't seeing that, you yeah. know. And, it, and, you know, you want to find a dealer, too. Ask the dealer if they do a, a PDI. What, how many how many steps in the process? Ours okay. is 183, I think, right now. 183, they check Give off the list to make sure yeah. it was 
yeah, just to make sure everything's working properly, right? Okay. You know, so when we hand it to you, we know. And you know, are are we finding some things? Sure, we always find things. But mm -hmm. yeah, I don't I don't think that's a big concern right now. That's good. That's good to know. So there, it is safe to buy an RV now, even though. The, the, so the fear of, let's, I'm trying to think the best way to put this, the fear of buying an RV right now, thinking the quality's low because manufacturers are a little behind, is for the most part unwarranted. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. You know, there, there are a few factories that try to shoehorn a few more in. Uh -huh. We don't do business with them. Okay. Because if, if they're cutting corners there, they're cutting corners everywhere. They're cutting corners on warranty parts. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it, you just can't do business with them. So if you're interested and you, you want to be safe and buy an RV that's not being rushed through, continue watching the show today or go to RVWholesalers.com and check out their inventory or come out, come out to the place here or in Dodd City, Texas and uh, find yourself the next RV for you. <laughs> So let's talk about the sewage holding tank, your black water tank. You need to empty this thing. It's an awful thing you have to do, but you got to do it. So uh, you know what you do. You, you take this off. I'm not going to do that because this has been uh, uh, winterized. It's got antifreeze in there. But you hook this up. This, I'll give it to Tim. So obviously this would run to where you're going to dispose of it. Like right now, it's not bad because it runs downhill, but there's going to be times when it doesn't necessarily run downhill, and maybe it's kind of running uphill at one point, or you get something like this. You need a constant downhill run of this hose to empty the tanks, so you need the slunky. Right there, the slunky. This is a 20-foot long uh, apparatus, for lack of a better word, that starts off bigger, ends up smaller, so it keeps your hose going at a decline, so you can empty this without any issues. Uh, we're going to do a flash sale on this pretty soon, but that's it. That's how it works. I'd love to open this up, but somebody, one of you, is probably going to buy this thing, so I'm not going to open it. I'll let you do it when you get it. I don't know if this... <laughs> cooling myself off in the water. <laughs> resting, resting on the table back here. Oh, yeah, place to rest my arm. There's a glow around me. Hey, this is the Slunky. We're going to do a flash sale on these. But before I tell you the flash sale price, we're going to do a giveaway because I don't want you to buy one if you're the one to win it. So we're going to do another text to win. So text the word win to the number on the screen or this number, 833-717-0327. 833 833-717-0327. Uh, we'll go with the 10th person to text the word win gets this slunky. Now, if you don't win and you want to buy one of these, I'm going to sell this right now, including shipping, for $47. $47, that's it, for this right here, this slunky. That's 937-834-2424. Uh, or you can go and email, because you, you may not be able to get through. You just want to let them know that, hey, I want a slunky. Email us at parts at rvwholesalers.com and get your name on the list to get a slunky for $47, including shipping. That way, you don't have to run out there and lift the hose up and just to get the, the poo to run in the right direction, for lack of better words. I just, I'm just going to sit here and overlook. Oh, did something just... Hey, folks. Fine, don't even wave at me. Yeah, look away. Oh, yep, they're, they're, that's, oh, you know who that is? That's Mark. That's Mark right there. Well, how funny would it be if I went like that and the whole thing tipped over? <laughs> that's Mark, the, uh, the kid who knows everything about RVs. I'm sure we'll see him again at some point soon. Uh, but yeah, email parts at rvwholesalers.com to get your slunky at $47. Do we have a 10th person that has texted the word, word win to 833-717-0327. We do. Jody Bates. Congratulations. We will send you your slunky. You just won a slunky. Uh, what's next? We've got, I know we still have the Columbus River Ranch coming up. That's the uh, fifth wheel that's all one level. If you haven't seen this yet, it's amazing. It's incredible. And then we also have, looking at right here, a Triumph by Nexus, a very nice Class C. I'm going to head over there right now. But before I do that, listen, do me a favor. Get hold of somebody and say, hey, tune in to the virtual RV show right now. 
We got all kinds of RVs coming up. Obviously, you know that more from Trailer Swift, more tips and tricks. You know somebody interested in an RV, so let's get it. Um, oh, you know what? We're gonna do before I go to that. I'm gonna I'm gonna check with somebody. There's a couple that came in recently that was uh, doing a walkthrough. Let's go. Let's go. Kind of peek in on them. live look over here on the ball just in case you're ready to go just in case we can go live which we couldn't or in case we can go back to that video we will get to that video it's just like i said it's just somebody doing a walkthrough it's kind yeah, of interesting yeah, yeah. to let you know what it looks like to see somebody actually being walked through super super short and sweet absolutely these uh nexus is knocking it out of the park right yeah absolutely yeah. so uh nexus has been one of these uh up and coming lines here for us uh they used to be direct to customer but now they're not mm -hmm. um they actually go through dealerships now so that's kind of cool uh we partnered with them they've had great success up to this point um the one that we're standing beside is actually their class c uh super c so it's their class c diesel i mean look um, at that that's international chassis that's um, bad. which is the uh uh, the big diesel chassis on this guy, so uh, a lot you know, of power what, behind that's it. That's what the kids are saying nowadays. That's bad. That means good. Oh. I say that's bad. All the hip kids are saying that nowadays. Are they? Yeah, yeah. This one, and this is bad. Sorry, I said something. Ahead. I said something to my son the other day, and he said that that's not cool anymore. I said okay. Did you say on fleek? No, I don't. I can't remember. I don't know how <laughs> on fleek was ever cool. Have you heard people say on fleek? I've never heard it. Dude, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It was around for a couple months. People say, oh, that's on fleek. I'm like, that's stupid. Don't ever talk to me again if you're going to say stuff like on fleek. <laughs> oh, I remember what it was. It's like yeah. whenever someone gives you an insult, you, he, was, he kept saying to me, Uno reverse card. I was like, oh, cool. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Was, is that yeah, like, like I am rubber, your glue bounces off me, sticks yeah, to you? Yeah, apparently. So you, say, so you Uno just reverse said card. Uno reverse card. And wow. I told him that the other day. He's like, Dad, that's not cool anymore. I said, that's just cool last week. Like, what happened? Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's well. kids. Kids you're hit, you're hit for a moment, and then things change. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. We should probably be talking about this. People the are like, camper. just tell us about this the, the, Super C. <laughs> Super C. Um, guys, this is basically what you can see driving down the road right now, guys. Okay, so your big, um, uh, your big uh, semi-trucks, 18-wheelers, uh, things like that. That's the motor and chassis system on this guy right here. So you're talking about durability, longevity, um, running off of diesel fuel, not running off of gas. A lot of great things coming uh, with the uh, international chassis that we're uh, that we're seeing with these guys. Absolutely love them. Um, we've had great success up to this point. Every single time we get one in stock, it flies off the rack in about five ten minutes. After that, I'm gonna get um, up in it just because. You Sorry, doing? you can keep talking. I just want to show you how good I look up here. <laughs> if I was a cop, I'd pull you over. Yeah, just <laughs> to get an autograph or something. Hey, aren't you guys that guy from the virtual RV show? No, they'd be like, hey, you're not supposed to be driving this, sir. <laughs> that would probably be more why sir, they would pull me over. we don't trust you to drive this in your Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice up here. Um, but also on the uh, Nexus, the Triumph Nexus, Nexus you're going to have a 12-year structural warranty, six years uh, lamination, so no delamination within six years on the outside. This particular unit that we're going to be stepping through is the 30 TSC. Uh, it's got the Asdell interior instead of Luon. Uh, plenty of storage on the exterior of the coach. This one happens to be full body paint, uh, so they do have a full body paint option, and they have uh, the stickers or graphics or whatever you want to call those, but they literally have painted this guy on with a paintbrush all the way through, so uh, really nice setup on this uh, as well on the exterior of it. Um, but, yeah, other than that, we can step inside and kind of walk through the coach. Yep. Tim and I had a chance to run up to the factory, Nexus factory, and uh, super cool people. Really, oh, yeah. just good people, oh, yeah. and they really take pride in their their uh, their product. Yeah, Brian over there, he does a great job for us. Um, we've we've had a lot of uh, questions with customers with this being a new product for us. Uh -huh. um, you know, not everybody here is entirely 100% on what this camper has to offer. Um, and so uh, Brian over there has been great to work with. He's helped us out on every single question we've ever had with this guy. So uh, we've been real happy to work with these guys as well on, yeah. on this. But uh, in terms of the inside, guys, solid surface countertops. We also have solid wood construction. Uh, obviously, we're sitting a little bit higher off the ground because with that international chassis. Mm -hmm. um, you got cabinets all the way across the top here, plenty of storage room. 
behind you, which I think uh, Gager already showed the bunk up top bunk there. With the bed up there. I know it might bed up there. kind of dark up there right now, but there's a there's a TV up there TV on the left. TV up there as well that's got a pivot system on it. Um, in terms of like seat belts, guys, we've got it on the forward-facing seats as well as the side-facing seats by, uh, uh, by U.S. law uh, and that kind of stuff. Um, in terms of extra storage, okay, this one doesn't have an oven on it. Okay, so you're just going to have your three-burner cooktop as well as your uh, convection uh, microwave on top, so that way you can have that cooking. Uh, and a convection place. oven, if you have a convection oven, you can get away with not having a regular oven because Correct. they do so much more. If you haven't got a convection oven, they do so much more than just warm food up. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It'll actually cook and crisp yep. and all that good stuff. Yep. Um, on the inside of the cabinets, they've got adjustable. Um, That's kind of cool. they got adjustable... Uh, places that you can put the the why aren't all cabinets like in the entire world like that that seems it, brilliant that's an easy fix to make you ask questions <laughs> yeah that's fair it worked out well yeah. didn't it yeah <laughs> man i wish i wish all cabinets were like that all yeah, yeah. well i mean on the inside and the other thing on not to change the subject but the, i mean the inside of the coach like um you know it's just it feels nicer in here, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, than a lot of these other uh, units that we have. We've stepped in and things like that. I mean, we've got underglow lights that kind of glow through the, the countertop, which is another cool little feature that not a lot of people are doing just to yeah, kind of cool. add features, you know what I mean? Right. Um, but at the end of the day, like I said, you are just you just feel like you're standing in a little bit more... A little higher quality, little higher not, quality, quality, not, not to take end. anything away from of the course. others. I mean, you're going to pay for the higher quality. Yeah, absolutely. You but, pay for what you get. Yeah. You know, there's no doubt about it. You know, Nexus, the Super C with that international chassis, it definitely jumps up in price for that. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, at the end of the day, people that are looking for Super Cs definitely understand why they're looking that direction and yeah. why the price is kind of where it is. Um, price on this guy, you're looking at right around 145000 So, mm -hmm. again, not a cheap camper, but at the right. end of the day... It's definitely got the quality that you're looking for in a Super C, so yeah. a lot of cool things going on there. And as expensive as that is, I'm sure you're going to find it much more expensive at other places. Well, yeah, because MSRP on this thing is going to be somewhere right around two ninety five, three hundred thousand. Oh yeah, and, and at the end of the day, that's just kind of where we sell these things at. Uh -huh. You know, is is roughly anywhere between fifty and sixty five percent of MSRP pricing. Wow. And, you know, I can't give you exact numbers because I don't know them, but that's roughly where we're at yeah. from line to line. So. Uh, kind of gives you a good idea of where things are going to come in at uh, in terms of price point. But when you got most people selling them at MSRP or maybe like, hey, I'm going to give you a $10,000 discount. Yeah, yeah. When you're talking about that kind of money, I mean, you're talking about 2% discount off MSRP. So that's really nothing. Wow. Uh, for customers when we're talking about like pricing like that. So yeah. Um, inside the coach, in terms of like the bathroom, you got a real nice bathroom in there. Um, you've got the uh, shower as well as the sink. And then you have cabinets up top there as well. And I'll kind of swing around here and get out of everybody's way. Sliding wardrobe. Yep. So no, this entire not, yeah, yeah. So this entire side is actually a slide. So everything from the bunk all the way down to this spot right here is going to be one big slide. Uh, we're going to have wardrobe space on both sides with hanging closets. Um, these are actually automatic lights. It looks like so they shut off and on as your um, cabinet opens up. Cool. Again, the small things that these guys are doing for us. Um, TV is going to be right in here. Looks like there's no storage behind the TV, but you got drawers across the bottom as well. 10.3 cubic foot refrigerator right beside you guys. Um, so you have plenty of storage space in your fridge as well. So what's the monthly on this? Uh, monthly on this one, roughly, you're looking at about, it says 9.45. Okay. Yeah, roughly 9.45 a month on this cat. And it's, like I said, these are these are good guys. Look, well, Dave they care Middleton. about they care about I, I what they Dave. do. You know yeah. what I mean? They care about what they do. They, um, like I said, they used to be direct to consumer. Right. So they never used to sell through dealerships. You call them directly, and they'd sell to you. So they actually genuinely care about what people think about mm -hmm. them. Whereas most manufacturers could care less what the customer thinks about them. One customer, or you know, a conglomerate of five. But when we get into a big conglomerate of fifty thousand customers, then they start mm -hmm. to notice. Yeah. So, yep. uh, where these guys, they take every single customer that they talk to very seriously. Um, they've been great to work with, even the ones that are a little bit more difficult to work with. These guys definitely are hands down the best people that we've worked with in order to awesome. help customers stay satisfied and stay positive. And if I remember right, when we toured, I asked them if they still do any direct to customer and they don't do anymore. No, they it's don't. All... They actually send them directly over to me. Yeah. Okay. Anybody that contacts Nexus directly, uh, Brian calls me and says, hey, Lane, I got a customer here. Here's his number. If you could give him a call for cool. me. So. Uh, anytime they uh, they get someone that contacts them directly, either via their 
uh, website or via just a phone call, they'll actually direct them um, straight over to me, and I'll get an email or a phone call from them about it. Awesome. Uh, you want to get out of this one right now? Because yeah. it is a little stuffy it's in this little, one, just because. Here. Yeah. Obviously, we're not running the air conditioner it's or anything. It's humid in here. It's and yeah. humid out there. And humid everywhere. There is a bit of a breeze. Uh, all right. So I got good news. I'm not a complete liar. I am going to show you what it looks like to see some people uh, doing a walkthrough. Short and sweet, but just uh, just give you a quick glimpse. Check this out. So going on back here behind me is an actual walkthrough, a real life walkthrough. When you come to pick up your RV, we will walk you through it so that you know exactly what you're doing when you get into your RV. We'll point out a bunch of the cool stuff, a bunch of stuff you just need to know. But it's just as simple as walking through the RV with somebody who knows an RV. You probably see the excitement on these guys' faces knowing they're picking up the RV of their dreams. That could be you. Another thing, if you pick up your RV and they want to charge you for a walkthrough, you need to get out of there. That's that's a ripoff. The walkthrough here at RVW, no charge, obviously. Yeah, they're gonna walk you through, make sure you know your RV, and uh, you'll leave you'll leave very very happy with your RV. Uh, so yeah, like I said, short and sweet. How long does a normal walkthrough take? Yeah, so normal walkthroughs here are gonna take anywhere between. Uh, I mean, 45 minutes up to an hour. Okay. Um, if you know kind of, because uh, we, we sell to people all over and of all different types of experience levels, mm -hmm. right? So we've got somebody people, who knows what they're doing. Yeah, you know, yeah. someone that knows what they're doing, they really just want to make sure that the coach is fully operational. They want to test the systems and then they want to leave. Okay. Um, because they want to go camping. You right. know what I mean? Because right. most, most of the people are picking up on weekdays or towards the end of the week and they are already have plans for the weekend for camping trips. So gotcha. That's essentially gotcha. how that kind of works there. All right. So let's talk about. Uh, another big surprise for folks, we've talked about this, so if you, if you tuned in to webinars or other virtual RV shows, but if you're new to this, there is a financing secret. There is something that some dealerships, whether it's a, an RV dealership, sometimes even car dealerships, a secret that they're keeping from a lot of people. Right. You want to tell them what that is? Yeah, so basically, whether it be, um, like you said, you know, car, boat, camper, um, you know, trucks, I mean... All of these people that do what's called third-party financing, where they go through a third-party uh, lender, they don't do it in-house. You know, Ford has their Ford financing and okay. things like that. Um, so it doesn't necessarily apply here, although they do get a little bit as well. Um, basically, these banks, guys, they're actually giving the dealerships money. Okay, so if I bring them business, they give me money. Almost like a commission for you. Exactly. It's a commission, a finder's fee. They call it a bird dog fee, a finance reserve. I mean, there's a million words for it, but all are pretty much saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. Is, hey, I'm paying the dealer to bring me business. Yeah. Is essentially what it is. Now, it's not just bring them business. We also do, like, all the paperwork for them and everything like that. Because, really, it's just a bunch of people back there saying, hey, I approve it or I don't approve it. Mm -hmm. um, and then, at that point, we take care of everything else after they tell us rates, terms, payments, all okay. that good stuff. We just relay it, kind of be the middleman at that gotcha. point. So, but the bank is making the interest on that loan, absolutely. so they want your business absolutely. from here. Absolutely, and, and I mean, there's definitely ways around it. You know, I, I get all the time, hey, I just want to pay cash because I, I don't want to deal with that, right? Mm -hmm. and, and there's ways around it because what the what the industry doesn't tell you is that you only have to keep this loan open that we write up um, with True Recreational Loans. You only have to keep it open for a year. Okay. And there's simple entrance loans. Okay. So basically what simple interest means is that you are paying, uh, the interest is calculated off of the principal daily. Right, okay. So if you throw a large lump sum of money down on that very first payment, drop that principal all the way down to a very low level, now that interest is going to be calculated off that low level. We could be talking about $150, $200 in interest, okay. but these banks are giving us like 10%. 5%, whatever, of these loan values, mm -hmm. just depending on the camper and things like that. So, I mean, on some of these campers, we're getting $4,000. Wow. Know what I mean? And now, that goes to the... Yeah, RV wholesalers, we pass along to the customer. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and that's just for financing through us for at least one year. Now, right. you have other customers that are like, hey, I love my local lender. I want to stay with him for, the, for everything and anything that I do. And we tell them that's great. You know, you should definitely want to do that. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, let's look and compare what's going to be the best option for you. Take my loan, take it out for a year, and then refinance through your local bank after that one year is over oh, wow, okay. to give that commitment for the 12 years okay. or for the 12 months. So That's good. That's what we have a lot of our customers do. Um, we let them know we're very upfront about it. Actually, if you do any quotes on our website, it actually kicks out what the uh, – with the finance discount, here's the price. Okay. You know, and that was, that's what I was going to ask. If somebody, we mentioned the last one we walked through was $145,000. Yeah. 
that's the price after the after they're not the going to call you yep. and you're going to say hey now added to that is An what we get back so yeah yeah, okay. yeah. so the, basically any prices that we go over here on the web show uh, if you look at the bottom of the screen if you request a quote all prices that we talk about here at the dealership are simply going to be with finance discount uh, before fees. Okay. Now, our fees are only $655, so it's not like we're hitting you with thousands on the backside. Right. Um, but at the end of the day, that's how we quote our pricing, whether it be on the show, on the website, or if you're just talking to some of us here at the dealership. Perfect. So there you go. You are uh, even more smarter than you were 20 minutes ago. <laughs> because we continue to give you more tips and tricks and we will continue to do that. Uh, and if, if today you're not watching, or if today you're not, if I'm talking to you and you're not watching, it's weird. <laughs> but if for some reason you don't get to uh, uh, see the whole thing today, don't forget virtual, or I'm sorry, RV Wholesalers does webinars on YouTube. Absolutely. Every Tuesday and Thursday, you're involved with a lot yeah, of those. Yeah, a lot of them, I'm on there too. And, yeah. and we're basically we're just showing people how to buy campers or how yeah. to help buy campers, not just from us because Frankly, there's hundreds of thousands of campers being sold a year. Mm -hmm. We can't even handle, you know, a fraction of that business. Right. And so at the end of the day, if we can tell customers how to buy from another dealership the correct way without getting taken advantage of, I definitely want to be the one that helps with that as That's well. Awesome. Uh, and you can also go to rvbuyingmistakes.com to get more information on how to wisely buy an RV. Uh, we're going to check in with some of our sponsors now. So uh, let's see who we got. about the sewage. Okay, it seems like they are going to let me get a, get a shot at this uh, rock skipping thing. What do you think? Oh, Should okay, I give it a shot? Yeah. I'm going to do the wind-up. Am I up. safe where I'm at? Yeah, you're going to be fine. I'm going to okay. do the wind-up though. Ready? All this right. kind. How we do? Uh, uh, oh, two skips. Oh, you got skips. a few. That All right. bad. So, that I'm terrible. still in training, so you got to yeah, you got a really a long skip, though, so that's always impressive. <laughs> yeah, fair. All, yeah, halfway nice. across the lake. Yeah. Okay, so we're kind of... Aren't you glad you're not a duck in this pond? That is true. Yes. It's been a hard day on those ducks. <laughs> we have thrown a lot of rocks. I yeah. wonder if there's any fish in there, too. There are. Anyway, question for you. Mm -hmm. Learning about when you start off with an RV, like what it takes to get rolling. Yeah. And I heard that a lot of companies will take standard items, like a power cable, and remove it from what you get with an RV, package it up, and upsell you. Yeah. Right? And yeah. do stuff like that to make a little extra cash. Yeah, there's a, a dealer in um, Michigan, now that you bring it up, he's, he's famous for this uh, in the industry. Um, we call him the most famous thief that's never been caught. But mm. literally, when the RV pulls in, yeah. he'll take the stab jacks off of it, he'll take the spare tire off of it, he'll take the barbecue grill off of it, anything that he can remove. Oh, wow. And then they, they have everything laid out in this big, huge building, and he would walk like you and your wife through there and say, now, would you guys like stab jacks? And you literally buy your stab jacks back that you already paid for. You know, you, you buy your spare tire wow. back. My favorite is when he sells them the factory tire cover, you know, that was on your spare tire. <laughs> um, yeah, that's wild. So, yeah. so, so RV, RV wholesalers, like, you guys do the exact opposite. You give more to get people started, things that they would need already on top yeah. of what they get. So yeah, we do. Tell we, me about that. Tell me about that. We got a starter kit, right? Yeah, we got a starter kit. This is a starter kit that every customer gets. We uh, also put it into a uh, really nice bucket, huh? Oh, that's beautiful. You gotta love the bucket. Better than those uh, those big box store buckets, even that are branded. Yeah, this exactly. Is this like is a, it's it's a lot more attractive. Nice. RVW orange too. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, toilet paper. This is also two ply, right? Toilet paper. And the reason we give people this is it starts a conversation. You know, they're like, oh, I just I don't buy RV toilet paper. Thank you. <laughs> No, you should buy RV toilet paper. And very, very quick, this toilet paper, just as soft as anything you'd use at home, okay? Mm. It has a really, really short fiber, though, and a really, really weak bonding agent, so like a really, really weak glue. Okay. So it starts to, it starts to break down immediately. House toilet paper, especially if you buy the cheap house toilet everyone always thinks they need to use a cheap yeah. house toilet it's got a really, really long fiber and a really strong bonding agent. Yeah. It's great to toilet paper with, right? Right. Uh, so that you don't want to use in your tank because it never breaks down. Makes so sense. it causes you a lot of issues. Yep, so that hits the water, dissolves quickly to see yeah, your tank. Yeah, you, you never have a clog then. Totally. You know, it's the easiest yeah. way. 
A couple wheel chocks to make sure you can keep your RV where you actually put it. It doesn't roll, it doesn't move on you. This is a drinking water safe garden hose. Again, we we want to start a conversation. You don't want to go to your lumber your lumber yard. You don't want to go to your hardware store and buy a outside Any garden hose. Garden, right, right, because yeah. you get a lot of rubber particles for it. It's just not healthy. Mm -hmm. And your water often will have a really bad taste to it as well with those. Mm -hmm. um, this, this, is stuff, is, this is stuff that I don't even think of, so yeah, this is helpful. Yeah, this is the toilet chemicals. You drop that down your toilet, it goes into the tank. Hmm. And that helps you dissolve your toilet paper, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, these everybody needs. A couple Absolutely. Koozies, right? And the Buckeye service guarantee Buckeye right service on there guarantee. too. That's beautiful. Made us famous. This is a, a power adapter, so you can plug your RV in at home, right? And a, hmm. again, this is a great conversation. A lot of people are going to go camping for the weekend. Yeah. Go out, plug your RV in the night before. Turn the fridge on the night before. Put all the stuff you're going to put in the fridge in your fridge, right? You're bringing cold stuff out to a cold fridge. Yeah. It's going to stay cold while you're traveling. That's better than a Tesla. No, it really is. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Sewer hose. Oh, nice. Yeah, you got to drain the black tank. You got to drain the gray tank, and this enables you to do it. We've had customers, literally, that have called before and said, okay, I, I, I drove to Ohio. I got my RV. This is in the first year we were open. Yeah. You said camp on the way home. How do I camp? I don't have any of this stuff. Right. And it's you guys like, give it uh, when you buy an RV. Yeah, we give it no charge, of course. That's uh, wonderful. All of it's free, and it, it helps us, too, just to educate folks on how to use it, right, hmm. uh, how to do what, when, to really take care of their RV. One of the worst things you can have happen when you camp is you pull that valve on the black water tank, that's your sewer, and nothing comes out. Hmm. Then you carefully pop the hose off, and you see a wall yeah. of toilet paper and poo staring Oof. back at you. And I don't now want that. You've, you've got the worst situation known to man. I watched a guy one time, and I wish back then we had cell phones at the ready because I'd have filmed it. But he literally took a stick. He's like, you think this will work? I said, oh, <laughs> it's going to work. <laughs> and it worked. It was like, man. boom, everywhere. It was, it was, it was. Talk about backed up. Oh, it was wow. terrible. Well, this is great. Thanks for telling us about it. Let's get back to another walkthrough.
Trailer Swift bringing it home with a little classic Springsteen. Those guys are awesome. Real quick, we have people asking about those starter kits. That's just something the guys do here at RV Wholesalers. It's nothing new. They've done it for a while. It's just a little way to say thanks and get you started in an RV. Rumor has it there may be other small little, maybe not even small, but some little surprises for you when you buy from RV Wholesalers. So just something to look forward to when you buy from here. And then we had Alexia mm -hmm. ask if it was okay to bring like a reputable inspector mm -hmm. to a walkthrough. Mm -hmm. And what would you say about that? If somebody walked in and said, hey, this guy knows all about mm -hmm. RVs and he's whatever, what would you say about that? Highly encourage, you know, not because that we have a lot of problems, but we just encourage it. Um, only thing we ask is you please um, provide us an ample amount of time to get that scheduled. They normally do take any firm. I've seen them eight, eight to 20 plus hours. So we just need a heads up to make sure the service guys are here and can, can give them everything that inspector needs. Awesome. Yep. So, we ain't scared. <laughs> Can't believe I said that. Who says that anymore? <laughs> that was like from the 90s. Uh, and then real quick, this has nothing to do with what we're gonna walk through, but we had somebody, April I believe, asking about an XLR. She's got a, a Harley with a side by, I think, is what I heard. Tri-glide, oh, tri-glide. Mm -hmm. um, is there an XLR you would recommend for that, a certain size, or would they, I, I feel a, a toy hauler that would that would fit a Harley XL, or a yeah. Harley uh, Tri-Glide? Yeah, if there's a towing restriction or something, a boost, micro boost is probably gonna fit that, just okay. depending on upon measurements that we get, one of our sales reps will be able to figure that out. Um, as long as we got ample amount of measurements, we'll be able to, to, to decide what unit's gonna be best for them. Uh, maybe even a Nitro, if they wanna step into a higher class RV, okay. so to say. Awesome. Um, any of the toy, uh, toy hauler lines are gonna be situated for big side-by-sides, mm -hmm. so I guarantee you most of Harley would probably right. fit in about awesome. any of them. So there you go, get hold of us if you have more questions, they, will, mm -hmm. they would love to answer your questions. Yep. Very specific questions in there. I love this River <laughs> Ranch. This thing is awesome. I think it's absolutely brilliant mm -hmm. with the way they designed it, and we'll tell you all about that. But with all the uh, storage underneath and the, the secret to making this all one level mm -hmm. is bringing the air condition below as yep. opposed to having it on top yep. and taking space up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's actually a combined HVAC unit, residential sized furnace, right. AC all in one unit underneath. That's so. crazy. That's crazy. It's this is a beast. Mm -hmm. You'll see when we get inside. It's just kind of cool because you're so used to. Obviously, with fifth wheels, you have like the upstairs, which is still cool, but mm -hmm. this is sweet. So let's. You want to show them the? Yeah, the I'll show them around. Underneath? The biggest thing yeah. that blows a lot of people's minds is definitely it's a it's a whole basement. Right. Um, there's I seen a picture on a, a Columbus forum one time where somebody put kayaks. Just threw them down in here. Perfect yeah. kayak storage. I, I mean, say about of anything. Room. It's huge. Yeah. Full-time RVers, I mean, this is the go-to as far right. as they're always concerned about storage. And so your air and your HVAC and all that is right back in here. Correct, yeah. yes, underneath that backing. So what you have to, ouch, and Whoop. there's the there's yep. the slide that I just, I don't know if you caught that. Did you see me hit my head? <laughs> I hit my head right there. It was awesome. Maybe a, there's a Band-Aid and a starter kit. <laughs> see, maybe. <laughs> uh, but what it is, because they have, you have to picture what it normally looks like. When you have a fifth wheel, you can mm -hmm. only have it so high because you have this much space from the air conditioner on top. Yep. So if you look down on the on the uh, on the RV, about what this much space is causing you to lose this much space across the top. Mm -hmm. Right? Does that make sense? Correct. So they moved this space underneath and lifted everything up and gave you more room. It's mm -hmm. just it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It is. Yeah. It is more on this side. Another. We'll get more pictures of. This over here, one cool little thing, guys, all magnet latches. Those little plastic latches tend to break once you get cold, so yeah. another cool thing. Pass through all the way around, so. I don't know, I don't know what you could, I don't know who would have too much stuff to store in here, you know? Mm, yeah. I mean, that's a lot of room. Yeah. Who's, who's, who's going out, taking this out for a couple weeks or whatever and has more stuff than that they have to take with them. I don't know. Maybe I just need four, more stuff in my Four life. girlfriends on a trip could probably fill that up. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good point. Good point. Shoes. That's the shoes there. Very sexist. I would never say anything like that. <laughs> my wife would make fun of me because I have lots of shoes. Uh, awnings. I'll hit on that real quick while I'm out here. That's something a customer brought up to me that just purchased one. Full length almost. There's two of them. 
full length awnings. Awesome. So that's yeah, a, a huge thing for full time RVers that are sitting out. So. All right, so rest up. Yeah. So we got seven steps to get up. <laughs> this does not have the optional uh, escalator. Yeah, there are more rides. That's always a plus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, somebody's asking about like, would this feel? Would this be like cent having central air in this thing? Yes, it's residential HVAC, okay. so it's going to be the same HVAC system that's in some homes. So it's going to be heat and AC in one one combo unit. Wow, wow, it's crazy. All right, so let's take a look. We got pretty much a uh, uh, a, a home, mm -hmm. a big home. Yeah. As soon as you walk in, I mean, you obviously get offset by the giant residential appliances. Uh -huh. That's kind of another full-time weekenders that you know have a lot of stuff or, or are going on four-day trips nonstop. They want that room. Uh, you have residential size appliances, uh, big oven, cook solid surface countertops. Lots one of storage. Is there storage, storage under storage. here? There is. Yeah. Yes, there is. Tons of storage. On island, designated trash can storage. Great. Bunch of drawers. They're deep too. Lots of room in there. I always like the island. Camper like this, people want to come in, look at it. Uh -huh. well, this is awesome layout. You have the island there that you can entertain guests. It's so. a big island. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then if anybody needs a charger, too yep. easy. So Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Big thing I want to hit on, guys, JBL subwoofer. Whole JBL sound system in here. Mm -hmm. Sounds very good. You can come through here, control the zones you want, control if you want music on the outside, interior, combined. Cool thing here I wanted to hit on too. You're gonna to have a TV here, of course. This will actually pull out and you guys will have storage behind the TV, so not wasted space. Yeah. They pretty much thought of everything for space-wise goes. It's so crazy. It is, it is. Couch pulls out. Again, more storage up above. Lighting all throughout. You can control the which lights you want on. Push mm -hmm. lights, mushroom lights here above. You can control which ones you want to come on with the press of your finger here. Theater seating, it's gonna be power too, guys. That's kind of a big one. Yeah. Lighting cup holders, USB, more chargers. Uh, I like also having the the non-stationary chairs, mm -hmm. being able to move those around. I know yeah. we probably, I'm assuming we have more somewhere. Mm -hmm. A couple more chairs. Yes, we do. You have yeah. another chair there on the end also. Yeah. That's great. And then this, we should probably go ahead Correct. and show Correct, we'll hit that in the big pantry. Yeah. Almost like a walk-in. Mm-hmm. So if you're looking for lots of kitchen storage space, you get plenty of it in this in this it, river ranch. It's huge. Yeah. It's yeah. Awesome. Let's head back this way. One control system. Hit on that real quick before we head back there. Control everything, guys. All your awning controls, HVAC, lighting, what slides you want to press out. That also connect to your phone. You guys can use your, your phone to control slides, everything like that. This might be the biggest bathroom I've been <laughs> in in one of these. Mm -hmm. I mean, a really deep counter yes. with your sink here. Double vanity, again, full time at mine, long trips at, you know, in mine when they built this unit. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to be able to get ready just like you would in your house if you're used to a double vanity. Yeah. And uh, so this is one big slide then? Mm -hmm. The bathroom Correct. and the, and one, the uh, bedroom? One big slide, yes. Bed slide's key. You guys will have room to walk around the bed too. We'll, we'll hit on that. Um, giant shower, again, you have the same amenities you might be used to at home mm -hmm. right there in your camper. So Or nicer than what you're used to at home. <laughs> or not, yeah. In some cases, yeah. nicer, correct. <laughs> Another fireplace in here and uh, you got your TV. Correct, yeah. TV's down here. They kind of put that up out of the way there. TV will just lift up out of here electronically. Very James Bond. It is. <laughs> yeah. That's Look awesome. You guys TV lift up out of here. Washer and dryer. Washer dryer. If you guys don't use a washer and dryer on your trip, again, tons more storage there that you can utilize. The price, they're putting the price up on the screen right now. It's a little over 71000 mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Correct. Yep, with finance discounts. Yep. Okay. Um, it's set up like a his and hers closet, guys. Um, as you can see, this door stays solid. This one opens up. That could be his side. You know, open that other side up. That's her side. And it's all the way through with racks built into the nose of the coach. That's important, too. Very nice, deep. You guys can put shoes and whatnot. Also, again, with more of overhead storage. So, uh, Storage underneath the bed. Oh, I'm sure there I'm is. Assuming. 
Yep, and there's chairs. There's your chairs. And a big thing here, you guys don't have a, like a pass through like you would on a nose of like a travel trailer or something. Mm -hmm. That storage goes all the way to the length of the bed. So that's also a big thing. Perfect. Some reading lights up here. Mm -hmm. What size, Frank wants to know what size truck you would need to pull this. I'm assuming a big truck. <laughs> big truck, um, definitely a one ton. It don't have to be a dually. Um, I would again recommend airbags too if you don't get a dually. So, okay. yep. Okay. Awesome. Man, so nice. What it was, so what would be the payment for a $71,000? RV. Um, generally, I use a, a term $100 per every 100,000, or not every 100,000, per every 10,000. Um, that gets me very close, and with extreme credit, you know, very good credit, that's going to be really high. So. Okay. Okay. So we're looking at about four, 465. Correct. Yeah. Yep. So, awesome. Yep. Great. All right. Uh, anything else we want to show on this? I, I just wish, mm. I, I kind of wish people could uh, just come out here and hang out in this for a bit because this is this is this is like the top like one of my top favorites just because of the way it's it's built i like the one level too um besides the stairs right there older older people they get over those stairs and they stay in their camper all day they don't have to climb stairs in and out yeah. get, to get in the bedroom or anything like that one thing i wanted to hit on here real quick guys is the the fruit or the uh, sink i know we didn't hit on that it's got a bunch of different Cool little compartments in it, it's which like turns yeah it turns <laughs> turns into a giant farmhouse sink. So it's also wow. a big thing I always forget to hit on. Yeah, it's awesome. And I went ahead and closed this just to show you that you you are safe once you're up here. Yeah. So I can see somebody stumbling down there if you don't have this shut. Mm -hmm. So you get this thing, make sure you you shut this and you keep yourself safe. Mm -hmm. All right, we go back out here where the breeze is flowing a little more, and talk to folks again about price protection which is a big thing right now with manufacturers having mm -hmm. to raise prices because uh, their, their prices are going up mm -hmm. the, for their supplies. So it makes sense that prices go up. A lot of, if not all other dealers are making sure that their, their customers are paying for those. So if, you, if, you're, if you're tuning in right now, this is brand new information to you. If you go in today and buy an RV at most other places and you sign on the line, there's a chance that you're going to pay more when you pick up your RV because the price is going up over mm -hmm. the next so We just heard like June 1st, there's yeah. going to be another price increase. Another price increase. Yeah. Um, other dealers are, are putting that in their terms and conditions. Yeah. Uh, these customers are signing off on it. Say, hey, if there's a factory price increase, you can have your deposit back. You know, we're, we're not going to acknowledge the deal no more. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, we're the only dealership that price protects. That's awesome. So that's a huge thing. Like when I bought my house, if I want to went in and, and purchased my house and that price would have changed a dollar, I would have yeah. walked out. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the, the thing that dealers are, are doing that, having customers sign off on a price uh -huh. and then calling them back three weeks later and say, hey, you have to cover this price increase or you're not getting your, your camper. I mean, that's, that's, that's not awful. what I want this industry to ever turn into. Yeah, that's, that's awful. So just another reason to buy from RV wholesalers, mm -hmm. the price protection. Yep. Uh, coming up, we've got a Rockwood Ultralight. We've got uh, XLR Boost for, for our friends that are looking for the Harley mm -hmm. and a Forester Class C. That's coming up soon. Uh, and then we're going to go uh, check out some folks. I don't know if we're going to do that now. Do we have a testimony? Let's do a testimonial with some folks that have picked up recently from RV Wholesalers. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, it's Tim Richardson hanging out with Adam and Lauren Powers. They are here to pick up their brand new Rockwood Rue, finally. I'm sure yeah. you're excited. Super excited. Very excited. So tell me, like, why a Rockwood Rue? Why RVW? Like, how did this all happen? Sure. Um, well, we, we had a pop-up that had a little bit of damage. So we by the time we were going to replace it, it was better for us to buy a brand new one. My wife and I kind of started looking at different layouts, and we decided we didn't want to go with like a traditional camper. We wanted something that's a hybrid that forces us outside, but still be big enough if it rained or the elements were bad that we could have our twins and our dogs and us in there. So we decided on the Rockwood Groove 233S, and we ordered it from you guys just because of, you know, we were shopping around. Um, we, we went to one dealership down by us, and they had really high-pressure sales tactics and just very aggressive atmosphere, and so I wasn't happy with that. Um, I happened to find you guys on Google, okay. and then, um, but I started, I called around, and I was talking to Jared, and um, it was just very easy to do everything, and then afterwards, the customer service was amazing, so we were touched up with throughout the whole process when we were expecting our camper. You know, we were walked through today. It was very, it wasn't rushed, but it was, they wanted to make sure we knew everything. So yeah, very, very happy. Out. Oh yeah, yeah we're ready to out. rock and roll. We're ready to go. I see you got your truck ready. You got yep. the equalizer hitch. Good choice. 
Uh, that's a wise, wise thing to go with. I appreciate taking the time to learn about that. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Uh, yeah. I've actually been down to the uh, Rockwood plants uh, probably two, three times in the last few months and uh, really have been impressed with their quality. So, very good choice. Thank you. What, what do you guys, okay, so you got pets, you're camping with pets, you're like, tell me some dream places. Like, you want to use this RV and take it everywhere. Where? Everywhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think our big dream is, and I'm sure a lot of people say this, is to go out to the Grand Canyon. Nice. Um, one of our dogs is it's a GSP, so I'm a pretty avid upland hunter. So I would like to take it out to like Iowa and go public land hunting with oh, cool. the GSP and stuff. But that means I have to leave her at home. I want to go to Charleston. That's where I want to go. Charleston. Charleston. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, awesome. Congratulations on your new Thank you. RV. Thanks for taking time to share with all of our friends at the Virtual RV Show and on YouTube. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Have fun. Happy Thank camping. You. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so we just walked through the River Ranch. If you're looking for more of a traditional fifth wheel, this might be the one you want. You can't go wrong with a Rockwood. Can right? never go wrong with a Rockwood, uh -uh. ever. No. I had not a single chance of going wrong with a Rockwood. That's awesome. There yeah. you go. <laughs> so let's talk about this uh, two, uh, 2621 WS. The 2621 WS. This is a rear living room layout. A um, lot of cool little features on this trailer. It's super light, too, by the way. Uh, I believe this one is, uh, I want to say right at about 9,000 dry. It usually says right here, uh, 80, about 8,400 pounds dry. Wow. Uh, so, I mean, this thing is going to be super easy to tow uh, going down the road. I mean, you have a lot of confidence buying a Rockwood. I mean, the standard tires on these things, uh -huh. they're the nice uh, Goodyear, Goodyear Endurance tires. That is uh, typically a lot of people out there know that that's the upgrade right. that you would typically go to with any trailer whatsoever. I mean, it's uh, that's standard that's here. standard on a Rockwood. Love it. Um, you know this is this this example that we see here. This one is in the white paint option. You can also uh, this is an additional option, very cheap actually. It's I think it's like two hundred dollar option. Oh wow! Uh, but uh, the standard will be a beige. Uh, you know, for being a little fifth wheel, it's kind of all inclusive. You know, outside kitchen. Uh huh. Uh, it's got auto level. It's got the frameless windows. It's got a huge awning. I mean, as I said, there's your chances of going wrong with the Rockwood are very, very, slim to very, nine. very slim. Okay. So, um, I mean, there's not left much left to be desired. Right. So, uh, want to go ahead and check it out inside. You take a look inside. Yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. <clears throat> you know, coming into a Rockwood, I mean, when I, uh, we've done a lot of walkthroughs, right. you, you know, you here at RV Wholesalers, and um, when, whenever you walk into a, some trailers, like, you, you just get, you get a feeling about mm -hmm. it, right? And you walk into a Rockwood, I mean, the fits and finishes, like, everything lines up perfect everywhere. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it, when you step into one of these, it, it feels quality. Yeah. Like the so, craftsmanship? Oh, yeah, the yeah. craftsmanship. You know, I know some of the guys in there, you know, they'll they'll make beer jokes with me and say, my brothers, they do a good job over there at uh -huh. Rockwood, right. all, the, all the Amish folk. Uh -huh. uh, and, and, but, you know, jokes aside, they really do. They do. I, yeah. I mean, you know, um, I, I mean, man, you know, when, when you really think of just a high-quality unit, I mean, I, I've, I've sold people trailers and, you know, like, they're like, they already know what they're getting. They're like, I'm getting a Rockwood. I don't know what layout yet, but it's going to be a Rockwood. Uh -huh. uh, and, and when I go and kind of ask a little bit more, I found out that this would be like their fourth Rockwood. Wow. And, um, you know, wow. it, it just, man, yeah. you know, you don't get that kind of loyalty like anywhere. That's, that says a lot. We, and we, yeah. I had a chance to go up in their visit. And you can tell they're proud of the work they do. Oh, yeah. You they know? are very proud. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a couple of things that you see in here. There's a lot. A lot of storage. I mean, that goes, I mean, there, I just touched the top. Yep, all the way up. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so this is typically the cavity that your TV is going to be covering. So a lot of people might actually find that uh, not only is this good for storage, 
but it's also good for like safekeeping of, mm-hmm. of you know, maybe uh, uh, money, right. um, you know, uh, your protective devices, yeah. uh, things like that. Uh, so, and it, and it all gets blocked away by the TV and I've seen even some people go as far to put like a little lock on that to actually second it as a safe. Right. Um, you know, so, and it's just kind of cool that, you know, they're with a rockwood with the way they think about it, it there's no unused space mm-hmm. in a rockwood, none. Um, so this is just one example of that, that if you have your rockwood, go peeking around a little bit, you'll probably find you some find secret something. little hiding spots. <laughs> um, the color in here, this is actually, um, this is the Newport Ash Cabinetry. Uh, this is uh, this is an upgrade option that you can get as a custom build on your new Rockwood. Um, my personal favorite uh, is the Newport Ash. Uh, mm-hmm. If I did it my way, I'd do the Newport Ash and the, and the chocolate um, uh, furniture offset. So it kind of matches um, the... Yeah, it yeah. kind of matches the trim and uh, everything just looks really well. Um, this, uh, but this color for the cushions, this is actually the stone, um, uh, uh, couch color. Okay. So, uh, really light, airy, open for a small fifth wheel like this. It definitely doesn't feel like it. Okay. Yeah. Somebody asking if this could be towed with an F-150. Um, well, you know, I was actually just talking with a gentleman, um, early today out in, uh, out in California, uh, I'm sure uh, Mr. Goldsmith is watching right yeah. now because he called awesome. me off of the, he was watching the show earlier and he saw something. He just, he said, man, I've been meaning to call you, but I got a question. I've got this 1500 Denali. I want to do a fifth wheel and uh-huh. Rockwood Ultralight is probably going to be in your wheelhouse to being able to tow. Of okay. course, um, there's a huge argument to have there. Of course, you know, there's going to be 50% of the side saying, nope, you should never do it without a three quarter ton at least. Yeah. And there's some people saying, well, I mean, you know, maybe with some very minor suspension upgrade like airbags or something like that, you know, you can take an F-150's payload to mm-hmm. the next level. Okay. Uh, but something like this, I, I would say personally, this personal opinion, this is getting a little bit on the heavier side than what I personally like to see. Uh, can it do it? Probably. Okay. Uh, but... I would uh, I would typically say if you're at a ten thousand pound max load uh, or towing capacity, I would go about nine eighty eighty to ninety percent of that. Okay. Uh, to find where your happy spot is, to where your truck's gonna love you, your camper's gonna love you, and your wife's not gonna scream at you the whole right. way. <laughs> <laughs> so Perfect. Um, just kind of rule of thumb: eighty to ninety percent of your max tow uh, when when you're kind of getting dabbling into fifth wheel uh half ton towing okay yep. okay awesome uh more storage some high storage oh yeah a lot of storage uh this is where i would personally just kind of keep all the candy uh away from <laughs> right there. away from the kids yeah and also it's got like a like a straight shot from the air conditioning dump like right in there so you can keep your Snickers nice and cool. Well, and depending on how tall your wife is, you can keep it from your wife too. You can keep it away from your wife I mean, I can keep it here and almost keep it from my wife. Yeah, so whenever you go down to the gas station from uh, down the street from the campground Uh and get your scratchers, uh, (laughs) you know, you you won 25 bucks and, you know, you You don't want to, yeah, you want to go buy candy and beer and (laughs) she wants to use it for gas on the way home. Right. I'm going for candy and beer. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Can't watch your what's your go to candy? Yeah, if you had to have no. one candy for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh man, uh, has this been a question the whole time? Are no, just, huh, this is brand new. We just started this, yeah. Okay, um, I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. Oh man, uh, Kit Kat, no, you're final wrong. answer, no, you're wrong. I don't Kit, think so. Kit Kat is awesome, but the correct answer is Sour Patch Kids. No, oh yeah, oh my gosh, no, I could eat Sour Patch Kids till I'm sick. I like Kit Kats, Kit Kats are great. But Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch, you know what? I think uh, we can fight about it later, but I think I think we we need to stick to showing the rest of this RV <laughs> before the the real duels the, before, before the real bad. duel happens. All right. Well, then I but got now, a question. To now you got to ask everybody else. I will. I will. Yep. I'll ask everybody else, uh, <laughs> and they should say Sour Patch Kids because they are awesome. Also, the Lentz truffles. Those round. Have you had those round Lentz truffles with the like the. Oh my gosh! Yeah, those are yep, that yep. is amazing. With the I, I, I will, I will, I will agree. Yeah, Whew. 
the crunch. Uh, we have somebody asking about um, <laughs> uh, uh, how long until the Rockwood 2022s start coming out and we start seeing them. That's a good question. Right now, we are currently what some people might call a cusp of uh, a between year models. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, like say, for example, if you were to order it right now today, it will come out a 2022. Okay. Now, if you ordered it a month ago, it will be out a 2022. Okay. Um, the exact day split, typically somewhere in the middle of, uh, I'd say, late June. Okay. Uh, is typically when 2022s are going to start rolling out. Not all okay. manufacturers un unload them at the same time. Okay. Uh, but, say, if you ordered it like two months ago, mm -hmm. chances are... At a eighty percent confidence level, if you ordered it two months ago, it would probably be a twenty-two. And does it really matter if it's a twenty twenty-one or twenty twenty-two? No, is it um, going to be that big a difference? Uh, what a lot of people might know out there that have had RVs before. Uh -huh. I know. Uh, I know a guy out in the comments, TJ. He seems very knowledgeable. I saw he, him earlier. Yeah, and um, you know, so he he might know, and a few others is that when they make an RV, they, they do them in half-year runs. Okay. So there's two runs of each model year. First run is going to be closely identical uh, to the year prior. So your first run 22 is going to be close to the second run of a 21. Okay. Uh, maybe minor little changes, like it might get, um, I don't know, it might get a different balance, or okay. it might get yeah. something really small. Uh, but then when they go into the second run of a 22, now we're deep into the year of 2022. Mm -hmm. And those 22s uh, are mean the big changes, right? Okay. So if they're uh, the second run of a 22, you're, you're anticipating to see some m larger changes. Like they might change the whole entire sink. They might change the, uh, they might take away the option to get free standing table and chairs and just be a dinette only. Gotcha. They might, you know, they'll do their bigger changes on the okay. second run of that year. It's good to know. It's good to know. So we're on the first half with 2022. We, we will yeah. be seeing the first half of 2022s, okay. which will be closely, uh, if not completely identical to the year prior. Okay. Awesome. You want to run up here? Take yep. a look what's going on oh, up yeah. here. Looks like two doors into the bathroom when we get to that but um for now the bedroom all kinds of storage this is nice yeah really not a re really not a bad walk around uh space right. for a for a fifth wheel well and this probably uh, helps having a slide over yeah, here having the yeah. wardrobe slide really helps um you know a lot of the times with these smaller fifth wheels like you know in the ultralight series of any fifth wheel mm -hmm. uh, a big complaint is that there's not a lot of walk around space in the bedroom so there's two things that rock would do with this you can go around the foot of the bed yep you can walk this way mm -hmm. or you or the person over there can just come in through the bathroom right yeah uh so they have a nice pocket sliding door that is uh, that has magnet latch on the other side, so it'll actually stay shut when you're yeah. taking care of business, um, and uh, so you can actually get through the bed, around the bed in many different ways. So that's a huge plus. Um, you got a, a vent right up here. Either uh, there's an option on these that you can do a max air fan okay. up in the bedroom. Uh, my would personal, feel good right about now. It's warm up here. It is a little toasty up <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah, tell me about it. I, you know, yeah. me being a little bit extra, extra large. <laughs> but I feel like I, it wasn't that long ago we were complaining about how cold it was, so maybe we should just shut up. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, definitely for the for the extra max air fan up in the bedroom, mm -hmm. I think it is by far the best option that you can get on on this particular Rockwood, is because, um, you know, th there's only so many AC vents. But on that time that you're not just getting enough AC, crack that vent open a little bit, turn the fan on. It's really going to kick the amount of AC that's coming out of the vents yeah. up awesome. a few notches. Great. Uh, we just pointed to it. Sliding wardrobe that goes into the bathroom yep. with uh, two doors. And the uh, big old shower. Yep. Corner the shower. shower has a skylight in it. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, one thing that you'll get with... Uh, as a standard on all Rockwoods is that you have a shower miser in installed standard in each Rockwood. 
And uh, some of you might be asking, what is a shower miser? A shower miser is a game changer. It's pretty cool. It's pretty brilliant. Yeah, it's it's really brilliant. Simple technology, really. It, there's not a lot of uh, point that, that can actually go wrong with it. Yeah. Uh, but what it does is that it keeps running your water... Um, through the line until you have hot water and it'll it'll keep recirculating that unused water back to the tank until you have hot water coming through so therefore one thing you don't have to worry about is taking really cold showers and mm -hmm. you can get on to taking your nice warm hollywood showers yeah that's <laughs> That's awesome. That, that That's brilliant. what they called it in the in the Navy. Yeah. In the in, in boot camps. The Hollywood call it, showers. Yeah, when they it's call warm. it the Hollywood shower if you took more than six and a half minutes. <laughs> well, and the it's one of those things where you're like, why don't maybe they are in fancier houses. Like, why don't they do that in homes? And maybe they do. My house just isn't fancy well, enough. Well, they, they should. I, I don't know. My house is definitely not fancy enough. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think my house was built like 1904. Oh, really? And, uh, well, yeah, it's just, it's an yeah. old small town that I live in. Uh-huh. Uh, so that's kind of the common. But I think newer houses are coming out with, like, I don't like these tankless water heaters. We and, actually got one of those. So, kinda, it's kind of nice. We, yeah. we put one in. Expensive, but they're a yeah. game changer, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can actually get them for RVs if that's something that even interests you. I know that we don't, we don't um, talk a lot about our parts store here. And, and every we once in a while, we'll do a quick something about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, but t tankless water heaters, if any of you are wondering, we, we do have the ability to install, uh, to purchase and install tankless water heaters. On an RV? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. It'll replace the typical 6 or 10-gallon uh, gas electric uh, to a uh, tankless, Okay. Uh, which is... Nice. Good enough. Now, I've seen the book that you guys have. you got a parts book that's like this to fit. Yeah, I call it the parts Bible. Yeah, it's uh, so enormous. Any, anybody that's been on the phone, I know there's a few in there. They've heard me say that before. Uh -huh. Let me get my parts Bible right. out. Yeah. Uh, and when they hear this, that fair amount of awkward silence, I don't think they understand like how many pages, pages you're going are in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, there, I mean, we have a whole lot of stuff. Uh -huh. And... Um, you know, if, if if you can think it, we probably have we probably have the ability to get it for you. Okay. Uh, but to say install something at a dealership level, like a tankless water heater mm -hmm. or something like that, yeah, we can definitely do that. Okay. Now TJ wants to know if, and I'm assuming it does, the water miser works on the standard water heater. It does, yeah. right? Because that's what it's normally in. Yeah, the shower miser is just a device that's fixed inside the shower that you can flip it up or down. Uh, uh, down would be recirculating back to the tank. Okay. Up would be going out of the head of the shower. Gotcha. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, I think we got everything. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna head back to the campground and then do a giveaway. People oh, like man. giveaways. So I wish I can do a giveaway. Well, come over and do a giveaway with me. All right. All Fair right. enough. If you're tuning in right now, today we are both at uh, RV Wholesalers and we are here at Indian Hollow Campground. This is a nice place just right across the street from RV Wholesalers in Lakeview, Ohio. It's cool. There's a little buzz going on here because people are starting to show up for camping this summer. We've got people out here. I don't know if you can hear mowing in the background. It's just a good sound to hear people mowing and getting back at it. So uh, I just want to let you know where we are. This is where we are. Come on out to Lakeview, visit RV Wholesalers, and then stay over here at Indian Hollow. Let's get back to the show. All right, look out. Whoa! Look how dangerous we are up here. That's a cliff. Oh, that's a cliff. Clear down there. You see the water clear down there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that it's, a bass? I think so. I think that was a bass. It's dangerous up here. but uh, So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give something away. No. Well, I'm the host, so no. I will give something away. No, I was, I was going to do. Remember, I was, we I, were just yeah, talking about Yeah, but I was just it. to make you happy. No, I'll give no. It away. Ah! Falling down in the cliffs, yep. and you have to give it away. I'm doing it. 
So uh, we're giving away some chairs here. Go ahead and text to win. Uh, <laughs> text to win uh, 833-717-0327. Um, the the fold out chairs here. Uh, can they can they see those? Can they see those? One of those. Hold on, I, I think. Hold David... on, I'm coming. I'm climbing back up. Oh, okay. I brought a chair with me. Man, uh, I'm glad you made it because that, that that was definitely on camera. That was that was a scary fall. I'm not ready for jail time, so I'm glad you made it. Well, I figured I'd come back to help you pick a number. We'll do. Give me a number between. Uh, five and fifteen. Out loud. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a magic trick. <laughs> We're gonna tell them. Twelve. Twelve. We are going to do the twelfth person to text the word "win" to eight three three seven one seven zero three two seven. Person, <laughs> I'm out of shape from falling down the cliff. Eight three three seven one seven zero three two seven. The twelfth person wins one of these chairs. These are nice chairs, though, right? Oh yeah. Do you own any? I, yes, I do, actually. I've got four of them. I bought, I bought two, and then, like, that was last summer, and then the beginning of this summer, I bought two more because we fight over them at the yeah, house. Yeah, they are perfect and comfortable to sit on, especially after you just scaled a 400-foot yeah. cliff face. Yeah, I did. It was, pretty, it was pretty far. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. I'll go, I'll go climb back down, and we'll talk to each other. I'm going to climb back down. Oh, climbing down the mountain. I'm really far away from you. Can, can you hear me? You gotta pull, pull it really tight. There you go, can you, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, how awesome is that? The view, down, the view down here is awesome. It still smells, this smell inside that smells like baked beans, old baked beans. Can you? That oh, sounds like a really I'm bad idea. I'm coming back up. <laughs> I'm coming back up. <laughs> yeah. Look, you can see old green beans in there. Basically, what we're doing, folks, is waiting for the first per or 12th person to text a word. With. Oh, we got it. We got it. That is green beans. All right. All right. Here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you who it is. Shirl Garza. S-H-I-R-L. Shirl Garza. Can you tell me? No, don't tell me. Tell them. Did, did you, you did you say Cheryl Garza? Close, close. It looks like sh it looks like Sherla because it's got an I in it. Sherla. Sherla. Yeah, Sherla Garza. Sher Sherla. I Sherla. think it's Sherla. Got it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So congratulations. That's our twelfth. He was down about four hundred feet. Yeah. I, could, I couldn't hear him. <laughs> Uh, you want a chair, we'll ship that out to you. Congratulations, you're gonna love the chair. You're probably gonna wanna order more if you go to rvwholesalers.com slash parts. You can find all of these things. It's like a $55 chair, I think. Uh, the, they're around 60 bucks. They're, yeah. they're worth it. I mean, it's they nice. got like the storage and the tray on the side. Yep. Yeah, they're, they're nice chairs. Yep, awesome. Uh, real quick, I wanna say hey to our sponsors again. Dish Outdoors, you, you gotta watch TV. I gotta watch TV every day or I'll, I'm completely lost. Even if I'm out RVing, I like to watch, watch TV. Dish Outdoors will make that happen. Uh, you want to be safe, Equalizer and Blue Ox. I'm wearing a Blue Ox hat. They, they sent me a hat, so I appreciate it. Both really good stabilizers, uh, so check them out. And then, of course, RV Wholesalers is a sponsor. So thank you guys for sponsoring and making this happen, helping to make people's dreams come true by getting the RVs they want. Huh, I think that's it. We're gonna go, I'm going to go do another walkthrough. That's it. i got to yeah. get back on the phone. Yeah, go sell some RVs. Right on. Thanks for... Uh, Thanks for helping me back up the, the cliff. I won't do it again. It sounds so. It sounds so beautiful. I'm just staying here. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna look at the beautiful cliff while you guys go to the next RV. The Virtual RV Show would like to thank our sponsors: Dish Outdoors, TV as flexible as your travel plans; Blue Ox, control trailer sway with a Blue Ox weight distribution hitch; Equalizer, the best protection for your journey; and RV Wholesalers, your home for the nation's premier RV service. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Duncan here with RV Wholesalers. You can tell I'm with RV Wholesalers because I got my nice hat on. Just got it. I'm pretty excited about it. But anyway, today we're looking at the XLR Boost Toy Hauler 27QB, like the quarterback. And I got a, a friend here. 
Hey. hey. Showing on the outside. Yeah, a little bit. Wanted to see what your thoughts are on the outside. Actually, what do you? What's the first thing you notice? The outside is super sharp. That's true. Not so as nice as the inside. But we should cover the outside. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. You let's get the front. I'll get the back. Okay. okay Where's this go. part? Is this front or That's the back? A, uh, we'll call this the front. Okay. So uh, here's where we're gonna hook up your TV. You got the speakers here. But uh, These what are Bluetooth? do you do? With Bluetooth speakers. Nice. Yeah. So you uh, entertain out here underneath this awesome awning. Got lights on the bars that take the awning out, whatever they're called, bars that take the awning out. But what do you watch on this TV? That's the question. You just watch static and fuzz? No. no. Get yourself one of these. Dish Outdoor, one of our sponsors here at the Virtual RV Show. You want to watch your favorite movies, your favorite television shows, you need one of these on top of this thing so that you can watch your programs. Do people say programs? It sounds like an sometimes old you, you can watch your stories on TV. You're on your you're on your way there, so it's yeah, fine. I'm getting, I am close. It's nice though because you can do this even off the grid. So you go out with your toy hauler, you bring your toys, and you can get the, the digital the, the digital channels and everything from Dish, which is easy awesome. for him to say. The digital So you make fun of me getting old. He can't even say words. It's true. So in your face, Duncan. I know, right? Let's see the back. Let me show you what's going on. You go by yourself. I'm gonna stand right here. All right, we're on the back side. Let's talk about a few logistics here. We got 31 feet long on this XLR Boost 27 QB, and a few things to note on this back side. Here's your ladder to get up on top, maintenance, adding that dish playmaker. You have your frameless windows, which is beautiful. They open up. Coming down the wall here, you got your water heater, some hose hookups, you got your cable satellite hookup. Continue down the wall, you got a shower hookup. This has got a hose so you can do outside shower. Super, super nice. And then you got where your gray and black water come out. You hook in your hose up to this to get rid of all that. And last but not least, some extra storage. You're going to need this going off grid. A lot of stuff underneath built in. They make them smart here. So up front here, we've got the power jack. Power jack, super awesome, especially if you have power. If you don't have power, guess what? You can crank it up old fashioned. Uh, and then you've got the dual propane tanks you got your batteries back here looks like you got enough room for a couple batteries back there if you need them uh, so that's the front of the outside so let's get in inside and look at the front of the inside that makes sense mm, yeah those are fake now they're pretty though Okay, so we're in the front end, right behind where front. the batteries were. I was right out there a second ago. Yeah, that's right. And we're looking at this nice, cozy little front end. We got some hanging closets. Yep. Right. Either side. Either side. His and hers, maybe. However Could you want to do it. However well, like one day, if, if like if you, one day when you grow up, if you find a girl yeah. and you get married, this yeah. is where you would spend your time. Exactly. Uh, you got storage up here. Yep, yeah, goes all the way through. That's nice. And for those. Those people who are interested in technology, you got the double USB charger. You yep. can charge your phone, your watch, if you have an electronic watch, any of that kind of stuff. Absolutely. TV backer right up here mm -hmm. so that you can have your TV. If you're not watching your phone, you can watch your TV up here. Very important to me. Of course, there's storage underneath here. A little bit of storage. Actually, see, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot, of lot of storage. storage. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's pass-through down there, which you can access from the outside of the yep. place. But that's Smart. why. Smart. And from here, we can get right to the bathroom, which is where we can go next. Yeah. So this is the bathroom. Looks like you've got a decent-sized sink here with uh, plenty of room to put your stuff. Medicine cabinet. Put your towels underneath here. Looking behind here. Nothing behind there. But plenty of room for some towels down there. Uh, decent corner shower here with plenty of room. I am six feet tall. Uh, Duncan. Actually, there's Duncan. Duncan. You can. Here's the cool thing. You can be in the shower and let somebody take care of the business while they're out there. And I'm also six feet tall. And it's so not two even six feet people, and we're not cramped. Enough. And it's not even awkward. Nice thing about this big thirty-one foot toy hauler is you got some space. Yeah, it's nice. Great. Moving on. All right, so we are in the kitchen now. Decent size kitchen slash yeah. living area. Yeah, that's sweet. It's I'm excited cool. to talk about these. But we'll talk first, about the chairs in first a second. First of all, look at this finish on this nice fridge, man. I like the flat black. Yeah, it's super cool. It's It looks really 
a lot like your interior home fridges, your your mm -hmm. residential fridges. Yeah, and it's Furion, so you know it's good. Absolutely. Same with the microwave, yep. the stove. Furion, we've had a chance to visit out there. They are uh, good people making good quality products. So yeah. a nice deep sink with uh, the, the faucet that comes off. You spray, blah, blah, blah. You that black finish, yeah, it's a sink. You get it. Yep. Yeah. It's great, though. More storage. How much storage is there? That's a lot of room. That's up pretty there. good. Yeah. More above here. Plenty of stuff. Extra up top. There's all your there's all of your uh, electronics and uh, manuals and whatnot for all of that information. Yeah. So let's talk about these. Look at this. So kitchen's not big enough. Move it out oh, of the way. You yeah. Can, you can flip these around. You can put them back. You want to watch somebody make some food or do the dishes? You Great. Wanna, you want? Oh, look. You want to get? No way. Yeah. Hold on a second. You got it? How's this? I gotta figure out how to make this. Well, for now, while you're figuring it out, okay, you, you can also out. swivel, watch the telly. You know, nobody calls it the telly. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I can warm my, warm my feet by this fire, which is working. If you want uh, an RV shipped to the UK, I don't know if we can do that or not. I don't know how to get that bottom out there. But That's we'll, where they call we'll the telly? We'll watch yeah, I think Got it. Oh, it took was me it? one second. Probably because of the millennial thing. Oh, there it is. There. Oh! That's nice. Yeah, listen, you turn on that TV, turn on the office, I'm going to be here for the rest of the day. And this huge window, too. This like, window is nice. Woo! Okay, we got to keep going. But what we, could be nicer than just hanging out inside here? Yeah. We'll show you here in a second, but before we get to what's nicer than hanging out inside, we'll show you these here. You got more places to sleep. Hmm. Up here, we've got a... Oh, no way. It looks like a queen-size bed. I didn't even notice these here. You didn't notice these? Yeah, look, watch this. You just hit this button here. And these will wow. lower. They turn into uh, like couches almost. Nice. Little love seat type things. Yeah, that's cool. On both sides. Yeah, and if you notice, back in the bedroom, we had the table was in the, the little crawl space underneath the bed. So the purpose is, if these slide back up afterwards, you could put your golf cart, you could put your motorcycle, yep. hence toy hauler. Right. Right? Absolutely. Cool. There's plenty of room, so we'll put those up for now because I want to get back out here. Look, yeah. waiting for us. Nice, okay. Right back here. We talk about this a lot on the show. These uh, like patios, the 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 uh, ramp to get into the thing also turns into a patio. Mm. This is the first time I think I've had a chance to sit on one. Me too. That wasn't inside the dealership. This is nice. I mean, you can see the TV from here. You can. But look at this view. I mean, come on. Yeah. This is all you really need. Yeah. This is the first time I've gotten to sit like at the RV park and experience this beautiful day. Yeah. Like, man. This is good stuff. So yeah, good setup. The cool thing about this is you don't need to have a toy to enjoy nope. a toy hauler. You know, you just have a big open area there. It's more like a, a party RV. You yeah, know? you want to bring a grill, you want to bring something else out here in the back. If you're a DJ and you set up your DJ off the there back, you go. might as well. There you go. You do comedy sets from up here. True. Bring in the Some whole magic. audience out here. Magic. I don't know if you've seen this one or this one or uh, this one. Yeah, that one hurts. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, this is a cool a cool place. Yeah, this could be a fun trip, but Oh, we talked about the price. We're getting cues. That's a good point. <laughs> I tried I try to, I try to be you. I try to be very subtle when somebody's talking to me and giving cues off camera, but I end up like this. What? You said you said you want us oh. to snap our fingers a lot? <laughs> Talk about the price. You want us to point at the price down there. There's the price. That's how much it costs. Yeah. You're gonna get a good deal. With RV wholesalers, you're not gonna get hidden fees. The price you sign on the dotted line is the price you no price gadget over here. That's right. And they're going to give you a starter kit to get started if you sign up for a RV also. Do you have any you questions? see yourself in this RV? Mm -hmm. I bet you can. Uh, what a great, great RV. Yeah, Just you got any questions too, don't forget. You can t text in the chat or call. give us a call at any point in time and our salesman can walk through any of those questions you have. They would love to talk to you.
right, good day so far. Yeah, real good. good. Selling lots of trailers. Yep. A lot of people probably happy and really good moods right now because they're getting the RV of their dreams. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of reasons to be happy about things. I, I try to be generally a happy guy. But I know there are people out there who are hurting, people who are scared, people who aren't sure of the future. Oh, hell, a lot of us aren't sure what's going to happen the next couple. Nobody knows what's going to happen the next No, and it seems years. a little, it feels a little different out there right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I don't think we're completely over the COVID thing. And, right. You know, I, I, it seems like we're getting there, though, mm -hmm. which is a uh, positive. Yeah. You know, a lot of states have lifted the masks now. Uh, I know, you know, here in Ohio, we're lifting here in a few days, so that's that's very positive. Yeah. Uh, but I think there's still an uneasiness out there. Yeah. Uh, you know, I talk to a lot of customers and try to witness to a lot of customers. And that's where we're going with this is uh, talk about God a little for a few minutes. And, yeah. But I think there's a, there's an emptiness out there, but I, unfortunately, I think it's a choice, you know, that we're making. Right. Uh, and it, it, it's it's to not follow God. I think that's becoming an old-fashioned situation in our country. Yeah, I think so too. You know, we don't do that anymore. Very few people go to church anymore. Right. You know, the COVID thing didn't help that. Right. You know, it got Absolutely a lot of people right. out of church that were in church, and they may not be going back. <laughs> right. They're not, <laughs> yeah. they're not full again. Right. You know, and yeah, that's that's all unfortunate stuff. It really is. Yeah, and it, it drives me crazy because you know. I've, I've had a couple of hard times. I, my wife has lost some family members, so she's gone through some really rough times. And she's told me before, I don't know how I would have gotten through this without mm. my relationship with Christ. You know, when we lost Dad, especially, it, you know, I was like, I, I don't know. I watched some of his brothers and sisters and how they handled it, and they just weren't handling it well. Mm -hmm. You know, the day that he left, and uh, you know, I looked at my brother and I said, How do people that don't know God handle this? Yeah. Because you have no, I, I know where my dad's at. Right. He, he knew Jesus Christ as a Savior. I know where he's at. Yep. You know, and the Bible says very clearly, I'll see him again. Yeah. I don't know what that looks like. Right. I don't know what that feels like. I don't care other than, I know I'll see him again one day. Right, you know? right. And I love that. It's, it's not that you have to know everything exactly. You no. just know that everything's going to be fine. We don't have a clue what heaven is like. Right. But we know the alternative is, is not where we want to go. Right, right. It's really not. Yeah, and I, I get a lot of people, I think I've said this before, I get a lot of people, customers, when I witness to them that, uh, yeah, I don't believe in all that anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of, we don't do that thing anymore. Right. But, you know, your belief or disbelief really doesn't matter. Right. I mean, it doesn't make something real or not, I yeah. should say. It, exactly. it does matter, but it it doesn't make God, I don't believe in God doesn't make God real or not. Right, right. Is, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you, uh, how do you walk them through uh, beginning a relationship with Christ. Well, let's let's uh, let's just do that now. If there's anybody at home that, uh, if you're not sure that you know Christ is your Savior, you're not sure you went through that process. It's the Bible calls salvation a gift. Yeah. Uh, you know, this card can be a gift to you, but you have to accept it. Right. That's that's what it amounts to. We have to accept Jesus Christ into our life. Uh, the way I do it, and I'll just I'll just kind of do it to you guys at home. Uh, if you don't think you know Jesus Christ as your Savior, you've never gone through it, never heard this, uh, give me three minutes of your time. Seriously, it'll it'll change your life. Uh, we just start out with a few questions like, what are your spiritual beliefs? That's a just a broad, let's get you talking question. Yeah. Uh, not everybody's happy about that question. <laughs> most, <laughs> most are. I can uh, imagine it probably comes from left field. You're like, whoa, it does. I thought we were just buying an RV. What are you, what are you no, talking it, about? It, it really does, but I think... Um, you know, they kind of settle in and see uh -huh. that I'm trying to help them, not hurt them. Right. You know, a lot of people say, well, I'm a Christian. I'm this, I'm that. Uh, the next question, a little more specific to you, who's Jesus? Uh, you know, if you tell me, Mike, he's my Lord and Savior, we don't need to go any further. Do right. We really don't. Uh, if you say, well, he's the son of God or he was a prophet or he was a good man, you're missing something. Right. Okay, so we'll go a little further. Uh, do you believe in a heaven and a hell? Very straightforward. Uh, what's interesting is most people believe in heaven, less believe in hell. Uh, when you pass away, where do you think you'll end up? Even the people that don't believe in heaven are going to heaven. Yeah. Which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, last question, but the hardest. So let's say you're 95, you pass, you zip, you're up to heaven, you're face to face with God, and he says, 
you know, why would I let you into my heaven? The heck would you tell me? Yeah. You know, it, it, it is uh -huh. uh, And I would tell you that 65% of the people tell me, you know, I've been a pretty good person. Yeah. Which is probably true. They probably have been probably. good people. Yeah. yeah I mean, I, I think the, probably more than 65% right. are great people in Absolutely. our country. Absolutely. Yeah. Even the world. I mean, right. are, you know, probably 90, 95% of the people are pretty darn good people. Yeah. But, and, and that's not that they don't deserve to go to hell, but they're going to they're gonna choose to go to heaven or hell. That's right. that's what the Bible says. Uh, let me read you what Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 says. It says, For by grace you're saved, through faith. This is not from yourselves, it's God's gift. Not by works, so that no one can boast. So what this is basically saying is, to me, is uh, nothing I do... I, I do a lot of what I feel is a lot of good, mm -hmm. and I think we should. We should take care of people. Yep. We should help one another. Uh, but none of that gets me to heaven. Right. And if you really think that through just for a second, if I could do enough to get myself to heaven, what do I need God for? Yeah, what was the cross for? Right, what, yeah. was, what was any of that for? Right. So obviously we can't get ourselves to heaven. Uh, the next verse, Romans 3.23, is, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Uh, that one's pretty self-explanatory. We've all sinned. Mm -hmm. uh, only Christ was. What time is it? How us. many times have I sinned already today? Right. You're yeah. thinking about the guy holding this thing behind us, and you know, bad thoughts going through our head. Making us reshoot stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next verse. So if we agree we're sinners, the next verse says, "For the payment of that sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life for Christ." So we deserve hell because of our sin, mm -hmm. uh, but. If we accept that simple gift, which is Christ down on the cross, we can go to heaven. That's right. Uh, the last one, and this this kind of says what I just said. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. That's simple. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people say, man, I, I thought there was more to it. Right. It really isn't. No, not uh, at all. Now, what you do after you've accepted Christ is between you and God. You know, if you want a great life, it's there. And it really is there for the taking. Uh, if you if you would like to accept Christ as your Savior right now, if you're not sure you have before, if you want to recommit your life to Christ right now, uh, I'm going to say a simple prayer. If you just repeat it after me, that, that's all there is to it. Heavenly Father, I have sinned against you. I want forgiveness for all my sins. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for me and rose again. Father, I give you my life to do with as you wish. I want Jesus Christ to come into my life and into my heart. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> now, Dave, I, I believe, I know you believe that if, if they said that simple prayer, they've been born again, they've been saved, they got received salvation. Uh, to me, that's the foundation of where it starts. Right. You know, get into a good church. Uh, if they're not sure man, what's my next step? I'm excited now. What do I do? Mm -hmm. uh, they can contact us at any time. It's awesome. We'd love to talk with them. We'd love to send them stuff, you know, whatever. Right. Whatever they need to get rolling. And it is, you're, you're never going to know everything. A lot of people may not even have prayed that prayer yet because they think, I don't know everything about Jesus. I don't yeah. know if I'm good enough to even pray that prayer. Nobody's good enough no, for none that gift. None of us were good enough. For right. That. And you're not going to get, if you're thinking, all right, I got to, I gotta, I gotta get rid of this in my life before I can do that. You don't have to. He no. will take you just as you are right now. He wants that relationship with you. Yeah. So, good. That's well, all. Thanks, buddy. I yeah. Thanks it. for, uh, thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate yeah. it. Let's go sell some more RVs. Sounds good. Listen, we know you guys are busy today. We know you have schedules to keep. We know you got things to do. We appreciate you watching. If you want to know exactly when the RV is coming up that you want, go to virtualrvshow.com, click the link for schedule, and you'll see exactly when the RV that you want is coming up so that you don't waste time sitting around watching idiots like me floating around in the pool. So, hey, guys, if you're out there watching right now and you have questions, you need to chat us up. You see where it is on the page there. Uh, send in your questions. We'll do our best to answer live. If we don't answer like live, like I answer you, your questions, we will have people on the chat ready to answer your questions for you. Uh, if you have questions for some reason, 
main reason because there's just so many coming in, we might miss you. Do not hesitate to either call RVW's, RVW's uh, phone line or email them, and they will be more than happy to answer your question. See what, hey, I mean? what are you, what are you what doing? Are you going on here? I'm making some, a communication device. Does your mother ever just watch you uh, during a day and cry? She weeps daily. Take that. Okay. Check out. Yeah, hold that, hold that up to your ear. Hey, David, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could yeah. without the can. Hey, is this is this David? <laughs> You're an idiot. I, I heard that loud and clear. <laughs> so, not only, not only do you get to talk, but this it makes you hungry because you still smell the green beans yeah. you left in this can. They don't smell so hot. No, you got hold. I can't hear you unless oh, you hold it. I'm right sorry. Right. They don't. They don't smell so hot. Could you hear me now? Wait, no, I was holding up my mouth. Yeah, what? they don't smell so hot. No, no, yeah. they don't. Have you ever seen that cartoon where the one guy keeps saying you're an idiot? Hold on. I got, I got call waiting. <laughs> I got call waiting. Hello? Hey, David. Uh, we need you to move on to the next segment. Can you keep uh, move on? <laughs> keep it moving. Yeah, okay. Hold on. I got I to gotta let Dave know I'm going. <laughs> hey, I got to go walk through an RV. Uh, okay. Thank right. you. So Goodbye. You, you hang up first. All right. Goodbye. Bye. All right, let's talk about this bad boy. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, actually, this is probably one of the coolest uh, smaller RVs that we sell, and I mm -hmm. think it's probably the best couples coach on the market today. It's got the uh, diesel engine in it, made by Mercedes. Uh -huh. You can get a generator with it. I mean, it just it's decked out. I love the seamless windows on the side. Uh, there's nothing that they haven't done as far as taking care of the customers and thinking about the future also with some of the different upgrades that you'll see as we walk around here. Right. Just... You know, the quality of manufacturing that they have, the, the full body paint that they offer on here is awesome. Yeah, like you're feeling that like yeah, it's not stickers, that's right, paint. Right, exactly. That's what, yeah. that's one thing that people like to see on, on coaches like this is that it has the full body paint. You uh -huh. know, if you're going to get into something like this, you want it to last. Right. You don't want to have to deal with uh, certain things like that. So I think uh, Forrester absolutely go, goes above and beyond with all that type of stuff uh, when they're thinking about the customers. Mm -hmm. uh, but huge awning yeah. for outside entertainment, yeah. And it comes all the way out, so you're going to have a huge area uh, out here if you're cooking out or whatever you're entertaining or on the, so whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have a nice entertainment area with the speakers that are out here on the side for you that are all wired throughout. So the speakers, looks like they come out with the awning? Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a little bit different. Um, and their entertainment center in this coach is pretty pretty sweet we'll look at that as right. well yeah so uh one of the things that we definitely want to look at as well is that on this one you do have a little receiver so you can pull things behind it if you want to which okay. is nice you know whether if you got a little trailer or something with a golf cart whatever it uh -huh. might be because obviously you get somewhere for a time period you might need something to just run around town in or right. whatever it is that you do i don't know but it's nice that they provide that feature for you to be able to do that because uh, not all of them do, and especially on a smaller coach like this. Right. Love the idea that you can actually get up there. They're pretty comfortable with you going up there and making sure that you can inspect your roof on a regular basis because yeah. they're confident with the manufacturing that they, they have up there. I'm not going to climb up there, but it's back, <laughs> backup camera ready. Uh, side view cameras as well is, a, is an option that they provide for you. Got a lot of storage. We can walk around this way. Uh, here's your generator muffler and all that stuff that okay. comes out. Got some nice storage on the sides here. Uh, all your sewer connections that you need on the outside are really easy to get to as you can see just like you would hook up if you're at a campsite or wherever you're at pretty nice and easy to to get to everything so you're not crawling under a ton of places uh, storage up under here you got a lot of storage up under in here i mean everywhere they can put storage they put storage in these yeah. things so that's pretty awesome uh, when the slide outs are in it's pretty easy to get to your propane tanks are nice and close for you if you want to get them filled as well everything's real easy to get in and out so front of it looks pretty sharp when you're going down the road i think as well with the mercedes 
logo on the front. It's got the nice aerodynamic with the overhead cab, which we'll see that in there. Uh -huh. It does have an overhead bunk in it for you as well, so you got extra sleeping capabilities if Sweet. you need it. So let's take a look inside. inside. Take a look. <clears throat> Oh, there's the uh, there's the hat. Wonder oh. what happened to that. <laughs> I like these seating a lot. Yeah, um, these are pretty comfortable and they recline all the way out. So it's a pretty nice feature to have, especially if you're going down the road. Even when you're in, you can sit in them and use them a little bit. Mm -hmm. So if you want to take a nap down the road, it's easy to do that in here. Um, as I was saying, the luxuries that they provide in here with the craftsmanship. If you feel their their quality of craftsmanship, yeah. it's really nice. It's it's nicely finished. The fit and fin uh, trim products that they put in here is not cheap stuff that you feel like is going to be peeling off right. down the road or, or anything of that nature. I like the, the color, the yeah. two colors. The it's sharp dark brown and the, the regular wood color. Yep. Nice drawers that are actually on we, uh, the actual uh, wheel bearing drawers, uh -huh. which are not going to fall apart on you, not just glue based. So that's pretty nice and it's going to hold up. But if you look up here in the cockpit area, you do have the overhead bunk area where I was talking about. Your ladder just attaches right here. You can take it off, hook it up if you do want to utilize that. A lot of times it's utilized for storage or whatever it is that you use this area for. But you can sleep somebody up here, you mm -hmm. know, over 300 pounds weight capacity. So oh, wow. somebody, could, a couple kids or a, an adult yeah. would be able to sleep up here. And this just swivels, so that moves around, uh, which is nice for you. You got the nice... Entertainment center provided for you right here. Everything's digital on the coach right here throughout. So everything, all your controls and whatever you're going to do is going to be on here. Uh, and we'll teach you that when you guys come and do your walkthrough, mm -hmm. uh, how to utilize all that. Because some people are not familiar with it, no problem. Right. We'll take our time. These are cool. Like These cabinets, wow. the design's pretty neat. Yeah. And I like how it just stays up. They yep. got a nice little spice rack up there for you with... Which is a good design because it still gives you space in the cabinet to right. utilize as well for canned goods or whatever it is that you want to put up there. Yeah. You got an outlet up under here as well, but this cooktop's pretty nice. And they do maximize some of the counter space for you by providing this nice little top here. But the sink's awesome too. It's pretty big size sink uh -huh. for that a fishbowl sink. Right. You know, I like that. Looks like you got your uh, wireless charging. Yep. Everything, you pull it up, you plug in, um, the kid sprayer. Is that a pull up or is that the, no, that's the wireless. That's the wireless on that one. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It's charging port for your yeah. phone. You just lay it on there. That's awesome. And then they have the extendable countertop as well. So that's kind of nice. I like all that features. You got a conventional microwave. And for me, if, a lot of my customers, if you're still watching, they'll even hear me say, I'm not a big fan of putting ovens in smaller, especially smaller motorhomes. Uh-huh. Because I think these conventional microwaves just do a much better job. You've been in one. Yeah. And it doesn't really heat the coach up. Right. Like you do. And you could cook a little pizza in there or whatever Absolutely. it is. And I just think the functionality of something like this is way better, you know. Yeah. For the long term and things of that nature. So. Yep. I, we can't all three fit in there. But I, I'll yeah. let you go in here and look around a little bit. I'm back up. This one. Several of these. I'll, I'll let you point, point out a couple of things you think, think you like about, about it. Yeah. In there. But it does have, have a lot of space. Yeah. You, you know. Again, I'm six foot tall. Plenty of room in here. Plenty more room because of the skylight. A uh, couple spots in here. I think it's not these. And that's something else you kind of take for granted. Just a place to set your shampoo, your soap when you're in here as opposed to setting it on the floor. A lot of these don't have these. Uh, that's kind of nice. Uh, a couple of hooks up here to put your towel so you don't have to get out of the thing, out of the shower to reach your towel. Uh, nice, real nice medicine cabinet. Let's see if I can open it. That's, that feels... You like it? Yeah, that's quality. That's a quality no, that's cabinet. What I, that's what I always say. Yeah, I mean, listen, you can hear it, you can tell just the way it shuts. That's, yeah. yeah, it's pretty nice. They actually have a cover in here, too, to give you a little more uh, sink space or countertop that's space. That's nice for the ladies if they're, like, getting ready in the morning and doing their makeup or stuff. They, they need yeah. some a little more space that they allow you for that. Right. Huge wardrobe area for people to utilize if you're going to have extended stays somewhere going down the road. And you do have a TV back here also. Yeah. So And it swivels as well. Okay. But 
Yeah. It, it works, man, and, and maximizes the space. So when the slide comes in, this just folds up, one fold up, uh -huh. push your slide in, and you're going down the road. Uh, you know, so you you're pretty good. Yeah, love it. Yeah, I kind of I dig that. Yeah, the texture. texture it, yeah, it, that's cool. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah, it's not just like regular wallpaper. Right. Here. It's not. You look. Yeah, it's it's got. It's like not gonna fall off. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that's what nice. I say anyway. Again, it seems it seems weird that all of this is connected to the actual the vehicle that's pulling it. Uh, it yeah. is, but this is a nice feature on these motorhomes as well. These Max Air fans. Uh huh. Sometimes that'll just be enough, right? You know, whether you're in a you know hot environment or a cool environment, it's not always extreme. And this right here will allow you to provide, you know, pull air out, pull air in. As far as you know, if you're seventies or whatever, and you just need a little cooled off, yeah. these are awesome. Sweet. And it's good for like exhaust and things of that nature as well if you're cooking. So love but it. I like the cockpit area in here. It's pretty classy. I think it's got a nice slick design, Cl very clean and yeah, and, and very presentable as well. It's very slick. Look at that console Isn't right that there. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. I told you. That's why I pointed it out. They're yeah. not all sl slick like this. Right. Some of them just look like a work truck. Yeah. Or something like that. Exactly. But this one is, this one's pretty sweet. All got kinds all the of nice. controls on the. Yeah, I don't even want to try to act like I know what I'm talking <laughs> about. That. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to get the book out. No, I'd have to come out here and have these guys show me. Yeah. For, a couple of days. Yeah. I'd be still messing. I'm down the road. I don't know, putting my jacks down or something. Like that. <laughs> but yeah, I love All this right. thing. You have the total uh, on it? Yeah, the total on this one. Ninety three thousand one ninety four. You can get a payment right around five ninety five. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of vehicle for that. Yep. Awesome. Hey guys, David McCrary hanging out here at Indian Hollow Campground with a couple surge protectors. You've got valuable stuff in your RV, stuff that you don't want to explode or get ruined by a surge. And that's exactly what these are for. We, for. we got the 30 amp and the 50 amp. You need to get one of these. Everybody should have one of these for their RV. You should definitely have one if your name is Surge and you're prone to being hit and stuff, get one of these. These will protect you. So all the surges out, that's stupid. Why would I say that? Let's just do a flash down and get rid of these. I'm ashamed of myself right now. Hey guys, we are in Lakeview, <laughs> Ohio, which is Northwest Ohio. Right across there is RVW, but that's not the only RVW. There's another one in Dodd City, Texas. Absolutely. Yeah, and it's fairly new. Yep. Do you know how things are going down there? Uh, really well, actually. Yeah. I feel like I need to talk to the man down there, Dustin. Find Good idea. Let's do get it. Phone. Get your phone. Yeah. I don't. I have my phone, but I don't have the number dialed in. Do you have his? I don't know if I have him in there, to be honest. Well, there's not very good reception out here either. No. Hold on. I got, Let me try I got, again. Hold on. I got this. Here we go. There we go. Oh, good night. Hello? <laughs> Dustin? I think you have to say the state before say, you say the name. Jump up here. To make sure you get the right Dustin. Okay. Dustin in Dodd City, Texas. Hopefully it's just one. Hello, yes. <laughs> Is this Dustin from RVW? Nope. Okay, I got the wrong one. I'll try it again. Hang up. <laughs> Dustin from RVW in Dodd City. Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you now. Hey, man. Everything's going good down here. How's everything going up there? Good. Hey, things are great here. Just uh, wanted to check in and see how things are going down there in Texas. Yeah, everything's just been rocking on. We've been selling some campers and letting people know we're here. That's awesome. All right, listen, uh, I got a special guest here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tie you in real quick. Hold on. I put, I'll put you on hold. Is that hold? I don't know. I'm going to tie you in real fast. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. You, pull, you gotta pull it tight. Uh, oh, tight, tight yeah. here. Oh, back up here. Hey, Dustin, it's David. How are you? Yeah, two reasons. Well, one, I was wondering, do you need anybody in uh, Texas, like some talent? Yeah, yeah, we definitely don't want Dave down here. Not Dave? I can hear you guys. No, I, I've, I've actually never seen him take any medications, the odd thing. But yeah. I'm, I'm gonna hang up. You guys can talk. <laughs> are your feelings hurt or what? A little bit. You started this, this call. This phone smells like green beans. <laughs> I, I really can't work with you. All right, Dustin. <laughs> I'm going to let you go, man. Good talking to you. I'll check in later. All right, see you. Modern technology. It's wonderful. Nothing, nothing but the best around here. It's wonderful. Let's get to another RV or something. Let's do it.
I really had no idea that those cans would work that far away from Ohio to Texas, but obviously it worked pretty good. Uh, behind me, I actually just came up to Jellystone Park here in Ohio. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. I don't know why I keep looking right there when I should explore all of nature. Hey, look, here real soon, we're gonna be doing a big giveaway. I showed you earlier uh, the, the Jackery, name is awesome. This thing here, and this is a solar power panel that will um, run that so, so that you can uh, uh, run stuff away from the uh, power. Oh, good grief, I don't know what I'm saying. This, this will run all your stuff. You plug stuff into this and it's run by this solar panel. So it's super cool. That's, that's high quality too. It kind of magnetizes together. But coming up the next hour, let me tell you what RVs we're getting into. We're getting into a Geo Pro. We're getting, did a kid just skate by me? We're getting into a Geo Pro. Let me grab my list here. Uh, a Rockwood Mini Light and a Micro Boost, uh, an XLR Micro Boost. So lots of good stuff coming up, plus the giveaway very soon. So uh, let's get right back into it now. Now you can stay connected with the shows you love with Dish Outdoors. Watch live HD TV anywhere your adventure takes you without Wi-Fi. It's easy to use. All you need is a portable satellite antenna like the Dish Tailgater Pro and a receiver from Dish Outdoors. Before you head out on your next road trip, be sure to get Dish Outdoors and watch all your favorite RFD TV and Cowboy Channel shows wherever your travels take you.
Tokyo Pro by Rockwood. Yeah, the Rockwood Jib. These things are like um, hotcakes. I can imagine. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're crazy. They're super cool. To stand over there and look at this, just here, compact. You know it's got everything you need for a, yep. two, a couple of you. Um, you can throw more in there, I'm sure. But these things are cool. And here's the thing. I was just telling Dave before we went on, we were talking about our wives. And uh, um, <laughs> I mentioned that my wife and I, up until a few years ago when my, my son graduated from high school, we were never, it was never just me and her, right. ever, even when we're dating, because when I met her, she had a four-year-old, my stepson, who is now 32, or th will be 32. Uh, so it's nice, I see something like this, I'm like, this is what, this would be a blast just for me and Tab to get out oh, yeah. and get away in. Perfect, this is all we need. Perfect couples unit. You yeah. Know, it really is. You know, and I moved the chair just to show, check out the tires. Those, those are nice tires. They're really cool tires. Yeah. yeah. They're pretty knobby and stuff, and it's literally meant to go off-road. Uh, man, how nice would it be to take this out onto a beach? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh, that'd that would be amazing. Be, that would be really, really cool. Yeah. It's got a solar panel up top to even feed you electricity throughout yeah, the day. Yeah, I feel like I saw it from over there. Yeah, yeah if, if you want right to, uh, we call it dry camping. Uh, other people call it, you know, roughing it, whatever. But uh -huh. it's kind of hard to rough it. They call it roughing it in this yeah, thing? Yeah, kind of funny. That's funny. Yeah, they're extremely lightweight, though. They tow really, really well. Uh, the small SUVs can tell them that's what people love. You see the jacks are included. Yep. You know, they're down right now. Uh, tons of storage in this thing. Storage. Front compartment. Power awning. Mm -hmm. LED lights up top. Of course, if you uh, if you live in Ohio, you get the Buckeye Service Guarantee if you live... So what is that? Uh, Buckeye well, Service I mean, you'll Guarantee. You'll hear about it a lot today if you're Yeah, here. you will. It's a uh, uh, three-day RV exchange, which we just talked about, right? So you have days to bring it back and change it out for another one if you don't like it for some reason. Uh, the biggest part of it, I think, is the free loaner. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if your RV's in for service and it can't, you can't camp with it, that air conditioner's out and it's 100 degrees, yeah. we'll give you another RV that you can use. So you never miss camping. Right. You know, it seems crazy to me that the industry's asked people to wait. The average trailer's in for repairs 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that's, that's, that's insane. Crazy. Yeah, that's that's rough. That's really bad. Yeah. We don't, you know, we don't hit those times at all, but, you know, we do things a little different than everybody else, uh -huh. even with repair. But we give you another RV. So if you have a camping trip coming up, you camp on one of our RVs, so you're always camping. Wow. Which is just fair. Other really cool thing this one has. So you have an actual sofa. Uh-huh. Right? Comfortable to sit on. Uh, very, very comfortable couch, right? So now you can sit there. You can watch. Oh, there's a TV. I was looking yep, for the TV. You can watch yep. TV right from your sofa, read a book, whatever you want. But then... Jackknife, is that what this is called? Yep. Check this out. Ooh, drop this. Wait, yeah. this was not planned. No, this was not planned. You have an actual bed. I can't. Oh, I can't get it. You know, Dave, for the for the, for the life of me, I can oh. think. Yeah, I think maybe you're trying to exert a I was, too yeah, much. I was trying too hard. I thought it would be harder than that. I cannot think what that's called, Dave. What is Murphy that? bed? Murphy bed. Oh, oh. I don't know what the countertop Look. extension's called. Oh, well, let's point out the countertop extension right now. Countertop you got a countertop extension that should be down before. It should be down before we do what we're doing. Yeah. But it's not. That's okay. All right. Now we're back. Which is kind of like if you have a pet, this is kind of like a Murphy bed for your pet. Yeah, your cat could sleep. Yeah. Do you do you camp with pets? Let us know in the chat. Yes or no? Just right now, just yes or no. We'll know what you're talking about. So there you go. Big old Murphy bed. The couch goes away, and you have the bed on top of it. That's a good size bed, especially for the two of you. That's This is it's, awesome. It's perfect for a couple, and you're going to get a comfortable night's sleep, right? Yeah. Not two people fighting over a uh, couch. It's going to be a secret. Oh, there it is. There's a... Look at that. Hey, somebody asking if you have to be an Ohio resident to get the uh, Buckeye service guarantee. Uh, you know, we have, we've have we had a few people that have taken advantage of it. Neighboring states, they came over and picked up an RV. Okay. You know, they brought theirs to us for service, and they took one, uh, you know, for a trip. So, so no, technically, uh, yes, but no. We don't we don't use loopholes at RV wholesalers. Right. Never okay. have been. If you if you want us to repair your RV, we're more than happy to give you something to use while we're repairing it. I mean, we wish everybody could come back. We don't expect people from California to drive. Back. Right, right. You know, we wish everybody would. Yeah. Uh, again, microwave, refrigerator. You've got a cooktop. You've got a large sink, stainless steel sink. sink. Oops. You've got the exhaust fan. You know, these things are awesome. Uh, Especially in a smaller vehicle like this. Yeah, you, you because need, you're going to get yeah. fumed out and smoked out everything else. Mm -hmm. You've got your dinette that also makes into a bed, so...
grandkid comes with you, there's a place for yep. them to sleep. You say something stupid to your wife, which you and I, again, have talked about. Then you have another place to sleep. We do that sleep. quite often. Yeah, I'm going to sneak back so okay. they can sneak in. Here, I'll, I'll go ahead and stand in the shower. Just one of us this time. Oh, a little tub. One time, Gage is going to have to turn the camera on. Oh, no, wait, they're going to see him in the mirror. <laughs> we got another question coming in. Sorry, Tim, what's that? Oh, that is a good idea. They want to know if they... Shelly wants to know if we can get a picture of mine or Dave's face. Either one of our face on the... David, it's probably... It could be either of us uh, on the side of the trailer. Maybe we get it wrapped oh, with just sure, our faces. Absolutely. yeah. Yeah. It's extra. Yeah. Oh, a lot extra. Uh, now, this... I will tell you, this shower... Again, I'm six foot tall. My hair sticks up, obviously, so I can feel it up there. This is a little... A smaller, compact shower. Again, you've got a small vehicle there. So, uh... It is still kind of nice, though, that you've got a, uh, a tub down here. You've got the shower. It's, again, a little a little more compact, but still not bad for this small of an RV. No, it's pretty amazing, really, quite honestly. And It's uh, just so lightweight. So, again, don't forget to tell us yes or no if you have or if you travel with pets. It's just something we're... You know, the, uh, did you feel how pets. solid the floor is, too? You know what? I, I didn't notice, which I think is a good thing. Right. You're not going to notice a solid floor because you're, you're no, used to but, walking on solid floors. But you floors. walk into some units and you sure will notice yeah, a, yeah. a weak floor so or, you know, a soft floor. And, it, you know, that's the thing about Rockwood. They build them so incredibly well. They're built in uh, Millersburg. You've mm -hmm. been there. You've been there. Yep. Mainly Amish and German Baptists. Uh, they do an incredible job. You know, the, everything is laminated on this coach. Everything is top notch. And we just don't have problems with Rockwoods. I got the, the price in here, too. Let's talk about the price, which I think... Yeah, we'll again, it's the uh, Rockwood Geo Pro G19FD. This is $20,632, which makes your payment right around $179 a month. That's crazy. should be right down there on the screen if we if we nailed it. Uh, weight is 3,054 pounds. It's yeah, about so 20 feet long, 7, can tell it. 8, 4 inches. Yeah, this is... Uh, it says it sleeps 3, which I think is probably about right. Yeah, I mean, I'd you say guys, it's pretty because fair. I know some of them, you can, you can find other places to sleep people, but this yeah. one being smaller, you got you can put one person right about here and then two in the bed. and Yeah, so you this know, is definitely uh, for a couple, I think. No, it is. That's what it's meant for is a couple. Yeah. Know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we do know a family, nice. though, that uh, the kids sleep underneath in sleeping bags and love it. R underneath yeah, the seriously. RV? They'd wow. rather be under there than they would in a tent. That's crazy. You know, it's kind of cool. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. You just don't want to get up quick. Yeah, no, this is a very good point. Also, I couldn't do that because of spiders. Yeah, I mean, yeah. not a chance. And snakes. Yeah, I snakes, like snakes. I'm all right with snakes, but spiders freak me out. You know, a lot of people are nervous about buying an RV because you have to tow it and you have to back it up. I'll be honest with you. I'm new to the RV world. I've never backed an RV before. I'm going to do it right now. We're going to find out how easy it is. You may not want to be in here. So when you back an RV or you back a trailer or anything you're towing, uh, it's opposite from what you know. So when you have your hand on top of the wheel, you, you want to turn this way thinking the trailer is going to go that way and it doesn't work that way. So one of the tips is to hold your hand on the bottom of the wheel and when you turn it the, the, the opposite way, it feels more like the way you're supposed to do it. If that makes any sense to you, I don't know. It makes a little bit of sense to me, uh, but we'll find out how this goes right now. Sorry, just give me this moment of prayer. It's a big RV on the back, and I don't wreck it. Here we go. Oh, look at that. I turned it right. I saw it going the uh, wrong direction. I realized, obviously, I got to push the thing the other way. And that was it. So I didn't do a whole lot. Obviously, it was straight. But it's still a little nerve-wracking thinking, all right, I want, the, I want the RV to go this way, so I got to turn the wheel the opposite way. 
Uh, just that little bit that I did. I know it's not that impressive, but I feel like I could get this down pretty easily. That's all I'm going to do for now, especially because you guys are watching me. It makes me a little nervous. Let's get into this uh, Winnebago and take a look at it. So uh, I backed the thing up about 15 feet straight, and that was still the seventh take because I ran into that tree three times. Uh, but I'm pretty much a pro now backing things up. I really do need to find a big area to try and back up an RV at some point. Just a big open area. No, no lights in the parking lot. Just big open area because I feel like I could really screw it up. But uh, I'm sure it's something that comes along pretty easily after a while. Listen, don't forget to let your friends know what's going on right now with a virtual RV show. We're showing off all kinds of RVs. People are buying. If you're getting the RV of your dreams today, we are happy you're doing that. We talked about the Buckeye service guarantee. We talked about the nationwide service network. We haven't yet talked about the RV insurance group. That's, uh, you've got the notes over there. Bring your, bring your notes in here so I can read these. Here are the notes, what the RV insurance group is. It's pretty much, it's as easy as you buy your vehicle and then you get quotes instantly and you save money immediately. There's the question, ninth, or the, the question, there's the, the phone number, 937-303-5699. The folks at RVW have started their insurance group. They team up with a bunch of insurance providers to make sure you get the best deal, but they can also bundle your, your home, your motorcycle, your car, your RV, bundle it all together to give you the better price for your insurance. So right there, this is the number, 937-303-5699. If anything, just call them right now and say, hey, this is the insurance I have. This is how much it's costing me. Can you do a better job? If they can, they will save you some money monthly. But there you go. Just something else that RV holds. Let me hand your notes back to you. It's nice that it's such a compact little uh, way to remember that. Just carry that around in your pocket. Let's get to the RV right now. Let's get back to an RV walkthrough. The Rockwood Mini Lights. Oh, this, guys, this is the most popular floor plan, one of the most popular floor plans. This is a 2511S. So this is the 2509S, has the bunks in it. So as we see, we do have an outside kitchen with your grill. Mm -hmm. Dad's medicine cabinet. Yep. And then... It'd be nice. My mouth hurts if there was a Pepsi. Oh, look. Oh, <laughs> looky there. <laughs> <laughs> and then on all Rockwoods, you also get standard with the outside griddle, like a Blackstone. Um, and then your prep table. All hooks up to here. On um, this floor plan, we are going to have the power jacks for front and back. TV hook up on the outside. Two-inch receiver standard on these guys now. The tire monitoring system. Outside speakers. Power awning. LED light strip. Everything. Yeah. How, long is, how long is this one? Uh, 25 oh, yeah. foot. Okay. Not very big. They don't go over really over 25, 26 foot. Okay. Um, oh, that's we, right, because it is uh, the mini light. I forgot that we mentioned it. Exactly. Uh, you can even put a, a solar panel portable one, you know, plug it in right there. We do have a little bit of uh, storage under the Murphy bed. And then one key fits all. So what that means, your one key can unlock all this stuff, nice. which is nice. Magnet doors. You want to hear a coincidence? What's that? Chelsea that just won the Red Lobster gift card bought this RV. They're waiting for it to be delivered. Holy smokes. Yeah, Look, crazy. We must have just throw her... Red yeah, we could have just card. put the gift card in there. And just said, Blake, even though he's married, he's open for a wife and kid date. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> anything for free food. Yeah, anything. I'll, I'll risk the idea of my wife being furious that I'm going out with another woman just to eat free red lobster. <laughs> and then as we come in, we do have the U-shaped dinette slide. Uh, this also goes into a bed. Uh, we do have the Murphy. Now, those seats do kick up. So you have a nice little foot rest that will pop up. Um, as we come through here, this is actually your chocolate Newport Ash cabinetry, so the lighter cabinetry. Mm -hmm. Gas electric refrigerator. It's called chocolate? So the furniture is called chocolate. Oh, sure. Okay. This is called Newport Ash. Gotcha. Okay. Which so is I was nice. going to throw a fit if this was considered chocolate. Because <laughs> white chocolate is white, which yeah. definitely is not that. And then regular chocolate, obviously, is not that color. Maybe even white chocolate this sit one. for a couple of years and I get a nice little mold. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. So that's, this is called the moldy white chocolate. 
Who's right. naming our Who's naming our cabin tree? Rockwood, please don't pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> um, I do like it. It's it's. Very I like nice. the light color. Um, gas electric refrigerator. Now you can get a twelve volt refrigerator with this. If you do, you automatically get a hundred and ninety watt solar panel on the roof. Okay. Which is pretty sharp. Uh, we do have all your bunks here. Let me step out of the way so everybody can see. Uh, bunks, the bottom bunk will actually lift up. Um, and so you have a little bit more storage under there. As we see, a little netting, a yep. ladder, and everything's under there. <laughs> Chill. Still swallowing spicy spit. Uh, we had somebody ask if there's any electrical outlets. No, not in this one. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there yeah, are. All over, guys. So we got some of that bed. We have a nice little pop up here. Um, on the counter spot, we have some down here where your control panel is, your speakers and everything, got some there. We have them here. On we the, have on them the over box. here by the door with the pantry, all over. Yep. See if there's any in the bathroom. You got some in go. the bathroom. Uh, actually, yes, right there. There you go. You get a little bathtub thing here. Yeah, it's a nice little tub. So a lot of people like this floor plan if they have younger children who just can't take showers yet. So yeah. nice little tub. Do I need to get in this one, too? That. Do I need to stand on this one? You don't have Nobody's to. making fun of me yet, so I'm going to do it until people are like, this guy's weird for standing in every shower. Well, guess it gives them a nice little perspective of right. an actual human being inside of yep. it. Six foot tall, again. Sorry if you've been watching all day and you hear me say this over and over again. Uh, but room because of the skylight. You're not looking like Elf yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Uh, almost fell. How awesome would that have been if I would have fallen out of that? <laughs> Just a bit more karma, right you know what I'm saying? Hiding a jelly bean, and she's just gonna make a trip. Yeah, uh, they have some nice little pantry right here as well for dry goods. Yep, so the Rockwood Mini Light guys, these are outstanding about 25 foot, maybe right around probably 25 26 grand. Uh, the price is over here, don't quote me on that, it's probably wrong. Um, it's, it's down on it's down there somewhere. <laughs> there, they got somebody asking about another outlet on the. I don't know if there's one under there or not. There is. There is. Right here under this guy. This? All over. I don't know if somebody's messing with us. <laughs> hey, it would be awesome. If you're messing with us, just getting us to point out all the outlets, I applaud you. <laughs> I wonder how many things you're wanting to plug in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Murphy bed. Yes, this is a Murphy. So lay that flat. And then if you get that side, I'll get this side. Okay. Watch your fingers when you let this yeah. down. You don't want to get them pinched in there. Pinch point, guys. And you've got plug-ins up there. Yep. Outlets on the end. Yep. And then more storage here on the sides. Now, this is pretty cool. So this just can't lift up. Right. I so tried earlier with one. I couldn't it. get it. You actually have to pull the little lever. Yep. Unlocks it. And then you can bring it up. And that is really easy to, Very easy. to get rid of. Very easy. Does this, what do you do, pull on this? Just pull it up. Push it back. Push it back. Nice. Easy. Nothing to it. No. I do my own sound effects. The Jackery. We're gonna give it away right now. This is a portable power station. You can power the outdoors. Well, how do you charge this thing so it can power stuff? You do it with the, uh, what's this called? Uh, solar panel, jeez, good grief. Every once in a while you have a brain fart and that's what just happened. I forgot what the solar panel was called. Uh, but we're gonna give that away. That's a very impressive product. First time we've given one away. We're gonna do it by a call in. So the number is 937-649-5970. But we're not taking the first caller. It's already lit up. Stay on the line because it's, we gotta get to the what? Seventh, is that what we're doing? The seventh caller. Tim makes me do this because he hates me. And I feel terrible when I pick up these phones and say, sorry, you're the first caller. So what I'm going to do, listen, if you're watching right now, I'm just going to pick up the phone and say, sorry, you're the first caller. You're caller number one, caller number two. Because if I, if I spent time, I would like to apologize to all of you. I'm so sorry, you're caller number one. So I'm just going to pick up, say caller number one, caller number two, until we get to caller number seven. Here we go. This is good television for you guys. Here we go. 
Sorry, you're caller number one. Try back. Sorry, you're caller number two. Call back. I don't, I don't know if I'm answering. Hello? Sorry, you're caller number three. Call back. Sorry, you're caller number four. Call oh, I feel terrible doing this. Sorry, you're caller number five. You're so close. Are you still on the line? Sorry, you're caller number uh, six. Who is this? They hang up as soon as I hear it. They, they hang up. So here we go. This is... Hello? Here we go. Hello? Hello? Why am I not hearing anybody? Hello? Hello? Hello. Hey, who is this? Hey, uh, this is Jody Pate. Listen, you are our seventh caller. You just won. All right. Yeah, you nailed it. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't hear. What did you say your name is? Uh, Jody Pate. Jody or Joey? Yeah. Jody. Jody? Face? Bates. Bates. Vase. As in Norman Bates. 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 Jody Bates. Bates. Jody yeah. Bates, did I get that right? All right. Yes, you did. Listen, you just won the Jackery. That's the solar paneled powered uh, portable power station, if I don't break it. That is awesome. We were just looking into these uh, these things. Really? Well, now you don't yeah. have to. We're going to ship it to you for free. You get it for free. That's great. Uh, that's awesome. Well, thanks for watching. How uh, You've been watching all day? Uh, all day and pretty much every time you guys have one of these things. Awesome. Uh, well, then I'm super I love stoked it. you won. This is great. Well, we really appreciate you watching. Uh, do you have an RV? Are you in the market for an RV? Do you just watch for uh, tips and tricks? No, we have an RV. Um, it's uh, we've had it for. I mean, I've been I've been camping for most of my life. That's sweet. Where are you? Where are you from? Uh, we live in Connecticut. Okay, very cool. Well, listen, we really, really appreciate you not only watching today, but watching and uh, all the all the past episodes you've watched. So I am super stoked that you won, Jody. All right, I appreciate it. That all was right. awesome. All right, well, I'm going to hand you off to Tim. He will take care of you, get your information from you, so that we can get this sent to you. All right, thanks all right. a lot. Thanks, sir. Good job, guys. All right, thank you. All right, so congratulations to Jody Bates. He just won the Jackery. We'll have more giveaways today, so don't despair if you weren't the seventh caller uh, like Jody was. But it's kind of cool that somebody who's watched for so long is winning that. We're going to get into an RV again. Let's do another walkthrough. Oh, we're going to do an advertisement from Dish, and then we'll get to a walkthrough. But again, congratulations, Jody. Travel season is in high gear, and many of you are setting off on camping adventures and road trips. Now you can stay connected with the shows you love with Dish Outdoors. Watch live HD TV anywhere your adventure takes you without Wi-Fi. Best of all, it's easy to use. All you need is a portable satellite antenna like the Dish Tailgater Pro and a receiver from Dish Outdoors. Setup only takes a few minutes, and with pay-as-you-go programming, you only pay for the months you use. Hi, I'm Debbie Dunning, and whether I'm filming on location or just camping with my kids, all I need is the Dish Tailgater Pro and the Waller Receiver. You just plug it in and you have your favorite shows within minutes. It's that easy and no tools required. Before you head out on your next road trip, be sure to get Dish Outdoors and watch all your favorite RFD TV and Cowboy Channel shows wherever your travels take you. Alright, so my golf game, yeah. I realized that if I keep this elbow in, right. I hit the ball much better. And I, what I realized is that if I keep, if I 
treat my golf swing like skipping a rock. Look at that. That was pretty good. That was actually yeah. That was, yeah, that that was, was straighter than any golf shot I ever. Yeah, did. I've never seen a, uh, a, a like a really young girl throw farther. That was really awesome. <laughs> he is adorable. Folks. Did very well. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta laugh. This that one. actually was a good one. <laughs> All right, so we are Indian Hollow Campground. Uh, right next to Indian Lake, right next to RVW over there. But let's talk about something that a lot of people get taken advantage with, of with, taken advantage of with. Yes. Hidden fees. Hidden fees. Hidden fees are awful. They are. It's 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 probably the thing that embarrasses me most about this industry. Uh, lack of service is right up there, but uh, hidden fees is terrible. You know, we're seeing right now the most egregious one we've ever seen. Right. You uh, um, you sign your contract, on your contract, and really, really, really fine print is a new loophole that dealers are, are putting on all contracts. We don't know of any dealer other than us not doing this, if you okay. can believe that. Wow. Um, and it says that if the factory raises the price on the unit, why it's on order, because everybody's ordering right now, because mm -hmm. there's, there's no inventory, uh, they can raise your price. So what they're doing wow. is you'll get a phone call, you'll get an email that says, you know, Mr. McCreary or the RV you, you ordered just went up $700 uh, at the factory. Do you want to pay the seven hundred dollars, or do you want to uh, give up your deposit and have your order canceled? Yeah. Uh, wow. The problem is most customers are paying four or five of those. You know, so that's that's the biggest hidden fee right now. Okay. Uh, number one way to protect yourself: make the dealer put in writing that your price will not change. They're going to price protect your unit. That's mm -hmm. what we do. If they won't put it in writing, don't buy there because your your unit's going up potentially thousands of dollars wow. over the course of the time it's going to take to build. Uh, other ones we had, we saw a tire fee one time in Florida. You told me about this. this yeah. Is, this is stupid. This one's crazy. A dealer charged 3200 3600 I don't remember. Told the customer it was a tire fee uh, from bringing the unit from Indiana at the factory down to Florida. It needed new tires. Uh, that means know. every time you went on a trip anywhere, he would need you tires. would have to yeah, get exactly, new tires. Exactly. That's... Yeah. It'd be like driving a Tesla. Yeah. you got to replace those tires all the time. Right. Yeah, oh, you do, really? Yeah, you do. It's a very interesting thing to find out. Uh, you know, the other one that, that's, that's very, very common is a PDI fee. PDI's pre-delivery inspection, that's where the dealer is supposed to check the whole unit, uh -huh. all the systems, clean it, you know, inside and out. Uh, we're seeing a, there's a big national chain. I won't mention their name because they don't deserve it, but um, they're charging anywhere from $1,200 to $1,700 for that PDI fee. We had a customer that was going to go buy from them uh -huh. because we couldn't get one. The The one they had in stock was $9,000 more. Uh -huh. Called a price gouge. Right. What else could it be? Uh, they got there. They wanted... Thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars for the PDI. Then they went to do their walkthrough, and they wanted nineteen hundred dollars to just do a to walk through. through the RV. Yeah, to show them how to use the RV. You know, which again, we don't charge for PDI. We don't charge for walkthroughs. You know, how do you protect yourself? Simple. Get your price. Get everything in writing. Have them put a little paragraph on there that if they change your price even one dollar, you get your deposit back. You can walk away. It's the only way to protect yourself right now. That's good. That's good. Good advice. More good advice being spit from the mouth of David Durnell. That was weird way did to I say spit it. on you? Nah. I, I, I apologize I, if I did. Maybe. A little. Sorry. I'm still cold from falling in the water. Earlier, I understand. So. Yeah. All right. Let's get back into the... <laughs> We are here in front of the XLR Micro Boost, the 27 LRLE. We do have two 20 pound LP tanks standard with your power tongue jack and a ball size of 2 and 5 16ths. Coming across to the side, we do have a nice pass through uh, storage up front. We do have your power awning with your LED light strip on the side, and they're blue, so it makes it look pretty cool. Um, outside speakers, your water heaters all on the side, double entry. I'll show you where that goes here in just a minute and then um, their TV hookup on this side as well. So on the side here, they do not forget about your pets, so they do give you a little hook on here for that. Uh, please give me a call to talk more about the Buckeye service guarantee. Big plus here for our Buckeye customers. I'd love to tell you more about it. Now this door here does go inside your garage, so it's separate. And of course, on this guy, we do have your patio system, but I'll show you that, show you that once we get inside. Walking inside your unit, we're going to run right into your um, queen bed. We have your overhead cabinetry. We have your side hanging cabinetry with a mirror. Also with this, you are going to have your SUVs, plug-ins, 
uh, for your cell phone CPAP. And if you do have that one or two guest, you do have your privacy curtain. Coming in, we do have your uh, seat, theater seating. Now, the, all of these seats do recline. You have heat and massage on them, or it's standard with a U-shaped dinette. So either or, you do have the option. Coming across here, we do have your entertainment center with a fireplace. Uh, kind of smart, you can't run your AC or fireplace at the same time, which you won't be able to do anyways. Um, with your TV hookup and a little bit more storage for maybe a, a DVD player or CD or knickknacks. Coming in, we do have your 12 volt refrigerator, um, 11 cubic foot, your three burner stove. They even give you the little accent lights here too. You do have your oven, storage under your oven, your regular microwave, and your deep farmer sink with the sprayer that kind of comes out of the hook and sprays all the way around. You do walk through the bathroom before you get to your garage, which really makes sense if you're super dirty. As you see, we are gonna have your shower with a curtain. Below that, you're gonna have your toilet. Then off to the other side, you're gonna have your cabinetry under the sink and your nice medicine cabinet with cabinetry behind that. As you see, you're actually on the outside patio right now. So you do have the railing that goes all the way around. You even do have a curtain or a screen, as they call it, that magnets to around the opening. So you, have, you can have the deck down, but keep the bugs out at the same time. As you can see, we do have two sofas. These will fold over into beds, or you have your table so you can eat outside rather than inside if it's a beautiful day as it is today. 11 uh, foot garage, so you can get your side by side in here. XLR loves to offer the 5,000 pound tie downs, so your toy is not going anywhere. Guys, thanks again for hanging out with me in this XLR MicroBiz 27 LRLE. To get more details on this or that Buckeye service guarantee, give me a call at 877-877-4494. There's no way I could ever pull off sunglasses like that. And I'm super cool. But, uh, he didn't. I think there's, there's people are saying, no, I couldn't. Hey, listen, this is what we got coming up. More tips and tricks, more music. I've got coming up the next hour an XLR Nitro, a Rockwood Rue, a BT Cruiser. If you're looking for an RV, a specific RV, if you go to RVWholesalers.com, I'm sorry, if you go to VirtualRVShow.com forward slash schedule, you can see exactly what we plan on doing for the rest of the day. Also, um, uh, you can also just look on the homepage there at VirtualRVShow.com. Tyler, were you saying something to me in my ear? We got somebody asking if we deliver to New Hampshire. Lexi, yes, we will absolutely deliver to New Hampshire. As far as I know, we deliver to anywhere in the country. So, yes, we will deliver to New Hampshire. If for some reason you want to meet us halfway, we will meet you halfway. I say we like I'm part of RV Wholesalers. I'm really not. I, I help them do their thing. So anytime I talk good about RV Wholesalers, I'm kind of alone in the room here. Anytime I talk good about RV Wholesalers, it's because I've been around these folks for about a year now, and they really are good people. We just had some Somebody I saw post that they had a uh, like a pushy salesman, which I promise you from what I've seen firsthand is not the norm around here. I don't know what the situation was there, but I promise you they will not, for the most part, I don't know who you talked to that day, if they were having a bad day, if things were just weren't going right, uh, but for the most part, I do not see them being pushy around here. They try to do their best to make sure that you are a happy, happy customer, that you come back for more and more and more, and they do that by not only being respectful to you when you call, but by, um, by um, uh, making sure that you're buying peace of mind through their Buckeye Service Guarantee or their uh, nationwide service network. They want to make sure you are very happy. So, uh, Donna... Donna, Donna loves the RV show because she's learning more about RVing. So I don't know if maybe Donna has an RV and she needs to know more tips and tricks and things. And that's the stuff that she's learning here on the RV show. So we got, we're going to do some we're going to do some magic here, Tim. Yeah. Hey, Amber, how you doing? Good. How are you? All right, come on in. Uh, so this is going to seem weird. You have to entertain while I grab a deck of cards. I don't know if you <laughs> if you know any magic tricks you can do. There we go. Was that a dance? Did you just do a dance or something? No, I don't do dancing. You don't do dancing. Although we, you also didn't have a mic, so <laughs> so, so uh, here we go. There you go. There's a mic for you. Yeah, go ahead. And that was entertaining. Introduce yourself. I'm going to jet on this side. 
Yeah, it should be on. Okay. Yeah, they'll hear it on there. You just don't hear it. It's not like we're talking through speakers here. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so that was my entertainment is that I didn't have a mic. I was talking to myself. Yeah, I'm sure it, I'm sure it, looked, yeah, I'm sure it looked good. What do you think about this beautiful uh, background we have here? See that beautiful lake It's back amazing. There? Yeah. It's just like the lake. Yeah. Perfect. People back there on the, I don't know if you can see them right back there on the, on the uh, swan. You see them? There's the swan back there? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, we'll take the anyways. boat out later. Yeah, yeah, we'll get out there on the water. <laughs> did you did you tell them? I wasn't listening. Did you tell oh, them? I, I tried to tell you when there was no mic. So okay. my name is Amber Frankie. I work here at RV Wholesalers in transportation, and I also take care of all the rentals. Awesome. So very important. Yes. Very important. Yes. If somebody has uh, an RV that they bring in here and they need an RV to go on vacation, but it needs fixed by you guys, do you help them get an RV? So Absolutely. They can I keep do. Their vacation we going? have travel trailers, uh, a toy hauler, and we just got a whole fleet of Nexus motorhomes in. Awesome. Sweet. There you go. So hopefully maybe maybe you're out there thinking, man, I hope my RV breaks down because <laughs> I want to uh, take one of those out. How do people go about renting an RV? So if they go to RVWholesalers.com and click on the rental link, it'll take them to all the campers we have available, the motorhomes we have available, and you just request your availability and we go from there. Awesome. Sweet. All right. So here's what you'll be able to pick up on this now. Take this because okay. I'm going to use, uh, use you. So do me a favor. I want to make sure. Hold your hand about like this. I'm going to use your hand as a table right about there and then pull your sleeve up just a little bit just so um no cards up my sleeve yeah exactly. yeah they won't think we're, they won't think we're cheating and then uh, let me see just go right about there perfect so i'm going to show you uh three playing cards okay blank playing cards after time consider those like rooms if those were rooms after after a while you'd get cobwebs on those rooms in those rooms but then after you dust you dust the place a little bit and those cobwebs would go away okay or I, I say cobwebs, I guess they're spider webs. What, if you really want to get rid of spider webs forever, what do you really have to get rid of? If you're going to get rid of spider, I, the spider. Uh, no, that's all right. <laughs> no, no, it's just, do me a favor, wave your hand over top of those cards. <laughs> wow, you handed that a lot better than a lot of others. You, 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 you did handle that. That's, that's, that's not good. Ew, you're going to pick it up? I don't like spiders. You handled that. You, you, you didn't scream like no. I thought you would. Is it because people are watching? No, it's because what? I saw it coming and I was starting to anticipate there was going to be spider. You knew there was going to yeah. be a spider. Nobody trust me. Yeah. All right. Well, round of applause for Amber, everybody. Um, look, I did it again. It's right there on your shoulder. <laughs> it's so easy. It just sticks to people. All right. Where'd it go? Just down there. See, I'm always afraid I'm going to do this trick. I'm going to go to pick it up and it's going to be a real spider. I'm terrified of spiders, yeah, not good. which makes good. me an even bigger jerk because I do this to people thinking it's funny. Yeah, I'm awful. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, Thank no you. problem. Thanks for hanging out with us. There you go. If you ever need to rent an RV, that's who you're going to talk to. If you're ever in here and you're like, hey, I need, uh, I need an RV because mine's being worked on, that's who you're going to talk to. So thanks for hanging out with us, Amber. Let's get into a nitro. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing today? Good. How are things going in there? Not in there, but in... It, it's going crazy. Is it crazy? Yeah, uh, people are buying them all up. I don't know if we have anything left on the lot to yeah. sell. <laughs> <laughs> but... Even if there's not something on the lot to sell, if you want an RV, you need to call today. We talked about this, that you guys are, like, locking in prices. Absolutely. They lock in a price today. That's the price they pay if they get their RV three weeks from now and prices have gone up $5,000. They're still paying what they got today. Doesn't matter if they raise the price 10 k on us tomorrow. The price you signed on today is your price. All right. So you need to jump in because if you wait until tomorrow and they raise the price before you call, you're going to pay that price. And prices are going up. Uh, yep, they're going up. Uh, there's actually one that was recently announced. I do not know what this, how big it's going to be, but it's been announced. So Yeah. So I, I, I'm hearing that if people order right now, they would get a 2022 because they come out in July? Yep, 2022. Wow, you hear that? That's cool. You know, Which is really good because you're getting those a few months ahead of depreciation. So okay. odds are you're not going to be upside down when you're ready to trade that in. You hear that? You need to jump on it. All right, let's talk about this one, the XLR. All right, so what you got here is the XLR 351. Um, it's got a, uh, a mid-living front bedroom. Uh, yeah, I can't remember the length of the garage off the top of my head. Let's check the sheet here. Uh, uh, it's about that long. If I close my eyes from here, it's about that long. I, if I'm remembering my specs correctly, I believe it's an 11-foot garage. Okay. It's okay. actually not on here. I'm doing that off memory. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it may, may not be somewhere around there. All right. 
Uh, what are we going to talk about outside? Anything to talk about outside other than you, uh, you got your You got your standard uh, exterior entertainment. You got your marine speakers on the outside. You got your uh, hookups to bring a TV out here, full cable um, hookups for TV and anything else you want to bring out. Um, and then you got your front pass-through storage. Yeah. Um, and that's mainly, that, that's all of uh, XLR's exteriors feature, exterior features on this particular okay. floor plan. Okay. So let's go inside. See where they make the money. Right here, look at this. Sharp. Sharp, sharp, sharp. So what you've got in here in the kitchen, uh, obviously you got your three-seater recliner sofa and the slide out, mm -hmm. um, but you can also, uh, you've also got your uh, gas electric refrigerator in here, um, three burner stove, uh, large microwave, mm -hmm. um, and I also, uh, probably good for folks to know, you don't have to go with the couch. This unit also offers a dinette option. Okay. Okay. Cool. A uh, little loft above the... Yep, you've got a loft there for... Uh, kids, storage, uh, anything you really want to use it for. Um, so how do you get to it? Uh, it comes with a ladder. Okay. Uh, they usually store that underneath the, uh, XLR usually stores it underneath the mattress on the Happy Jack system. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. Uh, there's a lot of storage space in here, too. All this, all under here, this, all that, above the TV, all kinds of storage. Holy moly. Yeah, XLR Nitros are really great for uh, the residential aspect. Probably one of the most residential toy haulers on the market. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, that's a good point. There's no uh, dinette in here. Mm -hmm. I didn't even notice it until you mentioned that. And then, of course, we'll show where you can set it up out there. Mm -hmm. if you want, Absolutely. I'm assuming. All right. We want to go upstairs first? Yeah. Let's right. check out the bedroom, bathroom, and then we'll head back into the garage. Start with the bathroom here. All right. That's a, another big old shower. Nice. All one piece. Yeah. You got a good sized sink with uh, a little bit of counter space. Of course, your medicine cabinet up here. And uh, towel rack up here. I like, I like that you have this. Some of these don't have these spots to put your shampoo and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's a good bathroom. wardrobe slide yep you got the wardrobe slide here a little bit of extra storage in the bedroom of course just with, like with everything you've got storage under the bed mm -hmm. it's where actually they've got the tables, the tables that go in the uh in the garage. garage you got your spray hose and then the uh, central vac hoses as well cool cool which you also have central vac here in the bedroom as well uh-huh great that way you don't have to sweep stuff down the steps mm -hmm. or gather up out here and carry it downstairs in a pan, dust pan. Uh, you got your side tables here, you got your reading lights, overhead storage, uh, open cubby, and then your enclosed cabinets as well. Great. Is that storage underneath there? Is that a door I'm seeing there? Right here? Yeah. Yeah, you got, you got okay. two drawers here as well cool. in the uh, nightstand. Awesome. All right. And of course, very important. Mm -hmm. You got to have a TV in, in the bedroom. Yep, absolutely. So then let's go to the garage, or the party room. It's the party room. Come on, let's be honest. <laughs> so this in, this, the party room? in this garage, and now that I'm standing in it, I'm thinking it's either right at 11 or it's a 10-footer. Okay. Um, but you've got, uh, you've got your half bath in here um, into the living area, so you don't have the bathroom extended into here, reducing the amount of garage space you have. Right. You got overhead cabinets uh, where where the loft is as well. Uh -huh. You also have your cable hookups out here as well, so you can put a TV in the uh, in the garage party room. Yeah, that's, um, and that's what it is. You got your Happy Jack system here, and you've got your recesses in the floor where you put those tables that were under the bed up front. Yep. Uh, yep. Three season patio door, uh, sliding glass door. Excuse me, I just had a Pepsi. I I know I'm not supposed to drink Pepsi when I do this because it makes a burp, but I really like my Diet Pepsi. These are nice. Soundproof. <laughs> not really. <laughs> people would be very disappointed if they got that thinking it was going to be soundproof. That idiot told me it was soundproof. 
And then out here um, on the patio deck, I believe it's a weight capacity of about 5,000 pounds. So basically enough capacity where you can get the entire family and then some out here having fun. Yep. You've got your uh, uh, awning, awning, rear awning. So you've really got an outdoor area here. Yeah. I'm telling you, I love the patio. Love and the patio. Uh, uh, for people who are skeptical on this, these are airline grade cables. Um, these, these guys will never break. Um, the the frame will break on the on this before the uh, before cable. these cables snap. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what are we talking about price wise? Uh, on this guy, you're looking at price is sixty five thousand ninety five dollars. This would okay. be a roundabout monthly payment of about four hundred and fifteen a month. Wow. Again, a lot of a lot of RV for a very good price. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and again, I know I say this every time. I don't think I said it today. Maybe I did. You don't necessarily have to have a toy to take a toy hauler. I'm wondering, like, if, if, because when you look in here, it looks kind of uh, garagey because of the floor. Yeah, well, they've got to have that um, in case for you know your side by sides things like that. Right. If you drip any fumes on here, you don't want to have a low grade plastic right. or you know like tile, wood, that kind of thing. Well, my thought is that if if you buy this, not wanting to use it as a garage. Could you put a floor down in here? Maybe not, maybe not like uh, like Drew, but could you buy a floor and put it down in here um, over top of this? That I'm honestly not sure. I mean, I'm sure there's a, there's a way to do it. Yeah. Um, off the top of my head, about the only thing that I could think would that would be effective would just get a roll of carpet and lay it down yeah. in here. Yeah. Um, but you've also got your uh, vents in here as well. I okay. just want to highlight that for the toys. That's if good. you've just ran something, you can cycle the gas fumes out through here so it's not going through the rest That's of your smart. camper. It's very smart, especially with this being the separation between your garage and your your living space. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right. Well, thank you, sir, for walking us through. It's nice. No problem. Of course, the bed comes down. I don't think we mentioned that. Did you mention that? You yeah. mentioned that while I was walking. Happy up. Jack system. The yes, bed, the yeah. queen bed up top comes down. The the uh, couches also do go up and down. Uh, the couches will also roll over and meet in the center, and it makes a second bunk bed for this room. Sweet. All right. Well, thanks for walking us through. No problem at all. Head back out this way right here. I have subscribed to RVW's whole, uh, RVW Wholesaler's YouTube page. And the reason I do that is because I want updates on when they walk through RVs. So during the month, they will walk through RVs. If you're interested in RV, you need to subscribe to their YouTube channel. But they also do webinars. That's every Tuesday and Thursday where you can sign up for absolutely free and sit and listen to two people, usually a salesperson or maybe Tim, maybe me, talk about the best way to buy an RV, how you can save money doing it, whether you buy from RVW or not. So it's very, very good to learn how to buy an RV through their webinars. They also do some other stuff on their webinars just to help you guys out, give you some tips and tricks. But that's a perfect thing to do, is if you're interested in an RV, you need to, um, you need to subscribe to their YouTube channel. Right now, Tim's making me a note, I need to remember this, the RVBuyingMistakes.com will give you a list of five or six big mistakes that people make when they go to buy an RV. So go to RVBuyingMistakes.com to get more information. Um, also, uh, what else? I know there's something else I wanted to talk about. I forget what it was, though. Do you remember what it was? Uh, anyways, I, I do know what I want to talk about. It's the price protection going on right now. So I'm going to send you to another video where we talk about price protection. It's a big thing happening right now. Maybe you've heard us talk about it already today. If you have, sorry to repeat it again, but this is very important. Folks need to know about this. So again, they are safe when they buy an RV. Check this out. <laughs> Hey.
Hey y'all, Duncan and David here with RV Wholesalers. We got a question here with Hey RVW. I've been hearing a lot lately, forums, internet searches, while I'm trying to look into buying a new RV, that a lot of dealers aren't holding true to their pricing structure. They're price gouging and they're not protecting their prices. Tell me about what's happening in the industry right now. It's uh, it's something new. We've never we've seen price gouging, of course. Okay, yeah. But this is something new. The dealers have literally gone in and changed their contracts. Okay. Okay. And they're putting a little loophole in there that says that any factory price increase that they get, they can pass along to the customer. Mm -hmm. Most of them, uh, I've seen four different contracts so far. The 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 print was so small. Yeah. You know, you, you had to have readers <laughs> if you're an old guy like me uh, to read what it said. But what they're doing then is is you you buy an RV. Yeah. Uh, you have it on order, okay? Because right. everything's ordered right now, almost exclusively. There's just no RVs out there. Factory sends along a price increase, which is happening, okay? We're getting tons of price increases from the factories right now because of all the, you know, all the stuff we see on TV, right? We're out right. of PVC pipe, we're out of fiberglass insulation, gas shortages, you know, all yeah. this, Manufacturers all this just madness. Yeah, harder to pull off. Exactly. Yeah. So they, they send a $700 price increase to the dealer. What the dealers are doing then is they're using that loophole and you get an email from them that says, do you want to pay the extra $700 or do you want to forfeit your uh, deposit mm -hmm. and have your unit canceled? So those are your choices, right? Yeah. Do I give up 1000 or do I pay 700 The problem is the average customer is going to face at least five of these. Wow. We had from one factory in 42 days, we had a 16% price increase. There's a 6%, a 4%, and a 6%. Yeah. So some of them are pretty massive too, you yeah. know I mean, depending on the, on the unit you bought. Yeah. So for the, the consumer, you're not, like, for, for, for me on the outside, you don't know a lot of these details. What is what is RV wholesalers doing to price protect? Uh, we, we are price protecting. The, the contract's a contract. We're honoring the contract like we always have. Uh, we've called out the industry numerous times. Call them out again right now. If you're an RV dealer, why aren't you price protecting? Mm -hmm. You entered a contract with a customer, you should honor yeah. it. You know, it's a way for us to show people that our industry is an honorable industry. Yeah. You know, and what we're doing is is challenging customers. We, we can't sell. 500,000 RVs, right? I wish we could. So you, people are going to have to buy from other dealers as well. Mm -hmm. When you sit down to sign your contract, make them put in writing for you that you won't pay any price increases, that your price won't change. And if they refuse to do that, you need to get up and walk out. Absolutely. And price gouging, be very careful. We get people occasionally say, well, I found the same one at a local dealer. The other day a guy was telling me that it was, it was actually a boost. Oh, like really? this unit, a little smaller XLR one. XLR boost. Yeah, it was sixteen thousand dollars more. Wow. Which is why it was sitting at the dealer's lot. Right. But there's people that are paying, you know, five to fifteen to twenty thousand dollars more for an RV so they can get it right now. Right. And, and the dealers are just price gouging. Hey, thanks for watching RV wholesalers. If you like this content, you want to learn some more. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you can always see what we've got coming. We'll see you in the next one. Hanging outside a Rockwood Rue. That's the first time I've ever said it without stumbling over the R's and the W's. Good job. There are Rockwood a lot of those. Ro Rockwood Rue. At the Indian Hollow Campground. Yes. Uh, nice. You can see the outside. Nice awning. You got lighting under the awning. This place for your grill. Standard outside. Let's get inside. It's, it's chilly out it here. Is. Let's get inside and take a look at this thing. Room, holy moly! Look at the roo. So much room uh, for activities. Kangaroo. Maybe I should talk like this because it's the kangaroo, the, the rockwood roo. What's wrong with you? Uh, what are you doing? I'm not really Australian. Was that? I can't do accents. That's all right. Oh, that's. Look at this shrimp on the bobby. I don't. I'm awful. Your shirt can compensate. It's fine. Yeah, you know this does have a ton of space. Honestly, we've done a, a few roos and and we hadn't done one with a slide out yet. This creates a lot more room yeah wow i'm so used to having like a narrow space about this wide to get in here because you got your your uh, dining set clear out here mm. yeah you're right this adds a whole lot to this thing yeah and so if you're off the grid and you're using a lot of those features you still have a large space to live in yeah it's pretty wow. sweet this is this feels roomy for as small as this thing is yeah like when you fold up the the beds 
You know, this thing's a lot smaller than it is now. Yeah. It's almost twice the size when you put these beds on, I think. I get nervous sometimes with, with the fold-out beds like this, like we were talking about, because, you know, sometimes it's like, it's kind of like a tent. Is it going to be freezing outside? The cool thing is, is, if you come real close here, and I can show you a nice tight shot, there is a coil plug-in for a power adapter. So this bed is actually heated underneath you. So not only is it comfortable and roomy, but keep you warm at night, even on those cold nights when you're off the grid. So yeah. I, I like that part about it. Looks it looks like you have plenty of room in there. Yeah, I could, I could take a nap right now, really. Yeah, so could I. I. There's another one down here. I can take a nap now, too. Duncan? Oh, what are you looking at there? Fan. Yeah, we awesome. got this fan here. I like these because you get too hot, you can pop these open when they also have the rain cover too. So it starts to rain, it's not going to flood your vehicle even mm -hmm. if you left, forget to leave it open, which I forget to close it, which is what I do all the time. Yeah. But turn the fan on and then give me a piece of paper. Check this out. What Here's you paper. Watch this, ready? This is going to take your hot air right out the top. Ha! <laughs> ah, look at that! See? That was awesome. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Okay, one more time. One more time. <laughs> this guy. Boom. Hot air gone. Keeping it cool in here. So cool. That That's goes along with the AC unit that you got going on. And the kitchen, which is also cool. Get it? Cool? Yes, I get it. That was that was clever. It was awful. It's it was... okay though. Beautiful stove with the backsplash built in. Once again, just quality in the rockwood. Spacious enough for a nice DiGiorno. It's not delivery. Right. That's not a sponsor, by the way. What do you but got? if they want to send us free pizzas, we'll sure. take them. Well, yeah. Wink, wink. Magic Chef. Magic Chef. That one. Oh, over here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about microwave here. Yes. Ooh. Nice exhaust for when you're cooking on the Watch this. stove. Oh. Uh, not as cool. Not Dang as, it! Not as cool. Different kind of fan going on here. <laughs> Still good. But yeah, nice matching, matching appliances. Beautiful matte black finish. Classic, classic in the Rockwood room with quality. Let's sit in this dining Decent size, this dining free. area, which also becomes a bed, by the way. Oh, you get the free, uh, free uh, screw with it, right there. Uh, Phillips head. That nice. Comes, that maybe that What's that for? Right I don't know. Me neither. It was there. Oh, this. Oh, this is cool. Wow, the, I, I just, I'm just counter. finding this out. Look at this. Yeah. Pop this boy out. And put it to on the end of your counter, and you get some more space. I didn't lower it, but just to show you. Extra counter space right there built in. I did yeah. not. That's a surprise. That's pretty cool, right? Nice. Rockwood Rue. Lo loving it. Yeah. Say Rockwood Rue. Say Rockwood Rue five times fast. Rockwood Rue. Rockwood Rue. Rockwood Rue. Rockwood Rue. Rockwood Rue. Ew. That's the accent yeah. thing coming in. All right. Say red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red. Dang on it. I can't do. You ready? Oh, I'm not supposed to have this. Kind of gross, David. I know, okay, it's, it's ten yells at me. Okay. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. I can't do it. It's the same my life. That's all right. I've never been able to. We'll forgive you. comfortable than I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's talk nerdy things. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. I'm a, I'm a, a nerd herd conductor. Is That is true. So, Geek. we got over here our TV setup, which we're no, there's not a TV there right now, but you have the mount. You have it built in so that this can be a large size TV. You have connections for Bluetooth speakers on this little panel right here. You're looking at two zone Bluetooth speaker, DVD player, CD player, HDMI plug-in, so it goes right up underneath behind your TV to keep it nice and clean. All of your audio and video controls. Indoor, here. outdoor speakers. That's right, yep. You can do both at the same time or change it up. Also, the fire. fire you're, you're pyro, right? Yeah. Pyrotechnic? Yeah, I like fire. You like fire? Want to yeah. try to turn that on real quick? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Right there. Ooh, power button. Watch this. Ooh. Boom. Simple and as that. It's already, feel that. It's already warm. That was quick. Come here and feel this. Can you feel that? Look at the camera. 
That was stupid. But daggone, that feels good because it's a little. We mentioned earlier, it's a little chilly here. Yeah. That's nice. Also, that's that's part of the the wired for solar option here, right? So we get some of that electric, but since you're off the grid, that solar power option that can mm. also keep it warm, keep it cool, and like if you're running your fridge that's off the so grid good. too. So I just that's why I wanted to point point the sticker out a little bit. Wired for solar. So easy to start that fire. Yeah. If all fires are that, think easy we both to start. can fit in this bathroom. Ah, uh, I think so. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go shower. Yeah, real quick. You get in the shower. Ooh, my bad. That was my foot. Six feet tall. Plenty of room in the shower. Beautiful. Got a beautiful. Big sink in here. A pretty good sized sink. Place for your your um, toothbrushes, your cup, a little medicine cabinet. Place to hang your towel. Classic. Place to put extra towels. This probably, oh, there's a little place to store stuff. So, yeah, decent size. You got a corner toilet here so you can. Uh, so and that's the porcelain. Is it nice? Yeah, residential toilet style from Dubai. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah, it's good stuff. A couple hooks back here. You can't see them from where you are. A couple hooks to hang more stuff there. Nice. Maybe take your clothes in there so they don't get wet on the sink. And then another, another bed on this end, much like the one on that bed. If you'd like to see how this one works, rewind this video and watch what we talked about the, the bed down on that end. And that's it. That's the Rockwood Rue. You got more? Did you find something else? What I got one more thing. Okay, we got one, one more, thing. more thing for you. Look at this storage. Seems like a big pantry space. Nice. Get some hooks in there so things aren't sliding around on the bigger end. That's beautiful. Lots of space. Oh, wow. Look at that. You can take Good them stuff. out and yep. change it up. That's sweet, too. Boom. Any last thoughts on this? If you do have any questions, you get any questions about specifics, like length of this trailer, what it takes to haul it, um, how tall it is, what, what, where can you take it, what kind of parks can you take it to, is it national park safe? A lot of those questions, those are answered. We can answer those ones. In the chat, give us a call. Wherever you're having questions, just let us know. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. That's the best I've ever done it. I did not think I was going to be able to do it that good. But I have to bend my head back like this. You try it. I know probably some of you probably already tried it. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. You Come here, Tim. You got to try it. Come here, Tim. I can't go on until you try it now. All right, let's hear it. All right. I mean, like, uh, oh, you need a mic? man. Red leather, yellow leather, yeah, red, yellow leather, yellow leather. <laughs> that was awful. That was, that was awful. Uh, <laughs> you're being booed. All right, uh, real quick, if you're interested in RV and you want to price, uh, if you go to RV wholesalers, you'll notice that there's not a lot of prices on there, and there's a reason for that. Their prices are so low that they legally cannot, this is a true story, they legally cannot put the price on their website. So what you can do is you go to rvwholesalers.com, you'll see build your own up at the top. You click on that and it'll walk you through how to build your own RV. I did it, we shot a video for it. every once in a while we show that video, but it's so easy. All you have to do is click on that and start typing in what you want. It'll walk you through it. It'll ask for your phone number and then Within 30 seconds, they will send you a quote. And I've said this before, they won't bother you again because I did the same thing. I typed in what I wanted on an RV. I gave them my phone number. I got the quote. Never, they didn't spam me with anything. I didn't, they didn't keep getting hold of me. So if you want a quote on an RV, have fun. Go dream big. Build your own RV there at RVWholesalers.com. You will be happy you did that. Let's do a giveaway. I'm going to give away another Passport America. I kind of told you what that was earlier, but I'm going to show you a video. Check this out. So the folks at Passport America gave us some of these to give out today. We're going to give one away today. But how cool is that? 50% off of RV parks or like 14 
1,450 RV parks around the country. Uh, we're going to do a call in. So the first person to call in 937-649-5970. It's 937-649-5970. Uh, Wait till a call comes in. Waiting. 937-649-5970. There we go. It's our first caller. Take my earpiece out. Hello? Hello. Hi, who's this? Uh, this is Jeff. Hey, Jeff, guess what? You just won the Passport America. Wow. Yes, 50% off all the uh, state or the RV parks for you to uh, travel the U.S., Canada, Mexico, wherever you want to go. But it's yours. Wow. All right. Oh, that's great. Well, congratulations. Thank where are you, you, where you calling from? Uh, Pittsburgh. Nice. I'm a Steelers fan. Are you a Steelers fan? Yeah, oh, yeah. All right, Heck sweet. Yeah. I'm, I'm out in Columbus, Ohio, but still a big Steelers fan. So uh, good talking to you. I'm glad a Steelers fan won. How about that? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All I, right. I appreciate it. Yeah, not a problem. Congratulations. I'm going to hand you off to Tim here in a couple minutes or a couple seconds, and uh, he will get your information from you. All right? All right. All right. Yeah, congratulations. Thanks. thanks for watching. All right. You All right. Too. Thanks. All righty. All right, so there you go. Another giveaway, another winner. Uh, let's get back into an RV. I think we... Oh no! You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about surge protectors. We we give those away every once in a while, and we do flash sales. But I just want you to tell you I just want to tell you what they're about. So check this check this out. Hey guys, David McCrary hanging out here at Indian Hollow Campground with a couple surge protectors. You've got valuable stuff in your RV, stuff that you don't want to explode or get ruined by a surge, and that's exactly what these are for. We for we got the 30 amp and the 50 amp. You need to get one of these. Everybody should have one of these for their RV. You should definitely have one if your name is Surge and you're prone to being hit and stuff, get one of these. These will protect you. So all the Surges out, that's stupid. Why would I say that? Let's just do a flash down and get rid of these. I'm ashamed of myself right now. Travel season is in high gear, and many of you are setting off on camping adventures and road trips. Now you can stay connected with the shows you love with Dish Outdoors. Watch live HD TV anywhere your adventure takes you without Wi-Fi. Best of all, it's easy to use. All you need is a portable satellite antenna like the Dish Tailgater Pro and a receiver from Dish Outdoors. Setup only takes a few minutes, and with pay-as-you-go programming, you only pay for the months you use. Hi, I'm Debbie Dunning, and whether I'm filming on location or just camping with my kids, all I need is the Dish Tailgater Pro and the Waller Receiver. You just plug it in and you have your favorite shows within minutes. It's that easy and no tools required. Before you head out on your next road trip, be sure to get Dish Outdoors and watch all your favorite RFD TV and Cowboy Channel shows wherever your travels take you. All right, so my golf game, yeah. I realized that if I keep this elbow in, right. I hit the ball much better. And I, what I realized is that if I keep, if I treat my golf swing like skipping a rock, look at yeah, that, that, that was pretty good. good. That was actually, yeah, that was, yeah, that that was, was straighter good. than any golf shot I ever Yeah, hit. I've never seen a, uh, 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 like a really young girl throw farther. That was really awesome. <laughs> he is adorable. He did very well. <laughs> Hold that, on, I got to laugh through this. That one. actually was a good one. Uh, all right, so we are Indian Hollow Campground, uh, right next to Indian Lake, right next to RVW over there. But let's talk about something that a lot of people get taken advantage with, of with, taken advantage of with. Yes. Hidden fees. Hidden fees. Hidden fees are awful. They are. It's, it's, it's probably the thing that embarrasses me most about this industry. Uh, lack of service is right up there, but uh, hidden fees is terrible. You know, we're seeing... Right now, the most egregious one we've ever seen, right? You, uh, um, you sign your contract... On your contract, in really, really, really fine print, is a new loophole that dealers are, are putting on all contracts. We don't know of any dealer other than us not doing this, if you okay. can believe that. Wow. Um, and it says that if the factory raises the price on the unit, why it's on order, because everybody's ordering right now, because mm -hmm. there's, there's no inventory, uh, they can raise your price. 
So what they're doing is you'll get a phone call, you'll get an email that says, you know, Mr. McCreary or the RV you, you ordered just went up $700 uh, at the factory. Do you want to pay the $700 or do you want to uh, give up your deposit and have your order canceled? Yeah. Uh, wow. The problem is most customers are paying four or five of those, you know, so that's that's the biggest hidden fee right now. Okay. Uh, number one way to protect yourself, make the dealer put in writing that your price will not change. They're going to price protect your unit. That's mm -hmm. what we do. If they won't put it in writing, don't buy there because your, your unit's going up potentially thousands of dollars wow. over the course of the time it's going to take to build. Uh, other ones, we had, we saw a tire fee one time in Florida. You told me about this. this yeah. Is, this is stupid. This one's crazy. A dealer charged 3200 3600 I don't remember. Told the customer it was a tire fee uh, for bringing the unit from Indiana at the factory down to Florida. It needed new tires. Uh, that you means know. every time you went on a trip anywhere, you would, need you would have to yeah, get exactly, new tires. Exactly. That's... Yeah, it'd be like driving a Tesla. Yeah. you got to replace those tires all the time. Right. Yeah, oh, you, you do, really? Yeah, you do. It's a very oh, interesting thing to find out. Uh, you know, the other one that, that's that's very, very common is a PDI fee. PDI is pre-delivery inspection. That's where the dealer is supposed to check the whole unit, uh -huh. all the systems, clean it, you know, inside and out. Uh, we're seeing a, there's a big national chain. I won't mention their name because they don't deserve it, but... Um, they're charging anywhere from twelve hundred to seventeen hundred dollars for that PDI fee. We had a customer that was going to go buy from them uh -huh. because we couldn't get one. The the one they had in stock was nine thousand dollars more. Uh -huh. Called a price gouge. Right. What else could it be? Uh, they got there. They wanted thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars for the PDI. Then they went to do their walkthrough and they wanted nineteen hundred dollars to just do a to walk through. through the RV. Yeah, to show them how to use the RV. You know, which again, we don't charge for PDI. We don't charge for walkthroughs. You know, how do you protect yourself? Simple. Get your price, get everything in writing, have them put a little paragraph on there that if they change your price even one dollar, you get your deposit back, you can walk away. It's the only way to protect yourself right now. That's good. That's good. Good advice. More good advice being spit from the mouth of David Durnell. That was a weird way did to I say it. Did I spit on you? Nah. I, I apologize I, if I, I did. Maybe. A little. Sorry. I'm still cold from falling in the water earlier. I understand. So. Yeah. All right. Let's get back into the... says, say good blood, bad blood five times fast. Here we go. Good blood, bad blood, good blood, bad, good blood, bad blood, good blood, bad blood, good blood, bad blood, good blood, bad good blood, bad blood, good blood, bad blood, good blood, bad blood. It's going to drive me crazy. I can't. One more time. Good blood, bad blood, good blood. No, forget it. I will say that though the whole way home tonight. I'll be saying that over and over in my head. Uh, it's that is B Sanchez challenged me that uh, yeah you win I lost uh, we got a lot of people upset at least one person Angela upset about Steelers uh, too bad she must hate winners uh, and then, uh, S Garza this is what I really got on for we had an RV on order in early March from a local Rockwood dealer and they got bought out and the new owner canceled our order because they did not want to honor the price we agreed on. We turned around and ordered our RV from RVW at a much better price with delivery to our house. Again, if you're just tuning in, uh, we are price protecting. If you buy an RV today, for example, if you buy an RV today and it's $20,000, when you sign that at $20,000, that's the price your RV is going to be when it's delivered. If, you, if it's not here now, that's the price it'll be three months down the road, two months down the road when you get it. The price isn't going to go up even if the manufacturer raises the price. No other place is doing that right now. In their contracts, they have a spot where it's saying this price is subject, subject to change with manufacturer increase. So if you want an RV, now's the day to buy because there are price increases coming. Buy today. Get the RV of your dreams at the price you're dreaming of. Do that today. Uh, Let's, we're going to talk about the nation, nationwide service network. I don't think we've really hit that yet today. So that is, across the United States, over 2,900 service centers where uh, if you're out on vacation, you got your RV and you're away from home, let's say you're 500 miles from your house and something goes wrong. We've got service centers near you that we have run through to make sure they are reputable that we can get to you as quickly as possible. So maybe 20 minutes down the road, maybe, maybe if you're way out, maybe an hour down the road, but that's so much better to take care of your RV while you're on vacation as opposed to having an awful vacation and then coming home or having to cut your RV, uh, your RV vacation short because of problems you're having. 
Dave Durnell often talks about a family that went from, I believe, New Jersey area down to Florida. They were going to camp at the RV Wilderness Campground. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Fort Wilderness is what it is. And they, um, they had some problems. The, the air conditioner was leaking. They were having some problems with that. They got hold of David. David got hold of the people nearby. Within 20 minutes, there was somebody there. All it was were a couple screws had come loose during the travel from New Jersey to Florida. They fixed it and things were fixed. This guy was afraid that he was going to have to pay for a hotel, which in Disney is expensive, especially when you didn't plan on it and you had a place to stay. It was going to ruin vacation for him. And because of the nationwide service network, it was taken care of. So just, uh, I, I mention all the time that not only do you buy an RV from wholesaler, you get your RV, but you also get peace of mind. They will take care of you. There's a concierge number you call and say, hey, I've got a problem, and they get you taken care of. So if you have more inform or more questions about that, go to RVWholesalers.com. Just zip around a little bit. Learn about these guys. They are good, good people around here. You do that, and I'm going to go walk through a uh, BT Cruiser Class C. Let's talk about this. BT Cruiser, 2021, 5245. Um, a little bit about BT Cruiser. I mean, it's one of our top selling motorhomes. Um, they use, they, they've got the new 73 uh, gas uh, V8 engines. Uh -huh. uh, that's out for at Ford. Um, I actually just just got a truck. I get the same exact engine for my truck. That's how how confident I am in it. For so, yeah. Um, I think think it's going to be. A, it's it definitely has a ton of horsepower. Um, and it's easy to work on, and you shouldn't have many problems at all. So certainly, just engine-wise, it's great. Um, a little bit about the exterior. Um, as you can see, you're going to have a power awning, LED light strip, um, water heater. You've also got your furnace, and then you've got storage underneath as well. For, so for a compact motorhome, you get a ton of space. I think that's really why it's so, they're so popular, because uh -huh. it's, it's not like that you're restricted or you feel like you're driving a big bus. Right. So. Right. You know, I, I tell folks on this show, there for a while, 15, 20 years ago, I drove a big truck for FedEx, and it was really not difficult to learn how to drive such a big vehicle. I mean, mm -hmm. a, a week, and I, I was zipping around like it was you know, this big. So driving something like this, you get used to And that, that was before we had, like, backing cameras and cameras, side cameras and all that. I don't know if this one has that now, but... Um, well, and this yeah. is like driving driving a van almost. Right. You right. know what I mean? It's not it's not that majorly different from. And that's why the, these these B pluses. That I mean, the the smaller ones like this is that, that's why they're so popular. Yeah. So, okay. um, as you can see, when you come out up front here a little bit, you don't have a big cab hanging over top of you. All right. right. So there's no no bed up top there. It's going to be like an entertainment center there. Uh -huh. So you know that's that's a plus, or you don't have a big old shade coming over top of you and everything else. You don't feel so. Um, you know, confined. Confined. Yeah. Ex exactly. Exactly. Awesome. Let's uh, let's head in and check out the coolest part. What is what is this thing? What is this? I don't even know what this thing. Is. Come on, <laughs> get in here. Hey Tim, there you go. All right. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, this is man. This is it's crazy how roomy this is. Well, what's Obviously, cool the is slide helps. Theater seating. You got one slide out, right? Mm -hmm. You've got your bed, so it's a big open concept, right? So you've got. You know, you're hanging out. You got plenty of room in here. You got your front seats, um, stainless steel sink, the nicer cabinets. I mean, for compact motorhome, it's just it's excellent. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not. It's on one level. You pretty got, much until you get to the front. There's your table. Yep, little table that'll go in there. So it's under here. Does that no, not lift? No, no, that doesn't lift because this is all in one slide. Oh yeah. Okay. okay so that whole I thing just threw my back in. out trying to lift that. I just pretty much lifted the whole. RV from inside. That's impressive. Um, you want to show them the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah, the bathroom's really cool in this model too. All right. So uh, plenty of room in there, don't you? Plenty, yep. And you because got the skylight helps out immensely here. Toilets on an angle, so you got plenty of leg room. Uh huh. And then right. uh, you got the sink here in the corner. Yeah, it's hard to get corner. everybody in there to see all that, but yeah. Yeah, this. It's nice. So right it's all from, in one one location. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't have to go out here to use the sink. It's already got that in there as well. This is what I was talking to you about, you know, being the, uh, basically I call it cab over, uh -huh. you know. So you've got, you put your TV, 
plug right in, you mount, mount right there, plug mm -hmm. right in. And what a lot of people do is they'll put it on a swing arm right, so, so you, you can swing it out, it out yeah. and then, you, then you, and you're directly across from everything as far as where you're sitting and everything right. too. So. That makes sense. Um, good head clearance in here. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm 6'5", so you got 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, as far as head clearance goes. Um, all full duct, um, fully ducted AC, furnace is ducted throughout as well. Um, I like the countertops they use too. You know, it's like a nicer, you know. Yeah, it does. It's, tex round, it's rounded, textured. It feels. Yeah. Yeah. Like for Micah, we're bounded over. We had somebody ask about the bed if it's if it's usable during boondocking. Um, if it's usable during boondocking, I mean, I mean just, that, absolutely. I'm assuming if it's just if the slides. I mean, if the slides in, they're not. Um, I think it folds up a little bit. Uh, let me look at that real quick okay. here, and then I can tell you 100%. <clears throat> While you're doing that, is there an option uh, for an over-the-cab bunk if you want it on this thing? I think no, Donna yeah, you, it'll, it'll have enough room to uh, to lay down in there. Okay. When you're, um, cut, well, it'll slide up some, so you'll okay. have a, you won't have the full full length just because it's got to come in um, because that, the uh, cushions will slide up some a little bit. Gotcha. You can still lay down in it, but you're not going to have your full length okay. of, of the uh, bed and quite doing that as well so now do you know if they can get the option to have a bed over this on on this uh model i believe I, I, well i'd have to look at it some okay. some of the manufacturers you can some of them you can't um i think the way that the b2 cruisers are is there's no bed that's what that's why you know it's uh, okay it, there's no bed over top you got to go up to something a little bit bigger to get gotcha. to that so that's okay. i think they're a little niche i believe that's how it is but um i can look that up when i get to my desk and tell you 100 percent okay. i think different models do different certain things cool. okay and the cool thing is if they want to talk to you about it they can call you you want to give them your number real quick? yeah just call me at 937-843-4380 and then uh, either myself or, or i've got um, three other teammates that we work together so we'll be able to answer your questions if we don't know an answer We'll always find out an answer. Um, we're always honest up front. Um, I'm not going to just tell you one thing. I, I want to make sure we got you exactly what you want. Yeah. So, uh, to give you a little information real quick about um, this, this is a 2021 BT Cruiser. It's a 5245B as in Bravo. Um, with the sale today that we've got run until 10 o'clock tonight, um, it's on sale for 73,760. Okay, and then you've got an estimated payment depending on credit. It's going to be right around 471. Mm -hmm. So. You know, that's an excellent. You're you're only 24 foot five inches in total length. Um, it's got one slide, and you can sleep. You know, up to three three people in here as well. So just to give you some general information on the model pricing and everything else, yeah. is, it's a great deal. So yeah, awesome. Um, uh, Tim, there was another question. Tim was telling me while I was listening to you. Um, uh, he's forgotten what it is. <laughs> I totally forget. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you if you want more information, I know what it was. Uh, did you give them your extension? Oh, well, that phone number will ring directly to my, okay. to my desk. Okay. So make Very it easy cool. for you. All right. So there you go. The uh, BT Cruiser, Touring Cruiser. What is it called? BT? BT Cruiser, BT Cruiser. 5245B. Yeah. This is what Tim and I took a few episodes back that uh, we took it to Nashville, and it's just awesome. It's just awesome to drive around in. This is perfect. I'd love to... Uh, Enough for, for one for me and my wife. This would be this would be nice. Well, what's cool about motorhomes are is you you, you can still sit back here and stuff while you're going down the road. Yeah. So it's just great if you got a group of people going somewhere. What's better than to use than this? You yeah. know what I mean? It's a great great time. Do we know how big the bed bed is? Oh, the bed. Uh, it's like a queen size, maybe. Yeah, queen. It's a, definitely a queen. It's not a king. So. Right. And maybe a little bit shorter. Um, it's probably a six, 60 by seventy four. Mm -hmm. I would guess. Maybe a true queen sixty by eighty. Um, again, I would just have to get the print and be able to tell you exact exact measurements, or we'll put the tape on it. So. Okay. Cool. All right. We got a, another question from Angela. Are you able? Are you able to uh, switch out these for like stainless steel or like black appliances? For a stainless steel? They don't have an option to change anything on appliances. This is stainless steel sink, okay? okay. Um, they don't have an option, though, to go with black or whatever. Gotcha. Basically, the way it works is your appliances and everything, it is what it is. So they don't have options to go to okay. one different color appliance or the other, unfortunately. All right, cool. All right, well, thank you. We're going to get on to the uh, next thing. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Just watching myself on the RVW YouTube channel. You need to subscribe because we've got all kinds of really good information on there. Walkthroughs, uh, webinars, virtual RV shows. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be happy you did.
So you find yourself at a campground. One of the best things about camping is the food. I love camping around a fire or over a grill. If you go to rvwholesalers.com slash parts, you get to their parts department. All kinds of stuff there, obviously, for your RV. But they also have a bunch of these cookbooks, a, a plethora, if you will, of cookbooks. This just happens to be one of them. On um, page 20, though, look, creamy oatmeal apples. You want to know how to make these? Well, you can buy the book or you can watch this video. I'll show you how to do that right now. hanging out in the pool got my laptop so i can get some work done tim told me it'd be dangerous because of the electricity thing but look i got a little floaty here as long as this thing doesn't fall into the water uh i should be fine hey guys tim richardson here hanging out with susan from the state of washington so they drove what how many miles to get here? Uh, about 2,500 and then because the whole round trip is 5,000. And who's this with you? This is our dog Patches. <laughs> so Patches, uh, Patches is what, four and a half months? Yes. Getting ready to go camping. How yes. exciting. So, so why did you, is this your first Rockwood or? No, this is our second. We had one five years. We have kids that live in Alaska and so uh, let me tell you, the roads are really rough. We needed something good. And so um, the other one was, um, didn't have a bedroom. We wanted one and we sold the other one after five years for more than what we paid for, it, which was awesome because they're great. good quality. And so here we are ready to pick up our second one. Well, congratulations. Yes. Enjoy your, uh, your dog's new home. Patches yes, will love absolutely. It. We will enjoy it. <laughs> and we're going to get home in June and go back to Alaska again. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so you put them to use. <laughs> yes, we do. We do. We love the Rockwoods. That's awesome. Well, thanks for uh, hanging out with us. Glad uh, you get to be a part of our virtual RV show. And, All right. Uh, have a good trip back. Thanks so much. All right. Take uh, care. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>
wanna see your brown skin shimmer in the sun for the first time. I gotta be the one who knows just what to do to you. Swift bringing it home. Listen, we got still a bunch of good stuff coming up. I know a lot of you are out there watching, waiting for the RV of your dreams. Coming up this hour, we've got a Heritage Glen Hyperlight. I've got a Puma Park model and a Solaire Ultralight all coming up. Looks like we may do another giveaway very soon. So you are in the right place. Let's get back to it. <laughs> This is our Hyperlite product. This is a 25 RBHL floor plan. Um, this is one of our top selling Hyperlite floor plans. Um, a lot of features in, in a smaller, lighter weight unit. Uh -huh. um, you know, designed primarily for a, for a, a like a, we call it a couples type coach. Right. But there's also extra sleeping in there. Um, you know, if, if the grandkids wanted to come along or, or things like that. Cool. A lot of cool features in this. Um, just like in our bigger travel trailers that we were in earlier. You've got the big full pass-through storage area. One of the things that we do is we do the big doors on both sides so that you can utilize that storage area better. We also do the slam baggage doors, yeah. and they're the magnetic baggage doors as well. Um, one of the big things, too, that we talked about feature earlier today is that this one has the option on it where it's got the 50-watt the solar panel on the roof um, with a 30-amp controller, um, and then you can... You can go up to 500 watts after market with, with cool. solar panels um, awesome. on the roof. Fully Big awning. Huge Sorry, awning. I was looking up at the, no, yeah, the roof. Huge yeah. awning area, huge campsite area. 
great place to use this this little camp kitchen, which has, is going to have your your mini reefer, and then it's also going to have that that pull out griddle here, so you can mm -hmm. cook your burgers or eggs or things like that. Awesome, love it. And it's an extended season camper as well, so you can. It's got a fully sealed underbelly, um, heated heated underbelly as well. Plus, we do the twelve volt tank heaters, which is a is unusual on this in this type of travel okay. trailer. So definitely extended season travel trailer. Awesome. All right, and jump inside here. This has the, our flip down aluminum steps. It's got the fixed legs of ground, so it's going to be a lot more stable step. Also, you have a 30 inch entry door here, which is going to give you a wider entry door for carrying things in and out of the unit as well. And Plus, we, we mention these all the time, but they are really nice. You feel safe climbing up. Those, oh, absolutely. Uh, these it's RVs. a lot more stable step. It's fixed to the ground. You can adjust it yeah. as well. And then we do the, the upgraded swing out entry door handle as well. Right. So it makes it easy to get in and out of the unit. Awesome. What a big old bathroom. Holy huge moly. bathroom. Yeah, huge bathroom. Um, porcelain toilet in there. Um, nice big shower. You've got an open window in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Also, one of the big things that we do that make th I think makes this coach feel a lot more wide open. You have the big doorways. Yeah. So it makes this whole, you know, this is a smaller unit, but it makes it feel a lot more wide open. It really does. Also, in this unit too, like in the other one, all of your windows are going to open for cross ventilation. I think that's one of the uh, big features. A lot of other travel trailers you're going to see like this, they'll do stationary windows on the ends of the slides or they'll do stationary windows across. All of your windows are going to open for cross ventilation. You've got upgraded balances and Lamborghinis. Also, you've got pull-down roller shades in this product as well. Nice. Yeah. This is all, it's so, so roomy for a smaller a smaller RV. Great directional viewing to the 40-inch TV. Yep. And like I said, um, in, in the other unit too, you have a 32-inch fireplace. One of the big things that, that I like to talk about too in this unit, you can see that we've taken these heat ducts out of the floor and we put them on the side. Yeah. So you have the side-mounted yeah. heat ducts versus the floor-mounted heat ducts. You don't get the dust, the dirt, the debris. If a customer has pets, pet hair going into those floor-mounted heat ducts. Love it. Um, we talked about earlier the 10.7 cubic foot 12-volt fridge. You got you know great refrigerator capacity in this unit. It's going to do a great job of keeping things cool. Uh -huh. Furion appliance package. One of the things that we do too is you have the pull out pots and pans drawer, which is going to give you that extra storage in your kitchen area as well. And it's sharp look makes it makes the stove sharp looking. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Great bedroom area too. <laughs> the the choice of stand out there. The choice of blanket and the background made it look like the bed went on forever <laughs> absolutely <laughs> it's kind no, of an optical illusion know, I'm, a, I'm a big guy and it's a full walk around bed easy to easy to maneuver around in the bedroom area um you've got outlets with usb ports on either side of the bed uh -huh. you got a place to put for customers got a cpap machine or things like that you've got that storage area up in front by the bed yeah great ac ducts into the bedroom also heat ducts into the bedroom as well it's nice storage under the bed. Storage underneath the bed. I say that. I ask that all the time, and most of the time it's yes, yes. There is. This floor plan is also going to have the countertop extension, so okay. you have more countertop space. Great. And I really do like this big, it's a big doorway. It does make it feel a lot more open. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And this one here, it, can, it comes with a booth dinette, but you can also get this floor plan with a freestanding table and chairs as well. Okay. Perfect. Hey guys, if you're tuning in right now, today we are both at uh, RV Wholesalers and we are here at Indian Hollow Campground. This is a nice place, just right across the street from RV Wholesalers in Lakeview, Ohio. It's cool, there's a little buzz going on here because people are starting to show up for camping this summer. We got people out here, I don't know if you can hear mowing in the background, it's just a good sound to hear people mowing and getting back at it. So uh, I just wanna let you know where we are. This is where we are. Come on out to Lakeview, visit RV Wholesalers, and then stay over here at Indian Hollow. Let's get back to the show. Hey guys, listen, I am about 40 feet under RV Wholesalers. If you listen closely, you can hear them up there. This is the prize vault. Give me a couple minutes. I'm gonna pick something out for one of you. Who will it be? We'll find out next. I'll meet you at the giveaway. I pulled a $500 off delivery out of the prize vault. So congratulations to the person that wins it. We don't know who that is yet, or it's going to be a texter this time. Let's see the <laughs> people are calling. We're going to text 833-717-0327. You're going to text the word WIN, 
We're going to take the fifth texter, fifth person to text the word win to that number, 833-717-0327, wins $500 off of their delivery fee. That's a good chunk of change. What, what, uh, yeah, this is, this is, what, what'd you say about registered? Yeah, if you're asking why to register, that's because if you're texting and calling, uh, our, we, we go with the registered folks. So, Tim, um, what if they live in Ohio and there's $500 off? They already get free delivery. $500 off the price of the RV. So either way, you're saving $500 if you are the fifth person to text the word WIN to 833-717-0327. We are waiting for that person to text. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. I, every once in a while, when I get a chance, I look through that kid again on that skateboard. Punk, probably just a punk kid. Uh, I'm kidding. It's actually Tim's kid. Uh, so, yeah, if you're, if you're out there, I, I keep checking chats. Absolutely love the fact that you guys are involved and you're watching and you're chatting and you're letting us know uh, what you're thinking about, asking you questions, asking us uh, uh, just uh, just being involved. We love it. So do we have that fifth person yet? Still We're still waiting for the fifth person? Okay. Fifth person that will be coming through. Somebody just texted me. Was that? That's, nope. I was thinking maybe somebody's trying to get hold of me to, to win. Uh, if you go to YouTube, the RVW Wholesalers YouTube channel, you can subscribe there. That way you will let us, you will be known. You will, we will let you know when we are uh, walking through a new RV or when webinars are coming up. We keep you updated on a bunch of information you need to know. We do have a winner. Jim Turner, congratulations. You got $500 off your RV or $500 off your delivery fee. So uh, congratulations. He registered. Jim Turner registered, and he just won. So thank you very much. There, look at him. Look at that kid. Ah, oh, he's showing off. He knows you're watching. All right. Uh, let's get back to some RVs. Congratulations, Jim. Jim. through this Puma Park model. Absolutely. So um, this is going to be a Palomino uh, product. Um, Palomino is still a subsidy of Forest River, but nonetheless, they're kind of their own separate uh, branch of Forest River, per se. Um, this is going to be one of the park models. Not really meant to be moved around much. Uh, really, it's meant to go to one spot. It's going to stay there. It's not really going to move much. So that's essentially what the park model is given. Uh, also, you'll notice this thing is like crazy tall compared to these other travel trailers that we've been showing. Um, not very aerodynamic. Again, it's meant to go to one place, pretty much sit there. Um, you can move it from time to time if you need to. You move your campsites or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I got a lady right now that they were looking at buying a park model for their property, and then once they built their house, they were going to go put it on a, uh, like a campsite, and they were asking, you know, can we do that? And the answer is absolutely. Yeah. You can definitely do that. Um, not going to be idea. an issue to do something along those lines. So cool. um, very easy and simple to do on that. Uh, outside on this particular one, again, you still get your one-touch power awning, LED light strip over top, and as well as your two outside speakers, and then finally, uh, your glass shower door. Now, on this particular unit, it doesn't have the outside shower, but that is something, or the outside um, entertainment, but on some of these park models, you can get that outside entertainment, so you just got to watch out for that. You getting a call? I butt, dialed my, I butt FaceTimed my wife. She said hi? She was saying hello? Hello? I heard her talking <laughs> in my pocket. She found me. Where is she? Um, Let's go inside. All right. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, so this particular unit, again, is the 38DEN. Um, it's basically the den unit. Um, back here, you've got all of your additional sleeping spots and things along those lines. That was my wife, too, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> They're both trying to they find us. know this. exactly where we're at. <laughs> Um, you can put your TV up here, fireplace underneath. Both of these guys are going to fold out and do uh, tri-fold couches. Uh, we do have recliners here as well as... She's calling me. I'm going to tell her I'm on the phone. Plenty of additional storage. I'm on the phone. Hey, I'm on, live on... The, hey, I'm live on the and thing. More storage I here. You. Hello? I, I don't know. I'm live <laughs> on television. <laughs> oh, good grief. <laughs> She's like, why can't I hear you? I don't know what's going on. Please. Hun, she's in her car driving. 
So I can't tell what you're not watching right now. I dig this. This four. No, this is a real nice setup. They do have this setup in travel trailers as well as fifth wheels too. Um, so if you do like this floor plan, obviously things would be more condensed. Drop down ceiling just a little bit more. Um, but obviously this floor plan, this layout, you can find in other travel trailers and fifth wheels so that you can actually pull around and actually move in. So a lot yeah. of cool options there. Yeah, this is this is sweet. I dig this a lot. Absolutely. And now this particular one's got the bar stools that swing out. Some of them have chairs. Some of them have bar stools. Some of them have different aspects of it. But those are, um, those are sweet. Nonetheless, got a bunch of different options in terms of that. Big 20 cubic foot residential refrigerator in this. As well as the gray stone residential cooktop and oven, Did as well. Already? I was yeah, I already showed that on while you're the on the phone. My wife calling me while I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> Big deep farm sink, as well as a residential sprayer. Spray all your stuff. Um, cabinet storage overhead. Open these guys up. Ugh. So plenty of storage overhead as well. Storage underneath too. Swinging back into the back side here. I'll let you guys kind of open into their walk into the shower there and I'll yep. get out of your way. Whoa, I got caught on the cable, got caught. Plenty of room in this one, also. Not needing a, you don't need a uh, skylight. skylight or anything like that. Yeah, this is it's plenty of you room. You got again. storage right behind you there by the, uh, by the shower backing there. Um, for your towels and oh, assortments and things like that. Yep. Storage underneath the sink as well, as well as a mirror there too. So cool features there. And then we swing into the master bedroom. All right. Again, uh, king bed. This is the bedroom side. You'll see you got plenty of room in here. Again, it's a park mm -hmm. model, right? Plenty of storage on this back side here with hanging storage and multiple ways to get into said hanging storage option. You got cool little designs back here for your um, for your cell phones or whatever might sit up there. Midnight drink, whatever it's gonna be for that time. And then finally, washer and dryer. Boom. So that's essentially where your washer and dryer would go. These are an option. Don't come standard with the uh, with the uh, unit. So just make sure that obviously on any of these campers that we check our options. Make sure we're getting exactly what we want. Okay. Because uh, that's obviously extremely important. So. That's the that's the unit, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's pretty cut and dry. You got a door right into the uh, right into the bedroom here, so that way uh -huh. you don't have to go through the rest of the coach, in and out. If you do have extra people sleeping in there or anything like that, so. And what is the total on this? Up. Total on this guy, you are going to be looking at thirty four two ninety seven. Okay. With a payment around two hundred and fifty eight dollars a month. Nice. And again, I love this layout. You could get yourself into this Puma, this this Palomino, this. Guys, can Mary see inside the oven? And yeah. see the cooktop one more Absolutely. time, please. So there's inside the oven, lots of space in there. Absolutely. Like I said, it is going to be a residential style oven uh, on the inside. So um, when they say you can Four, cook the uh, uh, chicken dinner in there or the uh, turkey dinner, yeah. um, you can definitely do that as well as the cooktop up there. Absolutely. So residential style completely. <laughs> That was that was not great, but it skipped very a couple. Powerful. Yeah. yeah, I can do better. These these rocks. We don't have many good skip rocks. If you guys were here, you could see that, that. Was it went all one. the way across the pond. It was beautiful. Yeah. It was Hit gorgeous. that kid over there right in the face. Are we even <laughs> now? Yeah. All right. Thank yeah. You. All right. So if we've got a lot of RVs here, if one of these folks wanted to trade in or upgrade to a new RV, what should they do with their current RV? What's the best plan of action? As much as I'd like to have their trade, they should not trade in their RV. Okay. Um, you know, the, the best thing for people to do is take your RV, put it on uh, Facebook Marketplace, RVTrader.com um, is another great one. Uh, Craigslist is another great one. You know, protect yourself. Uh, there's a lot of scams on on the Internet, of course. Like, for one, if someone says, if you're selling your RV for 20000 they say, I'm going to send you a check for 25000 Can you write me a check for the remainder? No, I can't. Right. <laughs> That's a scam. <laughs> but the reason I'm saying this is, Used trailers are going above retail right now, right? So, you know, here's here's the most you should be able to sell that trailer for. They're going above that. Okay. In some cases, people are putting them for sale, and they're getting four or five phone calls, and, and people start bidding against each mm -hmm. other, you know, for the, for the RV. So now's not the time to trade it in. 
you know, and, and uh, occasionally someone will say, well, if I trade it in, I save a little bit on taxes. You're going to make so much more selling it yourself. You're going to save a ton of money on interest because you're going to make so much more money on yours, put all that down on the new one. You see what I mean? Yeah. But you really don't want to trade in right now. So where do they start? Facebook Marketplace? They... Yeah, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, RVTrader.com is a great one. Okay. You know, both. You throw a couple pictures, a uh, description, and I, you know, mo I think both of them allow you to put the price, too. Okay. Cool. And what most people do is invent a new email just for that so uh -huh. they can get rid of it so they don't get scammed later, that sort right. of thing. You know. Okay. But that's the best thing to do right okay, now. Sell it yourself. Yeah. Sell it yourself and then come up to RV wholesalers or check out, uh, keep watching right here, the virtual yeah. RV show, and find out what your next RV is. And for the people that don't want to, you know, we, occasionally someone says, I don't want to mess with it, I don't want any hassle, uh -huh. we'll, we'll take the trade. Cool. Awesome. Hey, when we talk, could you, could you look at me and then look up just a little bit? Yeah. There, now I can see my reflection. I, oh, really? This is the best you've ever looked. Thank you. <laughs> Very much. We're we'll getting back to RV uh, walkthroughs. <laughs> Let's do that now. For more than 70 years, the original Equalizer Sway Control Hitch has made towing a trailer safer and put the fun back into towing. Four things make the Equalizer Hitch better than any other Sway Control Hitch on the market. First, a four-point integrated Sway Control System that keeps you and your family safer in hazardous towing conditions, like poor weather, winding roads, and passing semi-trucks. Second, an excellent weight distribution system, which provides better steering and braking control while reducing wear on your tow vehicle. Third, the equalizer hitch is easy to adjust and to use. Hitching and unhitching take seconds and can be done from any angle, eliminating the stress and frustration associated with other hitch systems. Fourth, quality construction, made in the USA from the best American steel with a lifetime warranty. The Equalizer Hitch's integrated four-point sway control combines these things to create the best performing sway control hitch on the road. Its performance and safety are so good that it has been voted the number one sway control hitch in America, year after year, by thousands of trailer owners all over the country. Visit EqualizerHitch.com to find a dealer near you and ask for the original Equalizer Sway Control Hitch to get the best protection for your journey. So notice there's no P in the pool. No, seriously, the sign back there. There's no P in the word pool. David Drunell would like to keep it that way. Also, notice there's no P in price protection. It's because nobody's doing it. Almost nobody. Here's the deal. Right now, a lot of manufacturers are having to raise their prices because the prices of supplies are being raised. It's getting more expensive to build RVs. If you buy an RV, especially ordered RV, by the time you get it a month or two later, there's a good chance you're going to pay more for that RV than what you intended because the price will rise in those two months. That doesn't happen at RVW. At RV wholesalers, the price you sign on the dotted line is the price you pay when it's delivered two months later. So, just another way RV wholesalers is the dealership to go with for your next RV. So uh, the Solaire by Palomino. Yep. So just walk through the 38 DEN by Palomino. Um, this one's going to be their Solaire line. Uh, one of their top lines in the Palomino, uh, the Palomino campus or whatever you want to call them, the uh -huh. manufacturer, I guess you can call them. Um, in terms of travel trailers and things like that, they're compared to a lot of the other uh, top, top guys out there in terms of their size, um, their quality on the inside, all that good stuff. Um, these guys actually are using a high gloss uh, fiberglass exterior, um, so you do get a little bit more shine, um, a little bit cleaner looking going down the road. You get the shimmering off the light, off the water, whatever you want to call it, but mm -hmm. definitely a cooler look on the outside for Solaire with, the, uh, um, with that high gloss uh, exterior on there. Obviously, we still got the two exterior speakers as well as the TV hookup. You'll notice on this awning, though, guys, things are a little bit different. Normally, we have the LED down. light strip yeah. right up underneath here. Um, Solaire said, hey, why are we uh, shining light on our camper when you guys need it to be out here? 
So we have the lights actually up on the end of the arm, so that way you know, when it's out, you guys actually have light um, down here instead and of up against the. It's, oh yeah, it's light in here, and even looking at it is. is yeah, perfect. no, it's definitely a, a like bright. I look light. at it and then go like this. I see. I see the light bar right there. It's I think right that there. was some poor choices back in your past that are making yeah, you see light be. bars. <laughs> that could be. That could be. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, obviously, guys, um, got a lot of cool features uh, on the inside of this uh, camper. Um, but that being said, just to run through this real quick, uh, dry weight, we're looking at 4,300 pounds. This one's 23 foot, 4 inches, 8 foot wide, one slide. Um, and you're going to be sleeping about four on the inside of this guy. It says okay. seven, but there's no way you're sleeping seven, seven. in here. <laughs> I mean, you could. you probably sleep a hundred in here, but it's yeah, going to be very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable and very tight and, and very pinched. Yeah. Uh, price we're looking at $24,049, $211 a month. Wow. All right. Wow. So swinging on the inside here, uh, we do have the solid surface steps come standard with Solaire. So I'm definitely not seeing seven people in here comfortably. No, okay. that would be that would um, be tough. I would definitely give it a good. Uh, wow, I think that was a typo. Yeah, it has to be. Um, but I would definitely give it a uh, four because this actually folds out into a queen size bed. Okay. So you get that, and then you got two up front there. Okay, so you could definitely do that. Um, in terms of features, uh, 15k VTU air conditioner. You got a TV backer right here, so you can put your TV in it. You got your cooktop, oven, deep farm sink. Microwave up top. Um, there is a little bit. Um, if you actually look up there, you can actually see the um, the skylight on the front. So you do have a front cap windshield. Mm -hmm. uh, that is automotive glass instead of the cheap glass that it used to be. So that way it's breaking real bad and things like that. And anytime a rock would hit it. Yeah. It's actually automotive glass now, so a cool feature there. Um, there is also a vent right above your head. So that way if you do want to put a max air fan in there, you can actually draw in air instead of running your air conditioner. Another cool feature there. Definitely a cool couples coach, though. I mean, we're talking about, yeah. again, 4,300 pounds. Most uh, CRVs and SUVs are pulling 5,000 pounds. So, I mean, again, it's going to be tight, you know, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it is something that you could possibly pull with something of that size. Right. So that is something to kind of keep in mind and look at there. Well, I really like the studio apartment look where everything's in one room. The bed is right there. Good night. Are you kidding me? They <laughs> That's that couldn't have been Dave because it actually made it to me. That's a hit and run right yeah. there. <laughs> what do they say? Drive by fruiting or a hit and uh, walk? Hit and walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. So I like the I like that everything's right here. It's just I don't know. It's just kind of cool. Kind no, of absolutely. And 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 Solaire's making changes too um, to their floor planning and things like that. You know, when I'm talking to customers, you know, I'm in a, a team leader situation to where I'm talking to a lot of customers who have already purchased asking about experiences and things like that. And I get a lot of complaints about, you know, the, the, the ground's a different color than what it was supposed to be or the backsplash is different than what it was when I bought. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, though, when people are, you know, when people are buying from these manufacturers and custom ordering them, stuff like that, the dealerships, the customer, nobody has any control of, okay? okay? They reserve all rights to, I mean, they could completely change this floor plan and not say a word to RV wholesalers until we step in it wow. doing that PDI process. And I'm like, oh crap! This really? is not supposed to be the thing. Yeah. It's not supposed to look like this. You know what I mean? That's and so it uh, it definitely runs into a little bit of a risk. But as long as everybody and all parties are willing uh, to you know work with everybody, not be unrealistic. Uh -huh. I mean, you can't demand the world of something that's out of somebody's control. Things like that. But when we do stuff like that, guys, I mean, you you guys as a customer, uh, us as a dealership, and and then the manufacturer, we all three got to work as one. Even if there's a lapse of communication between the manufacturer and us. In terms of them not sharing information with us, we do our best to try to overcome that and make sure everybody stays happy because we do see our customers as family. There's no doubt about that. That's good. Now, kind of swinging in here, check your bathroom, just step in your shower. Okay. You know how that goes. <laughs> um, see, boom, plenty of room. Uh, again, the skylight is helping a bit here. Get a little bit more extra room. Yeah. But still plenty of room in there. Um, you do have uh, your toilet, obviously a little bit of storage above the toilet there as well. Mm -hmm. um, sink. Little medicine cabinet. Little medicine cabinet too. Yeah. And then um, your refrigerator is going to be the uh, 11 cubic foot uh, 12 volt refrigerator right. on that one as well. So storage cool next feature to it. there. Pretty deep storage to hang coats and whatnot. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. All right.
travel along when there's one day here and the next day gone. Sometimes you bend, sometimes you stand, sometimes you turn your back to the wind. There's a world outside every darkened door where the blues won't haunt you anymore. With the brave are free and the lover's soul, come ride with me to the distant shore. We won't hesitate to break down the garden gate. There's not much time left to be. Trailer Swift rocking the place once again. Hey, I just had a chance to go in and talk to the sales department uh, to find out what's going on in there. And this is what they told me. Obviously, there are uh, a lot of RVs that people are having to order now as opposed to being like readily available. And that's anywhere you go in the country. So what they suggested and what it said to me was, look, folks really want their RVs and they understand that. And I asked, how long is it taking to get like RVs? And they said it could be anywhere from 12 to 13 weeks to 24 weeks, depending on what RV you want. They did say that one they thought was gonna be a while ended up getting in three weeks. So it's hard to tell exactly how long it's gonna to take to get it. But here's what he said. If you buy now, you're gonna have your RV definitely before like next 
next RVing season. So it may be towards the end of this this year. It, it could if it takes to the end of this year, you'll have your RV by 2022. Now there's a good chance you'll get it before then, and depending on where you are in the country, you still use it. He said so you can buy an RV now and get it by then and pay today's prices, or you can wait trying to get like an RV that you really want, find out that it's not available right now, and then order in December, pay December prices, and then not get your RV until July. So that's what he's telling me. I'm only telling you, I don't, last thing I want to do or any of them want to do in there is pressure you into doing something you don't want to do, but they do want to save you money. They want to save you time. He actually said he came out later after, uh, sorry, <laughs> Easily distracted. There's a scratch on my hand. Uh, he came out not long after I went in and talked to him and said, hey, there's something else. He said, between the way the, the market is changing now as far as prices, he said, we're saving folks enough money if they were to buy today and, and sign and put the $1,000 down, we're saving them enough money that they could go three or four weeks by renting an RV up until then and taking that money and still have their RV come in and still pay less than what they would be paying uh, it, you know, towards the end of the year or next year. So just a thought, I want you to get the RV of your dreams. I wish you could have it right now for a lot. It's going to be hard to find the one you want, but man, you jump in now and think, okay, I will get that as soon as possible. So again, we're just trying to help you out, get you guys into the RVs you want. Coming up this hour, we've got the Crusader Bunkhouse. We've got a Wildwood FSX and the Avenger LT. Of course, we'll do another giveaway, a delicious giveaway, if you will. And uh, we'll do more fun stuff. So thanks again, guys, for watching us all day. Keep chatting us up. Let friends know what we're doing today. Subscribe on YouTube. Just get on Facebook or uh, YouTube and chat and say, hey, I'm reading. I, I like seeing you guys talking to us. So uh, let's get back in some more RVs. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through is this is a 2021 Crusader 395 BH. Um, the biggest coolest thing um, about this floor plan is um, that's going to be a bath and a half model. It's going to have um, basically a king bed up front. Then you'll have two big beds with a loft uh, in the back. So okay. we'll um, start a little bit on the outside. I mean, it's going to have power awning, LED lights. Um, you're going to have two opposing slides, one on the door side and then one on the off door side yeah. as well. Um, yeah, two awnings out here too. I don't know if you said that or not. Yeah, 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 you're right. It does have a second one because let's go to the back because that's one cool thing. This has an outside kitchen. Uh -huh. Outside kitchens are getting to be one of the biggest things that everybody loves just because now you don't have to go inside it's just easier cleanup it's right. more convenient when you're at the campfire and everything so you got two burners um, and then you also have a, a refrigerator as well so you don't have to keep going in and out or pack coolers and stuff you've got everything located right there mm -hmm. um, but yet talking about the two awnings I mean that may get, basically gives you the whole length of a basically 40 foot trailer this is uh, yeah 40 foot 10 inches okay. so now you got almost 40 foot of actual you know space to sit underneath your awning which yeah. is a lot of space um, it does have a nice option or option but it's standard um, where you have this being a bath and a half now everybody doesn't have to keep walking into the trailer to go to the restroom right. they can just go in come right back out keeps the trailer a lot cleaner from tracking in all the yeah, dirt and stuff like that's actually really really nice it is a lot of people like to have that um, and then you know with as, as big as this unit is it does have auto leveling too okay so you just push the button levels itself and you're, you're ready to go so awesome yeah, let's go. On, let's go on on the inside, and we'll, we'll show you all the big features. I'll meet you in there. I'm gonna throw my Absolutely. blindfold over here. That's a cool. That's a cool countertop. Well, the biggest thing that jumps out at me when I walk into to any Crusader is the brightness. You know, the more modern feel, the mm -hmm. butcher block countertops, the stainless steel, the lighter white cabinets uh, mixed in with a little bit of dark accents. I mean, it just yeah. really, like, you know, all the, all the new houses are doing that now, too, and mm -hmm. I really like the the theme of it, you it's know. It's really bright in here, which opens it up. Opens it up, LED lights, they do lighter furniture, nice theater seating. Um, they get, do a cool little bench seat, too, so you still got plenty of legs room and everything with two other chairs right there so you can fit two adults in there easily instead uh -huh. of just kids so 
Um, I like the location of the theater seating. Again, it's basically directly right across from your entertainment center, right. um, which has a, a fireplace, sound bar. TV will come with it. Uh, we just store them inside, you know, to keep them out of the weather and everything. So it's pretty cool. Keep you like them away from the bad guys that like to take them. Yeah, that's nice how they do a nice faucet, modern faucet, like a house type, and then do an undermount, stainless steel sink. One thing I noticed with these is how much deeper they are compared to a lot of models. You uh -huh. know what I mean? It's, it's pretty deep um, compared to, what would you say that it's is? It's about that deep. What's yeah. that? Yeah, so you can put, and then with the high-rise faucet, eight inches? you can get your big pots and pans and everything as well. So it's a big single basin, you know. Um, behind you, um, you'll notice they, they mix in a nice solid surface countertop, three-burner cooktop, gas propane cooktop, and, and a bigger um, oven down below. Mm. And the microwave is actually a house type microwave as well, as, as big as it is. So uh, yeah. the refrigerator is, is a four door and that is gas and electric. Um, so I know a lot of the bigger refrigerators now are just um, electric only or 12 mm. volt. So that does have gas and electric as well. And you still get the bigger fridge that way. Yeah. Um, I, like, I like how they do the, you know, the pendant lining up top. Yeah. Like a pretty, almost like a little basket. I mean, that's that's really neat. That's the type of stuff my wife likes. She right, likes that exactly. type of look. I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're definitely making these a lot more homey. Mm -hmm. You know, really opens up the space as far as the color goes. Um, let's. Uh, well, yeah, I didn't show you this. This is this is really cool too. It's, it's a really really big pantry. So um, most of them have half that size. You know, yeah. you've got all that pantry. You got all your cabinets all throughout. So not lacking in space. They do a little nice little countertop over here where you can put a you know coffee maker, mm -hmm. you know, a little prep spot right there. Um, let's go up to the front. We'll okay. show them the front end, and then we'll show them the. the we'll save the best for last. In my did opinion. those lights come on when I stepped up on there? They did. Yeah. Motion activated. This will have a king bed. Um, <laughs> as you can see, you can do, you coming out? Can oh, lock, you're, you're like, hold lock. on, I got you, I got you. Now go. Yeah. Look how big that is, full walk-in closet. Big old closet. Places for shoes, all types of different stuff right there. Then you've got a stack, you can do a stackable washer and dryer. This does have washer and dryer prep already in it too. Um, so you can do stack of washer right and then you still have your whole closet on this side too. And I like how they build in the shelves, you know, for... Yeah, it's nice. It's nice that it's on the side. And some of them, it's still nice that they're back here, but some of them are behind where you were going to have clothes. So it's kind of nice that it's off to the side here. Well, what's really cool too is I just noticed is they, they actually did quite a few outlets. You know, you got your outlets over here if you want to do a washer and dryer, uh -huh. but then they also ran two outlets back there oh, yeah. in that corner for you too. So, you know, if you got sleep at machines or something like that, you can set it on one of those shelves and you still have... You know, you, you, you don't lose all your space right. in your sleeping space for trying to find a place for it. This is a nice king bed. I notice this is really a soft mattress. It's pretty nice. Uh, you've got a, uh, this will be full storage underneath too. So, you notice they finish that off nice. It doesn't look, you know, real cheap. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. And yeah. put all, I mean, that's a lot of storage that, that a lot of these manufacturers don't have that amount of storage or any storage underneath the bed. So uh, it does have two air conditioners and then they make a nice spot here where you can put a TV, you know, a little glass insert on your on your cabinet door there and then plenty of other, you know, right. storage for socks and towels and everything else there too. So um, we'll show the bathroom, you know, right, right in the hallway that we went by there. It does have a nice size bathroom. Yep, with a uh, barn door, slide door. Yep, barn door, slide door, so you don't have a door coming out in the middle of your hallway. And what do you think about that shower? It's pretty big, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a good size shower. One piece, that's a, one thing I noticed. Mm -hmm. uh, one piece shower is not going to have seams, so you don't have to worry about you know water getting in there and leaking and have to caulk it up all the time. Right. And then they do some nice cabinets right there um, on the back side there for you know linens and everything else. Yeah, good, good bathroom. Yeah, let's go to the back. I think that's the coolest part of the, of the unit here. Okay. It's unique. I really don't have, uh, that I can think of, I don't think I have another fifth wheel like this. Really? Oh, yeah, this is cool. See how you got a, another basically queen bed Uh huh. right when you walk in, so two adults can sleep there, and then they have an awesome loft up top, which is basically another queen bed. Um, kids, kids love it. You know, yeah, I can imagine. If you have couples, you know, even like let's say grandparents, and then they want to take their 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 children and their spouse, and right. th then they've got their own room. They've got their own room, and it's yeah. just a great family family unit, in my opinion. A nice little uh, wardrobe area over here. Yeah, plenty of storage all the way oh, through yeah. there. Looks like that. 
Yeah, that raises. See the hinges back there. Nightstand down below with outlets for all your stuff. Um, I like how they build in the ladder right there to mm -hmm. get up to that top bunk. And then again, right right behind you, you've got your uh, half bathroom. bathroom, right, which leads to the outside. So it's like basically two two uh, two living quarters, isn't it? Yeah, it is because, well, like you said, you got the bathroom here and the one up front. So yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, like I said, this is the one of the only floor plans that I know of that um, that we carry that has this type of layout and this type of setup. A uh, little information on on the unit while we're while we're finishing up here um, with the today's sale and the finance discount and, and the rebates and everything, you're at forty eight three fifty. Um, so you're under fifty grand for That's this awesome. unit. Estimated payments right, is going to be right around three hundred sixty four bucks a month. Uh, we talked about it earlier. This, this unit's forty foot ten inches. Uh, eight foot wide and just under um, 12,000 pounds as far as weight goes. And wow. it's got three slides, so two opposing here in, here in the living area and then one up front. So. That's great. Wow. I love it. Yeah, I do too. I mean, I think it's an yeah. excellent, excellent layout. I'm going to so. sneak out this way. Yeah, we'll go on out. I'll sneak out, out the back here. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of RV. Again, I say that a lot, but that's a lot of RV for that amount of money. You know, at 12,000 pounds, yeah. it's not bad. Yeah. It's really not bad. I mean, a lot of these units with three slide outs are going to be pushing 14, 15,000. So mm -hmm. it's not like you have to have a one ton necessarily to pull this, you yeah. know. I know three quarter tons trucks can pull, pull this with no problem. That's so. awesome. Very cool. All right. Well, they're sending me off to the next one. Yep. Thanks, Thank sir. you. I don't know if yep. I will see you again tonight. But, nope. This last one tonight. All right. Thank you, everybody, for, for tuning in today, too. Follow us on Facebook, um, YouTube. We'd, we'd love to help you out. We're always doing fun videos and stuff, trying to, you know, teach us different things, give you help as far as the buying process goes. So. absolutely true. So this is pretty cool. Uh, we're at the manufacturer, and I'm standing up here on a balcony. And as you, if you look way down there, is where they're building the RVs. Not really. It's a little model, a little model city kind of thing, where they are uh, showing us how the RVs are manufactured. It's great. You know, obviously it starts off with the floor and ends up with the the whole thing. You'll see that as we walk down through here. But as you just kind of look, because it's interesting, where they're doing the the carpet and the cabinets and the walls. And then it just the electrical and all that stuff. That's all cool. But here's what RVs are doing right now, or RV, RV manufacturers are doing right now. They're actually building like one entire unit, like one floor plan at a time, as opposed to switching it up. Uh, sometimes they would they would take like they do one floor plan, and the next one come out right behind it is another floor plan. But now they're doing like a run of the same floor plan, which is kind of cool because it's it guarantees like quality because they're they're focused on one floor plan for a while. And I think it's a great idea. So it's a really good time to buy an RV because you're going to get the floor plan uh, that you want that's put together uh, when it's supposed to be and not just kind of randomly thrown in there. But uh, you get down here to the very end, and there's the final project product. Obviously, it would have a roof on it. We took the roof off so you can see down inside there. But this is really cool. Well, it, would, uh, it must be Sunday in this little world because nobody's working today. <laughs> One of the best parts about RVing, actually one of the best parts about life in general is eating. <laughs> I love to eat. So we've got two cookbooks we're gonna give away. One to one person, one to another. We're gonna give them to uh, certain people that text the word win. Uh, a stick and a fire will go to the fifth person that texts the word win. And campfire treats will go to the sixth person to text the word win. So this is five. Can you see through that book? Look, you can see through that book. <laughs> it's crazy. You see that? Nope. Only you can see through that book. Uh, so not in real life. When you get it, you will not see through this book. You can find a bunch of these cookbooks, a bunch of them, all different kinds of uh, meals. But this one in particular, if I go to page 55, look at this. I'm going to show you something. Or page 54, look at that. Cherry toast roll-ups. Can you, can you see that? <laughs> 
these things are fantastic. I'll show you how easy it is to make these. Check this out right now. That looks so good. I was upset at first because they cut me off when I was showing you pictures, and then they played that. I'm like, now I'll just watch that for the rest of the day. Now I'm starving. We've got winners. A Stick and a Fire goes to Mirian Soba. Congratulations. And Campfire Treats goes to Yvonne Lyles. Congratulations. Those are yours. We will get those shipped out to you. And if you, if you use these, send us video. We would love to show a video of you cooking some of this stuff. And uh, it would be fun. That's what we like to do around here. Let's get back in some RVs. Congratulations, guys. Hey there. This is Eric with RV Wholesalers. And today we're going to go over the... 2021 Wildwood FSX 270 RTK X. This is one of the newest FSX toy hauler uh, groups of trailers that they've added on. I'm so glad to be able to show you this thing. It's really cool. Go ahead and walk through this with me here. And uh, we're going to start at the front. And up here what they actually did is they added in a, uh, a double group 24 battery size tray so you can actually run two batteries on this thing where before it just had kind of one big tray so they really want to consider the ability to run solar extra battery power for that time that you're not in the campground or anything like that so you have plenty of power for all your needs power tongue jack of course two 20 pound propane cylinders and um, moving back you can See, one of the biggest features about this one is that this one is the Platinum Package. It signifies the X in the RTX. So, Platinum Package, you get smooth fiberglass sides, um, you know, kind of a higher gloss finish on it. Very nice. Uh, or you can get it in the standard version, which is going to have your corrugated siding, which also is going to be... Uh, like a white color and uh, also very nice so either way you want to do it whether you want to stand out with the fiberglass or you want to get your uh, you know save a little bit of money you can get the standard corrugated siding on it up here what they added and sometimes very unusual to find in a toy hauler is that you actually have this mini outside kitchen you got a small refrigerator here and a and a griddle that's on a set of sliders you can bring that out uh, do some outside cooking things like that and if you know toy haulers you've been looking at them for a long time you know that um you know that outside kitchens of any size are very hard to come by very cool feature i'm really happy that uh wildwood decided to add that in and moving back here a little bit we have this massive 
20 foot awning. Now on a lot of previous models in the Wildwood FSX, you didn't get that big of an awning. And uh, well, you know, they Wildwood, they listen, they do what their customers want. And here it is, you got plenty of real estate under the shade. Uh, also, you get your, uh, the graphics that you've come familiar with, of course, with the Platinum Wildwood FSX package. Uh, you have your outside speakers, uh, as well as your nice uh, solid steps here. Moving back here on the Wildwood FSX, of course, as some of you have come to love with these, is that you can set it up as a patio. You have your cables and brackets set up, and you have this nice newer design of a rear gate that they put on this. Uh, with the screen netting, uh, there's even a door uh, or a gate right here that you can even set up some stairs or something like that to where, you know, if kids are getting really muddy, uh, things like that, they don't have to track in through the main door over there. They can uh, go ahead and come up through here, peel off in the back, so that way you're not getting all the dust, mud, everything tracked through the unit. Now coming inside here of the 270, 270RTKX is that you get a really wide open layout. Now you can fit small side-by-sides in this thing, or you can, um, you know, fit in your full dresser, or you can uh, get your quads in here. There's plenty of space. It's very wide open. Uh, you have your benches back here, and these will actually fold together to make a whole bed uh, if you needed to, or you have two separate beds for the kids. Um, of course, you have your collapsible table here that you can move your dining uh, inside or even outside on the patio. Skylight above, so you have plenty of natural light alongside with the panoramic windows that everybody's come to love with these with the Wildwood brand. And uh, even on those uh, colder afternoons or colder evenings, you have this nice fireplace right here. It puts out a decent amount of heat, kind of knock that chill off a little bit. And, well, of course, it's just simply cool to look at. And, of course, with this being a patio back here, you want to keep the bugs out. you got this nice screen matting right here that's going to help you do that. You know, nice summer day, you want to have all that nice weather coming in and uh, keeping all the bugs out, like out here in Ohio. And uh, this is definitely going to let you do that. Moving along inside... You have power outlets on each side of the back end here, USB plug-ins, and you even have a nice bottle opener, nice and convenient for those nice summer days. Moving in here to the kitchen and galley area, you've got this really nice deep sink right here, right, right below your uh, very, very adequately sized overhead cabinet space, microwave, you got another cabinet over here, and they upgraded to the three burner Furion stove. Uh, in range. Very nice upgraded feature for that. Over here you have your 12 volt refrigerator and it's already cold. It hasn't been plugged in that long and it's already cold in the freezer and that's uh, for a lot of the people out there that don't really uh, feel comfortable going with the new 12 volt refrigerator setups. They are actually very efficient and have in a lot of ways shown theirself to be a lot better than a gas electric. Coming into the bathroom here, you see your nice, very tall walk-in shower. Now with this shower, you have a nice track system for the shower curtain. That way everything stays nice and stowed. Skylight above and over here with your sink, you get a decent amount of counter space with side storage and even underneath, there's a little area that maybe you can put a portable vacuum nice big mirror um, you know you have uh, plenty of sit down room next to your toilet and um, overall just kind of a very big bathroom for a toy hauler in this class coming into the bedroom here we have our nice camper uh, camper sized queen bed uh, they actually did a, a revamp of the mattress that they put in here and contrary to what uh, most people have already come to know or already believe is that camper beds are rather uncomfortable but they actually did change this up and it's a little bit more plush so it's going to be a lot more comfortable for you and next to the bed you have these nice big long shelving uh, that goes along the sides of the bed typically beside a bed you run out of space all the time for your CPAP for your glass of water for your phone for whatever you need to put next to the bed when you're doing that overhead storage and bedside storage uh, for hanging your clothes 
or uh, just other storage of things that you need uh, available readily for you right here in the bedroom. And of course, like most, the bed actually does come up and that's where you're gonna find your very large under bed storage with spare tire along with the totes that Wildwood just loves to put in there. Nobody else does that. I don't know why. Wildwood does it. Love them. And in the back corner over here of your bedroom, you have this huge closet. Up top, you have the nice uh, rack for uh, hanging your clothes. Three very large shelves that are removable, and you can hang your stuff in there. And they even put the fuse panel in here where it's nice and closed away. Thank you guys so much for checking out the Wildwood FSX 270 RTKX. I really enjoyed showing it to you guys. And for any further questions, just give me a call over here at RV Wholesalers, 877-877-4494. My extension's 145. Thanks. Have a great day. Right, good day so far. Yeah, real good. good. So lots of trailers. Yep, a lot of people probably happy and really good moods right now because they're getting the RV of their dreams. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of reasons to be happy about things. I, I try to be generally a happy guy, but I know there are people out there who are hurting, people who are scared, people who aren't sure of the future. Oh, hell, a lot of us aren't sure what's going to happen the next couple. Nobody knows what's going to happen the next. No, it seems years. a little. It feels a little different out there right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't think we're completely over the COVID thing, and right. You know, I, I, it seems like we're getting there though, mm -hmm. which is a uh, positive. Yeah. You know, a lot of states have lifted the masks now. Uh, I know, you know, here in Ohio, we're lifting here in a few days, so that's that's very positive. Yeah. Uh, but I think there's still an uneasiness out there. Yeah. Uh, you know, I talk to a lot of customers and try to witness to a lot of customers. And that's where we're going with this: is uh, talk about God a for a few minutes. And yeah. But I think there's a, there's an emptiness out there, but I, unfortunately I think it's a choice, you know, that we're making. Right. Uh, and it, it, it's it's to not follow God. I think that's becoming an old-fashioned situation in our country. Yeah, I think so too. You know, we don't do that anymore. Very few people go to church anymore. Right. You know, the COVID thing didn't help that. Right. You know, it got yeah, a lot of people right. out of church that were in church. And they may not be going back. Right. They're, <laughs> yeah. not, they're not full again. Right. Yeah, and yeah. that's that's all unfortunate stuff. It really is. Yeah, and it, it drives me crazy because you know I've, I've had a couple of hard times. I, my wife has lost some family members, so she's gone through some really rough times. And she's told me before, I don't know how I would have gotten through this without mm -hmm. my relationship with Christ. You know, when we lost Dad, especially, it, you know, I was like, I, I don't know. I watched some of his brothers and sisters and how they handled it, and they just weren't handling it well. Mm -hmm. You know, the day that he left, and uh, you know, I looked at my brother and I said, How do people that don't know God handle this? Yeah. Because you have no, I, I know where my dad's at. Right. He, he knew Jesus Christ as a Savior. I know where he's at. Yep. You know, the Bible says very clearly, I'll see him again. Yeah. I don't know what that looks like. Right. I don't know what that feels like. I don't care other than I know I'll see him again one right. day. Right. You right. Know? And I love that. It's, it's not that you have to know everything exactly, you no. just know that. Everything's going to be fine. We don't have a clue what heaven is like, right? But we know the alternative is is not where we want to go, right? Right. It's really not. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I get a lot of people. I think I've said this before. I get a lot of people, customers, when I witness to them that, uh, yeah, I don't believe in all that anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of we don't do that thing anymore. Right. But, you know, your belief or disbelief really doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make something real or not. I yeah. should say it, exactly. it does matter, but it it doesn't make God. It, I, I don't believe in God doesn't make God real or not. Right, right. Is, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you, uh, how do you walk them through uh, beginning a relationship with Christ? Well, let's, let's, uh, let's just do that now. If there's anybody at home that, uh, if you're not sure that you know Christ is your Savior, you're not sure you went through that process, it's, the Bible calls salvation a gift. Yeah. Uh, you know, this card can be a gift to you, but you have to accept it. Right. That's, that's what it amounts to. We have to accept Jesus Christ into our life. Uh, the way I do it, and I'll just, I'll just kind of do it to you guys at home. Uh, if you don't think you know Jesus Christ as your Savior, you've never gone through it, never heard this, uh, 
give me three minutes of your time. Seriously, it'll it'll change your life. Uh, we just start out with a few questions like, what are your spiritual beliefs? That's a just a broad, let's get you talking question. Yeah. Uh, not everybody's happy about that question. <laughs> most, <laughs> most are. I can uh, imagine it probably comes from left field. You're like, whoa! It does. I thought we were just buying an RV. What are you? What are you no, talking it, about? It, it really does. But I think um, you know they kind of settle in and see uh -huh. that I'm trying to help them, not hurt them. Right. You know, a lot of people say, "Well, I'm a Christian. I'm this. I'm that." Uh, the next question, a little more specific to you, who's Jesus? Uh, you know, if you tell me, Mike, he's my Lord and Savior. We don't need to go any further, do we? Right. We really don't. Uh, if you say, well, he's the son of God, or he was a prophet, or he was a good man, you're missing something. Right. Okay, so we'll go a little further. Uh, do you believe in a heaven and a hell? Very straightforward. Uh, what's interesting is most people believe in heaven, less believe in hell. Uh, when you pass away, where do you think you'll end up? Even the people that don't believe in heaven are going to heaven, yeah. which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Last question, but the hardest. So let's say you're 95, you pass, you zip, you're up to heaven, you're face to face with God, and he says, you know, why would I let you into my heaven? What the heck would you tell him? Yeah. You know, it, it, it is uh -huh. uh, And I would tell you that 65% of the people tell me, you know, I've been a pretty good person. Yeah. Which, and which is probably true. They probably have been probably, good people. Yeah. yeah I mean, I, I think the, probably more than 65% right. are great people in Absolutely. our country. Absolutely. Yeah. Even the world. I mean, right. are, you know, probably 90, 95 percent of the people are pretty darn good people. Yeah. But, and and that's not that they don't deserve to go to hell, but they're gonna they're gonna choose to go to heaven or hell. That's right. that's what the Bible says. Uh, let me read you what Ephesians two eight and nine says. It says, "For by grace you're saved through faith. This is not from yourselves; it's God's gift, not by works, so that no one can boast." So what this is basically saying is to me is. Uh, Nothing I do, I, I do a lot of what I feel is a lot of good, mm -hmm. and I think we should. We should take care of people. Yep. We should help one another. Uh, but none of that gets me to heaven. Right. And if you really think that through just for a second, if I could do enough to get myself to heaven, what do I need God for? Yeah, what was the cross for? Right, what, yeah. was, what was any of that for? Right. So obviously we can't get ourselves to heaven. Uh, the next verse, Romans 3.23, is, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Uh, that one's pretty self-explanatory. We've all sinned. Mm -hmm. uh, only Christ was. What time is it? Sinners. How many times have I sinned already today? Right. You're yeah. thinking about the guy holding this thing behind us, and you know, bad thoughts going through our head. Making us reshoot stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the next verse. So if we agree we're sinners, the next verse says, "For the payment of that sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life for Christ." So we deserve hell because of our sin, mm -hmm. uh, but. If we accept that simple gift, which is Christ down on the cross, we can go to heaven. That's right. Uh, the last one, and this this kind of says what I just said. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. That's simple. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people say, man, I, I thought there was more to it. Right. It really isn't. No, not uh, at all. Now, what you do after you've accepted Christ is between you and God. You know, if you want a great life, it's there. And it really is there for the taking. Uh, if you if you would like to accept Christ as your Savior right now, if you're not sure you have before, if you want to recommit your life to Christ right now, uh, I'm going to say a simple prayer. If you just repeat it after me, that, that's all there is to it. Heavenly Father, I have sinned against you. I want forgiveness for all my sins. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for me and rose again. Father, I give you my life to do with as you wish. I want Jesus Christ to come into my life and into my heart. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> now, Dave, I, I believe, I know you believe that if, if they said that simple prayer, they've been born again, they've been saved, they got received salvation. Uh, to me, that's the foundation of where it starts. Right. You know, get into a good church. Uh, if they're not sure, man, what's my next step? I'm excited now. What do I do? Mm -hmm. Uh, they can contact us at any time. It's awesome. We'd love to talk with them. We'd love to send them stuff, you know, whatever. Right. Whatever they need to get rolling. And it is, you're, you're never going to know everything. A lot of people may not even have prayed that prayer yet because they think, I don't know everything about Jesus. I don't yeah. know 
if I'm good enough to even pray that prayer. Nobody's good enough no, no, for that gift. None of us were good enough. For right. That. And you're not going to get, if you're thinking, all right, I got to, I got to, I got to get rid of this in my life before I can do that. You don't have to. He no. will take you just as you are right now. He wants that relationship with you. Yeah. So, good. That's well, all. Thanks, buddy. I yeah. Thanks it. for uh, thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Let's go sell some more RVs. Sounds good. State uh, Hulk hand. Da, da, da. Don't, it's as th- close as I can get to an Avenger theme without being sued, probably. It's a good it's a good try. Yeah. That's why we did Ohio State Buckeye Service Guarantee Hulk hand instead of regular That's Hulk good. hands. That's good. You're going to hear more about that in this live RV show. Could you get a jakeier looking thing? You're missing a hand. Ow! Well, anyway, let's do this walkthrough. The Avenger. The Avenger LT. That's, that's why we did the Hulk. You get it? Cool. So, the LT by Primetime. We got some cool stuff out here on the outside. If you're looking to hang out outside your RV, this is the way to go. You got Sketch some Bluetooth that. speakers is on that the wide exterior. Enough to see me stumbling over that chair. Who put the chairs there, Duncan? <laughs> so, it, it maybe might have been me. I don't know. Went but yeah, you got crack. you got all the necessary hookups to have fun out here, and lots of space to put stuff underneath. This is actually underneath the bunks we're gonna see inside. We'll see those inside, which is cool. A nice window at the bunks as well. Let's talk about the big old awning. Oh yes, we can't put that out because we got a tree right now. A tree. But yeah, beautiful awning with the LED lights along the strip lights along the end of it when you open it up. And don't forget, we'll show you some of this outside as well. But you got the shower, the shower hookups, the auxiliary hookups. There's all kinds of stuff that you're gonna see on the outside of this rig. But inside, let's see what's happening. Yeah. So it's uh, again, it's another small one, but but kind of roomy. Yeah. Yeah. You got the big old bedroom right up here, which is just connected to everything else. Like a studio apartment up in here. Yeah. Ah, it's a lot of room up there. Very nice. You got storage above the bed. You've got a place beside each side of the bed to keep your seat pa- CPAP or your does phone it, or your does water. Does it have one of those underneath storage? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Yes, oh, it does. Yes, it Psych. does. Psych. It doesn't look like it, but it that. does. That's the secret. Wow, I always, love those. The, uh, I always love those because sometimes you wonder where you're going to put some larger sized items. Right. When you when you have this space, you know, you got, you could fit shoes in there, you could fit clothes in there, but right. what about your bike, you know? What are you going to yeah. put, where are you going to put that? Yep. So. Now, uh, this obviously does not have drawers here because that's the, that's the pass-through underneath here. But like I said, keep your, keep your CPAP machine there, yeah. your, your, whatever you need. Uh, Regular you charger, to, stuff like that. Charger yeah, phone. before you go to bed, you put it yeah. there. Uh Cute, adorable little kitchen. Two top stove top, or two burner stove top. You got your convection oven. I believe, is that a convection oven? Uh, that might not be. I don't know. It doesn't have the paperwork on it. It may, it may not be. But a uh, little sink. You got your sound bar right oh, here. Oh, that's interesting. I was, I was looking around. Where's the TV? And I'm like, oh, TV yeah. backer is here. Yeah. So you can put your TV connection with your coax cables up top over on this side. Then the speaker is right next to you, wherever, whether you're on the bed or you're on this dinette or if this is a bed, too. Because right. this can come can down into down. a bed. So you got a couple of those options. That's one, two beds, and then there's another. Speaking of beds. Two back here. You got the but bunk Four back beds. There. Yeah. In this small of a package, you got right. four beds. And oh. that one could probably sleep two. Yeah, absolutely. You can sleep two up here. Sleep one, maybe even two, depending on the size of the kid here. I think I should try to get, get in this. You get that. You going for it? Oh, that oh, that was way easier than I thought. Nice. And then you're right next to the bathroom. You're going to run in there and take a look. Take a gander. What's going on inside there? Closest to the bathroom if you got the bottom bunk. That's right. Oh, nice. Okay, nice. You got pretty good space for a compact RV. I can fit my whole self in here, my whole entire self. And I got headroom, which is nice. And this, obviously, the shower head comes off and you can move around with it. So that's good. Nice space for a compact RV. You know, I just noticed you got a sink inside there, but you also have one outside. Actually, there isn't a sink in here. It's actually just a... Oh, uh, just a counter? Just a counter and, and some cabinetry. Okay. 
Okay, so, well, that would explain why you have the sink on the which outside. Is, which is nice, though, because if somebody is taking a shower, going to the bathroom, but you need to wash your hands, brush your teeth, get ready for bed, you can still do that yep. here. I haven't seen that in a lot of rigs. It's not a whole lot. I've seen it in a few, but it is kind of nice because, you know, like you said, you, if somebody's in there taking a shower, you're, you're locked out, unless they don't care if you're in there. You're locked out until they're done. That's so, cool. uh, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, like you said, nice little compact space, but well used. Plenty of storage for a vehicle this size. Uh, storage underneath the sink. You got a couple drawers here. Storage up here. The uh, refrigerator. Keep your food cold. Fridge. Yep. Refrigerator keeps your food cold. So there you go. It's the Avenger LT. Again, it's uh, compact. It's a smaller one, but that could be very much what you're looking for. If it is, you see the price below. You see what the monthly payments may be. They're down there also. So, uh, especially got, especially the, the tow capacity of a smaller car can right, be something right. Because like a lot this. of folks are probably like, I want an RV, but I don't want to buy a bigger vehicle. Yep. Here's your shot. Um, yeah. So if you got any questions, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about this RV, or you can go to RVWholesalers.com uh, forward slash. Actually, don't even forward slash. Just on their homepage, you see build your own. And you can build an RV and find out exactly what you want and how much it costs. They will text you the price. It's such a cool little thing they got going on there that uh, will let you know what's going on instantly. So, uh, yeah, get a hold of us. We would love to talk to you. Hey y'all, Duncan and David here with RV Wholesalers. We got a question here with Hey RVW. I've been hearing a lot lately, forums, internet searches, while I'm trying to look into buying a new RV, that a lot of dealers aren't holding true to their pricing structure. They're price gouging and they're not protecting their prices. Tell me about what's happening in the industry right now. It's uh, it's something new. We've never we've seen price gouging, of course. Okay, yeah. But this is something new. The dealers have literally gone in and changed their contracts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And they're putting a little loophole in there that says that any factory price increase that they get, they can pass along to the customer. Right. Most of them, uh, I've seen four different contracts so far. The 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 print was so small. Yeah. You know, you, you had to have readers <laughs> if you're an old guy like me, uh, to read what it said. But what they're doing then is is you you buy an RV. Yeah. Uh, you have it on order, okay? Because everything's ordered right now, almost exclusively. There's just no RVs out there. Factory sends along a price increase, which is happening, okay? We're getting tons of price increases from the factories right now because of all the, you know, all the stuff we see on TV, right? We're out right. of PVC pipe, we're out of fiberglass insulation, gas shortages, you know, all yeah. this madness. All this madness. harder to pull off. Exactly. Yeah. So they, they send a $700 price increase to the dealer. What the dealers are doing then is they're using that loophole and you get an email from them that says, do you want to pay the extra $700 or do you want to forfeit your uh, deposit mm. and have your unit canceled? So those are your choices, right? Yeah. Do I give up 1000 or do I pay 700 The problem is the average customer is going to face at least five of these. Wow. We had from one factory in 42 days, we had a 16% price increase. There's a 6%, a 4%, and a 6%. Yeah. So some of them are pretty massive too, you yeah. know what I mean, depending on the, on the unit you bought. Yeah. So for the, the consumer, you're not like for, for for me on the outside. You don't know a lot of these details. What is what is RV wholesalers doing to price protect? Uh, we, we are price protecting the the contracts. The contract we're honoring the contract like we always have. Uh, we've called out the industry numerous times. Call them out again right now. If you're an RV dealer, why aren't you price protecting? Mm -hmm. You entered a contract with a customer. You should honor yeah. it. You know, it's a way for us to show people that our industry is an honorable industry. Yeah. You know, and what we're doing is is challenging customers. We we can't sell. 500,000 RVs, right? I wish we could. So you, people are going to have to buy from other dealers as well. Mm -hmm. When you sit down to sign your contract, make them put in writing for you that you won't pay any price increases, that your price won't change. And if they refuse to do that, you need to get up and walk out. Absolutely. And price gouging, be very careful. We get people occasionally say, well, I found the same one at a local dealer. The other day a guy was telling me that it was, it was actually a boost. Oh, like really? this unit, a little smaller XLR one. XLR boost? Yeah, it was $16,000 more. Wow. Which is why it was sitting at the dealer's lot. Right. But there's people that are paying, you know, five to fifteen dollars to $20,000 more for an RV so they can get it right now. Right. And, and the dealers are just price gouging. Hey, thanks for watching RV Wholesalers. If you like this content, you want to learn some more, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you can always see what we've got coming. We'll see you in the next one.
So let's check in with Dodd City, Texas, where the newest RV wholesalers dealership is. Dustin's down there. I think he's expecting my call. Op Hello, operator. Hey, I need Dustin. I don't. I don't know what his last name is. What's Dustin's last name? Pinkston. Pinkston. Dustin Pinkston. I just know him as Dustin. Can you can you get me Dustin? The RV wholesalers. Okay, thanks. Just got me on hold. Hey, Dustin, what's going on down there? Hey, David, this is Dustin down here in Texas. Can you hear me? Good. Hey, why don't you tell us uh, how things are going in Texas? Are you guys selling RVs? Are you uh, getting in inventory? What's, what's going on down there? Uh, let us know. Let us know how we get hold of you, but I'll just let you run with it. But just just uh, fill us in. Hey, man, everything's going good down here in Texas right now. Uh, we got units coming in every day, uh, but we're getting them out as fast as we're getting them in. So if you're looking for one, give us a call. You can give us a call directly here in Dodd City at 903 200 eight four five two and david uh everything's just been rocking along people are coming from all over picking up units from us here and uh really realizing that we're down here in texas and here to help people out so people please don't hesitate and if you got any questions about us here in texas give us a call thank you all very much all right man thanks for talking to us we'll see you next time i can't i can't i think i i think he hung up on me let's get back to some rv now you can stay connected with the shows you love with Dish Outdoors. Watch live HD TV anywhere your adventure takes you without Wi-Fi. It's easy to use. All you need is a portable satellite antenna like the Dish Tailgater Pro and a receiver from Dish Outdoors. Before you head out on your next road trip, be sure to get Dish Outdoors and watch all your favorite RFD TV and Cowboy Channel shows wherever your travels take you.
So, love those guys. Trailer Swift, they are absolutely amazing. Thanks, guys, for being here and making our show a lot better. Uh, should we talk about what's coming up? Let's talk about what's coming up. We got, uh, let me get a paperwork here. We've got a Forester, an Ibex, and a Rockwood Geo Pro coming up this hour. And uh, more answers to your questions. We've got, uh, will we do another giveaway? We're gonna do another giveaway. So again, congratulations to everybody who's read, uh, who's uh, won something so far today. If uh, what's that? Uh, sorry, I'm, we're getting cues in the in the ear. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? Uh, more tips and tricks. Again, guys, right now we we try to bring up this price protection all day today because we want you to know that. Uh, prices are going up. The manufacturers, their prices from their suppliers are going up, which means the manufacturers have to raise their prices, which means the dealers are going to have to raise their prices. But at RVW, if you spend $20,000 on an RV and you sign on the dotted line and it takes three months to get it, and in that three months, the price goes up three times to, let's say, $2,500, or um, $25,000, you're only paying the $20,000 that you bought when you paid for it or when you when you put the money down. So this is the place to buy. This is the time to buy because we were told earlier that come June 1st, prices are going to go up. That Forest, uh, Forest River, their prices are going up starting in June. It's just what's happening right now with the market. So that is uh, the thing to do. Jump in now if you're ready to buy an RV. Uh, we're going to get back into an RV. There's that kid again. I'm Look, you didn't look my direction. I'm not even sure it was a human. All I saw was hair. Uh, let's get back into some RVs. <laughs> Let's talk about this bad boy. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, this is probably one of the coolest uh, smaller RVs that we sell, and I mm -hmm. think it's probably the best couples coach on the market today. It's got the uh, diesel engine in it made by Mercedes. Uh -huh. You can get a generator with it. I mean, it just it's decked out. I love the seamless windows on the side. Uh, there's nothing that they haven't done as far as taking care of the customers and thinking about the future also with some of the different upgrades that you'll see as we walk around here. Right. Just, you know, the quality of manufacturing that they have, the, the full body paint that they offer on here is awesome. Yeah, like you're feeling that like yeah, it's not stickers, that's right, paint. Right, exactly. That's, what, yeah. that's one thing that people like to see on, on coaches like this is that it has the full body paint. You uh -huh. know, if you're going to get into something like this, you want it to last. Right. You don't want to have to deal with uh, certain things like that. So I think... Uh, Forrester absolutely go, goes above and beyond with all that type of stuff uh, when they're thinking about the customers. Mm -hmm. uh, but huge awning yeah. for outside entertainment, yeah. And it comes all the way out, so you're going to have a huge area uh, out here if you're cooking out or whatever you're entertaining or on the, so whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have a nice entertainment area with the speakers that are out here on the side for you that are all wired throughout. So the speakers, looks like they come out with the awning? Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a little yeah. bit different. Um, and their entertainment center in this coach is pretty pretty sweet. We'll look at that as All well. Right. Yeah, so uh, one of the things that we definitely want to look at as well is that on this one, you do have a little receiver so you can pull things behind it if you want to, which okay. is nice. You know, whether if you got a little trailer or something with a golf cart, whatever it uh -huh. might be, because obviously you get somewhere for a time period, 
you might need something to just run around town in or right. whatever it is that you do. I don't know. But it's nice that they provide that feature for you to be able to do that because uh, not all of them do, and especially on a smaller coach like this. Right. Love the idea that you can actually get up there. They're pretty comfortable with you going up there and making sure that you can inspect your roof on a regular basis because yeah. they're confident with the manufacturing that they, they have up there. I'm not going to climb up there, but it's back, <laughs> backup camera ready. Uh, side view cameras as well is, a, is an option that they provide for you. Got a lot of storage. We can walk around this way. Uh, here's your generator muffler and all that stuff that okay. comes out. Got some nice storage on the sides here. Uh, all your sewer connections that you need on the outside are really easy to get to. As you can see, just like you would hook up if you're at a campsite or wherever you're at, pretty nice and easy to, to get to everything so you're not crawling under a ton of places. Uh, storage up under here. You got a lot of storage up under in here. I mean, everywhere they can put storage, they put storage in these yeah. things, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, when the slide outs are in, it's pretty easy to get to. Your propane tanks are nice and close for you if you want to get them filled as well. Everything's real easy to get in and out. So, front of it looks pretty sharp when you're going down the road, I think, as well, with the Mercedes logo on the front. It's got the nice aerodynamic with the overhead cab, which we'll see that in there. Uh -huh. It does have an overhead bunk in it for you as well, so you got extra sleeping capabilities if Sweet. you need it. So let's take a look inside. Take a look. <clears throat> oh, there's the uh, there's the hat. Wonder oh. what happened to that. <laughs> I like these seating a lot. Yeah. Um, these are pretty comfortable and they recline all the way out. So it's a pretty nice feature to have, especially if you're going down the road. Even when you're in, you can sit in them and use them a little bit. Mm -hmm. So if you want to take a nap down the road, it's easy to do that in here. Um, as I was saying, the luxuries that they provide in here with the craftsmanship, if you feel their their quality of craftsmanship, yeah. it's really nice. It's, it's nicely finished. The fit and fin uh, trim products that they put in here is not cheap stuff that you feel like is going to be peeling off right. down the road or, or anything of that nature. I like the, the color, the yeah. two colors. The it's sharp dark brown and the, the regular wood color. Yep. Nice drawers that are actually on we, uh, the actual uh, wheel bearing drawers, uh -huh. which are not going to fall apart on you, not just glue based. So that's pretty nice and it's going to hold up. But if you look up here in the cockpit area, you do have the overhead bunk area where I was talking about. Your ladder just attaches right here. You can take it off, hook it up. If you do want to utilize that, a lot of times it's utilized for storage or whatever it is that you use this area for. But you can sleep somebody up here, you mm -hmm. know, over 300 pounds weight capacity. So oh, wow. somebody, could, a couple kids or a, an adult yeah. would be able to sleep up here. And this just swivels, so that moves around, uh, which is nice for you. You got the nice entertainment center provided for you right here. Everything's digital on the coach right here throughout. So everything, all your controls and whatever you're going to do is going to be on here uh, and we'll teach you that when you guys come and do your walkthrough okay. uh, how to utilize all that because some people are not familiar with it no problem right we'll take our time these are cool like these cabinets wow. the design is pretty neat yeah and i like how it just stays up they yeah. got a nice little spice rack up there for you with, which is a good design because it still gives you space in the cabinet to right. utilize as well for cane goods or whatever it is that you want to put up there yeah you got an outlet up under here as well but this cooktop's pretty nice, and they do maximize some of the counter space for you by providing this nice little top here. But the sink's awesome too. It's pretty big size so sink uh -huh. for yeah, a fishbowl sink. Right. You know, I like that. Looks like you got your uh, wireless charging. Yep. Everything. You pull it up. You plug in. Um, the kid sprayer. Is that a pull up or is that the, no, that's the wireless. That's the wireless on that one. Yeah, yeah you're right. It's charging port for your yeah. phone. You just lay it on there. That's awesome. And then they have the extendable countertop as well. So that's kind of nice. I like all that features. You got a conventional microwave. And for me, if, a lot of my customers, if you're still watching, they'll even hear me say, I'm not a big fan of putting ovens in smaller, especially smaller motorhomes. Uh-huh. Because I think these conventional microwaves just do a much better job. You've been in one. Yeah. And it doesn't really heat the coach up. Right. Like you do. And you could cook a little pizza in there, your whatever Absolutely. it is. And I just think the functionality of something like this is way better, you know. Yeah. For the long term and things of that nature. So. Yep. I, we can't all three fit in there, but I, I'll let you go in here and look around a little bit. I'm back You've up. You've been in several of these, so I'll let you point out a couple of things you think you like about it yeah. in here. But it does have a lot of space. Yeah. You know. Again, I'm six foot tall. Plenty of room in here. 
plenty more room because of the skylight. Uh, a couple spots in here. I think it's not these. And that's something else you kind of take for granted. Just a place to set your shampoo, your soap when you're in here as opposed to setting it on the floor. A lot of these don't have these. Uh, that's kind of nice. Uh, a couple of hooks up here to put your towel so you don't have to get out of the thing, out of the shower to reach your towel. Uh, nice, real nice medicine cabinet. Let's see if I can open it. That's, that feels... You like it? Yeah, that's quality. That's a quality that's cabinet. What I, that's what I would say. Yeah, I mean, listen, you can hear it. You can tell just the way it shuts. That's yeah. yeah. That's pretty nice. They actually have a cover in here too to give you a little more uh, sink space or countertop. That's space. nice for the ladies if they're like getting ready in the morning doing their makeup or stuff. They they need yeah. some little more space that they allow you for that. Right. Huge wardrobe area for people to utilize if you're going to have extended stays somewhere going down the road. And you do have a TV back here also. Yeah. So and it swivels as well. Okay. But yeah. It it works, man, and and maximizes the space. So when the slide comes in, this just folds up, one fold up. Uh huh. Push your slide in, and you're going down the road. Uh, you know, so you you're pretty good. Yeah, love it. Yeah, I kind of I dig that. Yeah, the texture. texture it, yeah, it, that's cool. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah, it's not just like regular wallpaper. Right. There. It's not. You look. Yeah, it's it's got. It's like not gonna fall off. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that's what nice. I say anyway. Again, it seems it seems weird that all of this is connected to the actual the vehicle that's pulling it. It yeah. is, but this is a nice feature on these motorhomes as well, these Max Air fans. Uh -huh. Sometimes that'll just be enough. Right. You know, whether you're in a you know, hot environment or a cooler environment, it's not always extreme. And this right here will allow you to provide, you know, pull air out, pull air in as far as, you know, if you're 70s or whatever and you just need a little cooled off. Yeah. These are awesome. Sweet. And it's good for, like, exhaust and things of that nature as well if you're cooking. So Love but it. I like the cockpit area in here. It's pretty classy. I think it's got a nice slick design. Cl very clean and, yeah. and and very presentable as well. It's very slick. Look at that console. Isn't right that there. sweet? Yeah. I told you. That's why I pointed it out. And they're yeah. not all sl slick like this. Right. Some of them just look like a work truck. Yeah. Or something like that. Exactly. Like this one is. This one's pretty sweet. All, got kinds all the of controls on the. Yeah, I don't even stuff. want to try to act like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to get the book out. No, I'd have to come out here and have these guys show me. Yeah. For, a couple days. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be still messing. I'm down the road. I don't know. Putting my jacks down or something. Like that. <laughs> but yeah, I love All this right. thing. You got the total uh, on it? Yeah, the total on this one. 93,194. You can get a payment right around 595. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of vehicle for that. Yep. Awesome. Where, there I am. I'm sitting down, and I'm sitting down for a reason. I'm sitting on the on the cold hard pavement. Actually, I'm sitting in this chair. This chair. There goes that kid again. Hey, stop playing your long rock and roll music, you little brat. Oh, that's right. That's Tim's son, Josiah. That was at Jellystone Park. I mean, we're at Jellystone Park right now. Anyways, we've got this chair. Not this one specifically, but this chair is going to a registered viewer. We've already randomly drawn the name. So, Alan Frith in Pennsylvania. If you're out there, hopefully I pronounced your last name right, you just want a chair. We're going to send it to you. So, thank you for getting registered. You win that. Now, uh, for anybody watching right now, we're going to do the eighth person to text the word win. You're going to win something. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm not, I'm going to tell you, but I'm going to show you a video first. See a little teaser of what you're going to win. So let's go to that. Eighth person to text the word win to this number. Can we throw that number up there again? Look at this poor, poor person over here. They don't have, they don't have a skateboard. They're just walking. Old school. Just walking. I feel bad for them. 
All right, text, text win to that number that there. The eighth person will win what I'm about to show you. So check out this video. Oh, hey guys, just having a little water out of my water bottle safe. <laughs> Look at this. I know I've told you guys about this before. Watch, I'm gonna unplug this, take this off, pour out water. It's real water, I can drink it if I want to, but it's from that pool back there, so I'm not going to. But more importantly, inside is where I keep my important stuff. The cash money. Look at that. In there, you had no idea. You thought it was just a water bottle. I could have had this sitting right in front of you and it was completely safe because you thought that was a water bottle. You know what? I love these things so much. My wife and I have our whole entire life savings in the water bottles. That's how safe they are. You know what? Just for you, here in a little bit, I think I'm going to give a couple away. So stick it, uh, so uh, stay tuned. So stick it, so stick it, dude. <laughs> Is that water in there or vodka? I'm like, hey, why don't we, why don't we shoot, we reshoot that? Because I said, instead of stay tuned, I said stick tune. And they're like, no, we're just going to use it. You look like an idiot. Here's the deal, though. I did. I had a few hundred dollars in that water bottle and nobody knew it was never stolen. Unfortunately, I threw that bottle away thinking it was an old water bottle, so I lost that money. So if you win this, if you're the eighth person to text the word win, don't throw this bottle away if you have your safe stuff in it. it uh, we're gonna give, it, give you two, so if you do throw one away, you'll have another one to start saving again, I guess. The eighth person was Debbie Hugh. Congratulations, Debbie Hugh. Uh, enjoy those water bottles. They are really cool. They are cool. So we've given away a chair to Alan Frith. We gave away two water bottles to Debbie Hugh. Now I'm going to give something to all of you. I'm going to give you all thousands of dollars. Here's how I'm going to do that. You need to know about this secret financing secret. It's so secretive, I, I, you have to say secret twice. It's a secret financing secret. So every, Tim, I can see you laughing at me back there. So every dealer, and we've talked about this earlier, so if you're hearing it again, just, it's just to help you remember it. Every dealership, whether it's a car dealership or a boat dealership or an RV dealership, when they go to a bank to have uh, a vehicle finance, the bank is, gonna, is going to reward that dealership with some money. So in other words, the bank is going to make money off of interest. So if RV Wholesalers goes to XYZ Bank and says, hey, we're giving you business, that bank's going to say, we appreciate it. Here's a couple thousand dollars for giving us this business. Most dealerships, if not all, almost all, are going to keep that money and you will never know about it. It's called a dealer reserve. That all they are, most all the banks are doing this. They want the business of getting uh, people's uh, interest. Does that make sense? So... Uh, RVW will take that money and they subtract it from the total of the RV. So when you hear these low prices, and you're like, how are you already $5,000 cheaper than the, the closest competitor? It's because they're taking that dealer reserve and adding it and taking, adding it, but taking away from the total of the RV. They're giving that money back to you. That's a huge secret that can save you a lot of money. They're doing it here at RVW. If for some reason you can't get an RV at RVW and you, you go someplace else, be sure to go in and ask. And when you ask them, after you have that set price, again, let's say it's $20,000, then you ask them, how much am I going to get for financing through the bank you want me to finance through? And ask them, say, I know about the dealer reserve. I know you're getting money for you using that bank. They're giving you a commission, for lack of a better word. How much of that do I get? Ask them. Ask them. They, they made the salesperson maybe, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, we'll go back and talk to your manager in the back and, and let me know. Uh, and if you want to pay cash, the best thing to do, again, if you want to pay cash, if you've got money and you can pay for the thing outright, the best thing to do is get the loan, pay off a big chunk, and then uh, just save enough back that you're paying for the rest of that year. Because you only need to hold the loan for one year. So what will happen is you get that discount, that, that dealer reserve, you get that, you pay for the thing for a year and you've already paid it off and you spend, I don't know, $400 in interest, but you make a couple thousand in the dealer interest. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. If you have more questions, they would love to talk to you. But you could also, you could also check um, 
uh, in on the, the webinars that we do, the Tuesday and Thursday webinars, all kinds of information there. RVBuyingMistakes.com will give you more information on that. But, you know, I say two or $3,000. You could save up to $6,000 if you know about this dealer reserve and just ask about it. So there you go. Excuse me. We just ate. Uh, dealer uh, Alan Firth gets the Frith. Alan Frith gets the chair. Debbie Hugh gets the water bottles. And all of you get that secret financing secret. You're very welcome. I'm going back to another RV. This is an Ibex, um, this is a 19 MBH, okay, so you're going to see it's kind of set up with the off-road tires, it's pretty uh -huh. sweet, nice little units by Forest River, um, power awning, has the off-road tires, has the exterior um, door, if you want to lift that up and put some bikes or whatever in there, you can do oh, that as well, yep. Oh yeah, look at that. Lifts up so you have some, and it's got that bigger door so the kids can get out, and I mean, so you can store your bikes <laughs> in there and stuff. Um, you know, but how nice would that, I think of a nice, cool day with a oh, breeze going. Have it all open, open up. Plug your phone in there, lay here, take a nap here while the breeze is blowing through. The, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, but the nice thing is, a lot of times people are, hey, let's take this to the sand dunes, or let's take it, I mean, this is kind of set up, it sits up a little bit higher uh -huh. versus like the conventional trailer. Huge windows, so you have window here, window here, window here, window over there. Cool. Just keeps it nice and bright, right? Wow, when you go in and check this thing out, it's pretty sweet. So, I mean, it's going to be total length, tongue to bumper, is going to be um, just over 24 feet, okay? No slide outs on it, so it's going to keep it super light, just over 4,000 pounds. So that's really nice because not everyone has a, a pickup, right? I mean, right. you have an SUV, most likely you're going to be able to tow this. And that brings me to another point. If you have questions, what can my tow vehicle pull? I have an Explorer, I have an Acadia, or I have a... Dually, whatever. If you have questions and you're wondering, hey, what will pull that Redwood or what will pull this Ibex, call us. We can help you with that, too. And so, you're not going to try to sell them something when they call and ask No, nah, and I mean, our biggest thing on that is, is like, we want to sell you your third camper, not being greedy, but we got to take care of you really well to sell your third one. So yeah. for us, if I sell you something that you aren't comfortable telling or not safely can tell, are you ever going to camp? You're probably yeah. going to put it in the yeah. driveway because you're not comfortable yeah. telling it. Right. So then you're going to sell it in a year, then I can never help you again or you're yep. not going to send me any business down the road i mean we we love repeat referral business and people just coming back because that means we really took care of people and that's that's the name of the game for us cool uh, but yeah this so this is an ibex you can kind of see we'll check it out in here again solid steps even on a, a 20 footer and you're going to see this thing's pretty sweet so you got the bunks in the back so double over double so like my kids i have two boys and a girl well, we probably won't put the boys in the same bunk because they'll right. be fighting, right? Yeah. They'll never go to bed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but a friend's, right? Each one of them can bring a friend, what have you. Has a dinette as well, which will make into a little bed. Um, nice thing there. You can see that. Full-size refrigerator. So most units this size are just going to have, like, the refrigerator that you open. It has a little compartment in there with a the freezer. has separate doors, sink, stovetop, microwave, central vac. I mean, it's. I mean, this is this thing's got it all. This TV. Get the hideaway bed. That's what you call it. Yep, yeah, that'll the, uh, lift up there. And, oh. Then it has the couch right here. So this yeah, just pins, locks in. It has a little beveled edge right there, just on the one side. And this will lift up. Super easy. So Murphy bed there. So the nice thing now is, when well, we're not sleeping, we fold this up. So the couch. We have a dinette. I mean, most of the time in this size with all this stuff, you got to have a slide out. Uh -huh. Slide outs are nice, but slide outs add weight, right? So this keeps the weight down. Super nice. It's, you can pull it with about anything you got out there. Um, bathroom in the back. Yeah, we'll let you go that. in there and take a look at that. And this unit right here, you can get into for just over 200 bucks a month. Wow. Okay? A couple hundred bucks a month. I mean, you're staying one night maybe in a hotel. Um, yeah. Maybe several nights if you like the ones with the cockroaches yeah <laughs> no this is good and i have people all the time ask me they want to know like 
height wise. So I'm six foot. They want to know uh, what's it like in the shower. So this, even if this is a bigger sunlight or sun uh, skylight skylight uh, in here. So there's some of them that for taller folks, you get this much space, which is still nice. So you can stand up straight. This is a little bigger. So if you're much taller than six foot, you got a little room to move around. Uh, but yeah, this is this is cute. Are we talking? I shouldn't say cute because guys are like, I don't want a cute one. This is this is awesome though. Well, and it's sweet because you can, I mean, it has kind of like all the nice amenities. It's uh -huh. not like it's something that's really, really watered down. I mean, it still has the solid steps, still has the off-road tires, fiberglass exterior, aluminum framing, foam block insulation, built really well, right? Lightweight, mm -hmm. just over 23 grand with the sale today. So, I mean, it's very affordable. Yeah. Um, and you still get, again, it's not like you're having to settle for the smaller refrigerator. You're having to settle for no microwave or... I mean, it's still giving you all the AC heat, I mean, the whole nine yards. So, and sits up a little bit higher. So if you want to take it off road or whatever, you can do that as well. I know a lot of times the, um, some people out West, they want to take them out and go off road and what have you. So it's pretty sweet. Is that lights in the closet? Yeah, right. Are they, are they lit up or is that? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty sweet looking. Yeah, right? Yeah. And that's cool. both sides of the bed, outlet on both sides. A lot of people ask, hey, I got a sleep apnea machine both sides stand on both sides usb on both sides i mean they really kind of go and think about everything led lighting throughout mm -hmm. so it keeps it cooler in here in the summer uses less battery if you're running off the battery i mean they kind of think about it all uh we got a question what kind of construction framing is this so this is aluminum framing foam block insulation fiberglass exterior okay where the other end the other side would be wood framing uh -huh. bat insulation and the aluminum side, which is the corrugated. Do we know how wide this one is? Um, I think this is going to be seven and a half wide. Okay. Awesome. The best part about this campground is that there are no bears. <laughs> what? I'm, what are you looking at? Good night! That big bear! Geo Pro by Rockwood. Of course, Rockwood, a great name, but this this little thing is cool. Geo Pro is probably one of the most popular floor plans that are popular brands that we sell here, um, especially out for the last year. A lot of people are looking for a lot of couples campers, and the uh -huh. 15 TB has been selling like crazy. Okay. Um, so what you got here is uh, you got a couples camper, twin bed couples camper. Doesn't okay. have the standard one bed. Um, it's got two and with an insert so you can make a king bed that goes all the way Okay, across. cool. Um, so what you've got here on the outside before we step in, you got your pass-through storage. It goes actually around catty corners from the inside to uh -huh. the right here. and goes all the way around to the back. Wow. Yeah. And it's all like, Looks a lot like of you it can get is to yeah, it accessible from the inside, from the inside yeah. as well. Very cool. And then right here what you've got is this is the mount. Comes standard with a, uh, an electric griddle okay. and a little side table for prep. Sweet. Um, and then, you know, you got your standard fixtures as well, your awning. Yeah, things your knobby like that, tires for off-roading, I'm assuming. Yes, um, and actually, the off-road package is standard on the GeoPros now. Okay. Um, so you don't even have to ask for it, or as long as it's a 2021, cool. it's going to have the off-road from here on out. Awesome. This is great. Yeah. Not having to worry about carrying a key. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So nice. Let's go inside and take a look. Wow. So they've actually already got the insert in for the king bed. You can okay. see it going across here. Let's break it down real quick just so customers can see what they're dealing with here. So that was the bed. Remember that. So you have a place to sleep. Oh, I see. Yeah, I get the... There we go. It's probably, it'd probably be a lot easier if I helped you and just stand here leaning up against the wall. Well, no, that was actually pretty easy. Yeah, I you, wanted you to got, do it yeah. on my own so that the co customer could see. Right. This is very easy to set up and tear down on your own. That's that's kind of a cool... And the insert, by the way, guys, area. is a foldable table that you can take outside, put wherever. So when uh, you're not using this as a bed, you just pop this guy open, set it here, and you've got a table for that's awesome. you, whoever you're with, your buddies... Right. No, that's cool. That's very cool. 
And then the access, real quick, you got that storage access right up underneath this pot okay. right here. Sweet. You got your uh, fridge. Yep. Uh, the, you got your uh, mini fridge. Um, comes at all GeoPros. Come with a TPMS monitor. They've got the special caps on the tires. You just uh, hold this guy up to it, and it'll read your TPMS right there. Wow. Also has freezer. Mm -hmm. It's not something you get in these size units. Usually it's just the fridge unit. Okay. And then in here you've got your wet bath. Okay. Shower, toilet, pretty much everything you need all in one spot. Yeah. Okay. Can you oh. see through there? That would be awkward if you can see through there. You can't. <laughs> you can't. That's... Okay. And then you've got your three burner stove top, uh, microwave, your... Uh, uh, your deep kitchen sink, and you've got ample storage in here as well. Great. Dishes, silverware. That's your power Pallets. station. A couple USB ports, some plug-ins, so you can plug in your coffee pot, blender, whatever you got up here. More storage. And then, there. of course, i got to highlight the bottle opener. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, this is, I mean, you get a lot in this little, how long is this? This guy is... Oh, there's mine. a little TV. I didn't see the TV there first. Oh, yeah. A little uh, 22 inch television. So, the Geo Pro, <clears throat> the length is 15 feet 10 inches. It's got a weight of 2,483 pounds, wow. so towable by most SUVs. Uh -huh. And then the price point on it is $17,073, which makes the monthly payment about $156 a month. Wow. That's crazy. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, this is. Uh, this is cool. It's obviously it's a compact little little RV, but there's a lot of. I really like the way this bed lays out, and then it breaks down with the table, and uh, yeah, it's just kind of nice. Yeah, a lot of options. Um, you know, if you guys you guys aren't uh, ready to lay down for the night, you're just here for a quick nap. You don't have to worry about setting everything up. Yeah. His and her bed right there, ready to go. Or even if you're just out hunting with your buddies. Right. You know. You'd, don't have to cuddle up. <laughs> That's right. You don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very cool. So, uh, again, especially if you're just getting started and looking for something just to get the ball rolling, this could be your RV today. Uh, I know people are buying because I've been told that the, the $200 that we're giving per RV sold today, we're giving $200 to a charity that helps uh, uh, military and first responders, we're up to $4,000 already. That's awesome. So, thank you for buying uh, what about the solar panel and heated tanks in this thing? Yeah, so the solar panel, that is standard. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm, I'm pretty sure the heated tanks are still an addable op or an option you have to add on. Okay. Um, if I can find a control. Oh, here it is. Uh, this guy does not have the heated tanks. Oh, yeah, because there's the spot for the tank yep. heater. Yeah. So you can add it then, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, $150 uh, option from the manufacturer. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Great. All right. It's, uh, these smaller ones we get in and get out of really quick. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you, sir. I'll let no you get back in there and sell some more of those RVs because it sounds like they're selling them. Absolutely. Like hotcakes. <laughs> All right. All right. Another great, great day selling a bunch of RVs. And I mention every time, it's not just that we sold RVs and we did well at our jobs, but we've made people's dreams come true. People are out there, they've got the RVs that they've always wanted, and uh, yeah, that's good for them, right? That was good. Yeah, absolutely. Was good. Yeah. Hopefully they were entertained. Yeah. If Hopefully not, they had some fun. If not, come back next month, we'll try again. Yeah, we'll give it another we'll try. try harder. Yeah. Maybe not exactly. harder. We'll just try. We we'll will try, try at least this much. <laughs> Maybe a little less. I felt like we really, really stretched ourselves today. Yeah. Well, don't we always? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thanks again to our sponsors, uh, Equalizer, Blue Ox. I got their hat. Uh, Dish Outdoor, and of course, RV Wholesalers. Perfect. Uh, it was a good, good day. Let us know. Let us know about your experience. You can always hit us up. Send us emails at rvwholesalers.com. We would love to hear from you. Tell us about your experience. Tell us what you love about the show, what you'd like to see us do. If you'd like to see maybe Dave Drenell get... Pushed into a pool sometimes instead of me always falling into the Nobody water. would enjoy that at all. Oh, I would. I would. The all right. is way too big. <laughs> <laughs> Splashes in. Water's gone. What they all like is Trevor Smith. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, Trailer Swift. Nailed it. Thanks again, guys. All right, we'll see you next month. Uh, be there or be square. I hate, why, sometimes I need to think about my endings. That was, yeah, you do. That, that was kind of, yeah. That's all right. We expect less.